till nine o'clock tonight. We've got loads of shows, and this lovely lady is kicking us off. I am. With your cat ears. I keep I've, forgetting you wear them. Yeah, I've got my ears on today. Fantastic. I forgot them last time. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh. I know. Can't do without the your lucky, day was in lucky charm. I was going I to know, say. it's yeah. my lucky charm. Hells is here because we've got Crafty Witches, but that's only part of the day. Let me introduce you to the crew. Who have we got today looking after us? We've got Charlie and Laura in the studio. She's just getting the computer ready for, uh, for uh, Hells' demos with the Crafty Witches in a few minutes' time. So that's the crew in there. And the crew out here, we've got Bobby on camera too. There she is. We've got Shimmy Jimmy over there getting everything set up. And we've got Levi who's clearing up John's mess from Sewing Street, there we are, that's your crew. And of course, Hells, what is on the way then? We've got Crafty Witches for you, one of the most incredible deals we've ever, ever done, digital downloads from Crafty Witches at an amazing price. There's 12 collections in one download. When you see the price, you won't believe it. After that, we've got a brand new Christmas Little Books launch, brand new for 2024. Lovely Cat is here, that's gonna be a busy show with all the bits and pieces that go alongside uh, the fantastic little books. Then we've got back in stock, um, we've got the Twin Cup Go Ash sets from Hemi. Lovely Sharon Curtis is here to show you that, that's gonna be a busy hour as well. Then Hunky Dory with the die cutting special, we've actually got Mylar that you can die cut yourself and make your own stencils. That's gonna be really, really busy as well uh, because we haven't had that in stock for a good few months. Then at five o'clock, Haley's here to take over with our second look at the August medley collection from the Crafty Witches. Uh, second look again at the Christmas little books from Hunky Dory and Cat. Then we've got the brand new Versifying Claire new colours for 2024 with Sharon at seven. That's going to be good. And then Haley for an hour of unmissable savings. It's a sales show to end our day at eight o'clock tonight. So that is Sunday afternoon into the evening. Stay with us for as much of it as you can. Now, how on earth, Hells? Mm -hmm. Explain to me. How on earth can we get 12 collections? <laughs> With 12 <laughs> pages in each collection, yes. so that's 240 pages. 144. 144 in total. 12 by 12, 144. You're right. My calculator said And I'm rubbish at maths. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got something right. 144 pages. I'm going to sack my calculator. Yeah, 144 pages, A4 pages to download. Butterfly Blooms, yes. Deepest Delight, Floral Romance, Frosted Elegance, Home for Christmas, Mermaid Lovelies, Nativity Joy, Poppy Meadow, Precious uh, Prickles, Snuggle Buddies, Tea for Two, Whimsical Wild. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of everything, something for everybody. If you were to buy the kits on their own, they're £3.49 direct from the Crafty Witches. So don't do that because if you buy the bundle today, you're going to be absolutely mm. amazed. Details are coming up on the screen for you fairly soon. Now it works in a different way to normal Normal purchases okay now we've already got people already checking out it's on the screen now look 14.99 for 12 collections with 12 pages in each collection that is insane absolutely amazing we'll look at the artwork soon but if you want to order it remember it's an instant purchase you don't put it in your basket because there's no physical product as such it's a download so if you want it just go onto our website hobbymaker.co.uk it says purchase now so click it just once not five or six times because you end up with five or six of them um, just click it once your debit or credit card will be charged with 14.99 and then instantly your download will be available on the hobby maker page your account page okay and you can do with it then what you wish if you want to put it into the memory of your pc or put it on an external you know, hard drive or something like that it's entirely up to you but it will always be from today forever on your hobby maker account page with all your other downloads okay so 12 collections 12 sheets per collection this is what you're going to get that's just the front sheet of all the 12 collections for an incredible 14 pounds and 99 pence so don't put it in your basket there's nothing physically to put in your basket you just click where it says purchase now it's instantly bought it will then be downloaded automatically onto your hobby maker account that's the way the instant purchases work mm -hmm. and the benefits of digital downloads i mean there's just so much variety and so much for your money yeah, and the thing is, because you can download what you want when you want, it's also helpful for storage. You know about that. Oh, we know about that, yeah. I was saying to Dave earlier, um, my old craft room, when I emptied everything out of it, this, the the floor has risen back up again, and there's cracks all the way around the top of the ceiling. all the weight of the paper and everything. Yeah, because of the sheer weight. Well, there's no weight so to this. There's no weight to this, and because it is digital, there's no packaging either. No. Um, and if you're, do, if you're crafting and your other half, or the person who likes to whinge at you for the amount of stash you've got, says, oh, you're ordering more stuff, they need not to know. Because it stays on your Hobby Maker account, you could literally download it to whatever device you want, use it. I never knew you had that side to you. No. 
you need to never it, know. it was not me that came up with that idea. <laughs> I hastened to add. Somebody had said, oh, I don't need to tell anyone. But it's like, oh, no, you don't. If you're new to this, let me just kind of put it into context. I mean, how do you get your music now? Have you got your music on your tablet, on your phone? Have you got an app that's got your music? It's about, it's the same way, but for your yes. crafting. So, now, yeah, we're used to getting our music and maybe watching TV and downloading mm -hmm. episodes of this, that and the other that we're used to doing. There's nothing different than this. You're downloading artwork that you can then print off as you want it, when you want it. Each mm -hmm. sheet you can print off one sheet 500 times if you want to. Exactly. It'll always be there. Yeah, and this is the thing because when you're downloading, all you're going to need is something really good to print onto. So we've got some cardstock for you to have a look at Paper later. Emporium. And a printer. Mm. That's all you're going to need. You don't even need a computer anymore no. for this because these are PDF files. They're compressed. So that means that, you know, when you go on holiday and you're using those vacuum bags, you suck all the air out of it. That's basically what compressed means. So when it arrives to you, you just unzip it and it goes poof. And then you've got That's all a poof. Oh. You know when it gets the air back in it? Oh, yeah. I could do one of those for my waistline. Well, I could as well. <laughs> do one of those. But you know what? It's the, it's the easiest and the most cost-effective way. I mean, they're three pounds forty-nine per kit from from the Crafty Witches. So that would be just nearly forty-two pounds, wouldn't it, if you bought them individually? It would be, yes. Yeah, so, so to get all twelve <laughs> collections for yeah. fourteen ninety-nine is just too good to miss out on. What we're finding is every Crafty Witches show we do, we're getting more and more and more people that are buying mm -hmm. it for the first time to yeah. try it. Because if you download music and listen to music and download TV shows and listen and watch episodes or podcasts, there's nothing any different than this. Mm -hmm. But this is artwork for you to craft with, and we're going to have a little look through the boards, aren't we? We are, yeah. I think originally digital crafting was it was a little bit clunky you had to it was using a lot of ink whereas nowadays you printers are they're more, more efficient e yeah they're more yeah. efficient and for me it's also the other things you can print onto so it's not just card you can print onto fabric and just and to let you know, we have got the paper emporium linda chapman's paper emporium card stock in the show as well so if you want to stock up on quality card and paper to print your images onto that's in the show it'll be on the website we'll get to that a bit later though yeah okay, okay so the first collect first kit we've got is snuggle buddies and what all we've got here are just the web images just for you to have a look at yep. because if we'd done it how we normally do the boards it'd be up here it'd take us all day you've got 12 of the same in each of the kits right so you've got two sets of toppers you've got an insert you've got a set of sentiments then you've got four decorative papers mm -hmm. and then you've got um, your solid colors and you've also got your essentials so that means that there's pretty much everything that you're going to need in there. It's really comprehensive. We've just, got just looking well, at the first six. There's your snuggle buddies, precious, yeah, prickles, precious prickles, gorgeous hedgehogs, poppy meadow. Poppies, yeah. You've got these beautiful poppies and cornflowers. We've got mermaid lovelies, and in here you've got your mermaids, but you've also got it's like an under the sea theme. Then you've got take it easy with these delightful sloths. I mean, he's doing the lotus position. Yeah. He's so cool. That's me when I finish work. Well, that, I used to be able to do that. <laughs> before I got old and then we've got floral romance and this one the colors in this are absolutely delightful you've got a little teddy there you've got those beautiful roses that's the first six that's your first six and the next six you've got whimsical wild Favourite. absolutely beautiful so you've got owls you've got stags you've got puppies kittens horses and these are all your animals little baby lambs I know, you've got your little lamb. Then with uh, Christmas, so we've got this lovely, it's a very Scandi style mm -hmm. with these houses, but you've also got these gorgeous backing papers. These in themselves are amazing just for any of your Christmas. You've also got your colourful backing papers mm -hmm. and your solids. We've got Nativity Joy, which is a delight again because you've got these beautiful images. It's very... Um, it's cute, yes. is this one, yes. very cute. We've got Frosted Elegance, another owl there. You've got your snowy owl. Another stag, my favourite. Yeah, so this is a blue Christmas here, very frosty, as the name would suggest. Two for two. Now, in this collection, you've got a vintage and a contemporary style mm -hmm. right the way through. So it's a bit of everything there for you. And Deepest Delights, here we've got the nautical theme. So there you'll see you've got the crab and the octopus. 
You've got the seashells, you've got the yacht, and you've also got the lighthouse. Now, just looking at my screen of everyone that's actually purchasing this, remember there is nothing to actually physically post. It's a download. So you mm -hmm. just purchase it once. If you go to our website, it says, it doesn't say add to basket, which it normally would do for an item that you're buying. It says purchase now. Uh, there you go. Just literally click that. And a debit or credit card, choose which one you want to use, will be charged with $14.99. And it then goes straight into your orders on your Hobby Maker account. Okay, And it's there for you to do with whatever you wish after that. You can access it um, via your tablet, via your phone, via your PC. You can put it onto the memory of your PC. You can put it onto an external hard drive if you want to. Do bear with it if it takes a few minutes to actually download because there's a lot of information that's being downloaded at one time and a lot of people doing it at the same time. So later this afternoon, you could be crafting with this artwork. That's the lovely thing. But click on it only once. If you click on it twice, you'll get two and there's no need for you to have two or want to because there's no physical product. It's the download, okay? So just click it once. It's T... Uh, Oh, no, IX6323, £14.99 of your hard-earned money is all it's going to cost, and you'll get 12 12-page 12 collections, 144 sheets. And seeing a, a one name in particular on there, I've just seen um, a lady from New York, Lisa from New York, I think, one of our regulars in America. You can buy this anywhere, whether you're in Europe, whether you're in UK, whether you're in America, it's a physical download. It's not a, a product that's coming through the post. So there's no PMP, there's no returns policy on it because it's an instant purchase, but you will have that artwork to print off and to craft with basically today, which is for my way, instant. Exactly. So when it does come through the download for you, just give it a little bit of a chance because sometimes it can be a little bit busy on the website yes. and that does slow it down. And it also depends on the speed of your internet as well. So give it a chance to download and then you can go and unzip and have a play. And I love the fact that I can use my tablet and my phone mm -hmm. to retrieve the artwork and print it off via Bluetooth at home. I've got a Bluetooth yeah. enabled um, printer at home, but I don't have a PC at home. I've got no need for one and I don't need to have mm. one. You see, what I've done is I've brought my laptop, but I've also brought my tablet in as well. So let's just have a quick look at this so you can actually see how easy it is to access. So I've popped mine onto my SD card and it's here, the Crafty Witches, August Medley 2024. So if I tap on that, it's just going to open it up. And then can you see, I've got all of these. Now, when they come through, it's got a little zip on it. Yeah. So I haven't unzipped this one yet. So all you need to do is tap on it and then it'll say cancel or extract. If I tap on extract, you can change the name of the file if you want to, but there's no point, keep it what it's called, extract. And that will extract what's in there. Yep. So it's like unzipping it, which means then you can then access it. And then if I tap on that one, you'll see you've got a list here. Now, this is for uh, Windows XP and above. Mm -hmm. It's Mac compatible, Chromebook, Android, Apple, whatever. When you use Windows, we have got an interface for you. Everybody else, this is how you're going to access it. So if you're on your tablet or you're on your phone, then it's autoplay. So tap on that. You'll see there's lots of information there. You want docs because you want to have a look at the docs. Mm -hmm. So open that up. Now in here, we've got a contact us. So there's a way to get hold of Crafty Witches. Mm -hmm. There's also the terms of use. So uh, we have got a very, very generous angel policy, which means that whatever you print out, make into something you can then sell for your own personal profit, or indeed, if you want to give to charity, we're happy for you to do that as well. What we ask you not to do is to print out the collections and then sell them. No, no, sure. Um, as long as it's something you've made, it's fine. Yeah, and don't <laughs> take any of them into another program to manipulate them because we haven't got the license for that. Right. So you will need a PDF reader. The free Adobe is the one that I use. You don't have to buy a PDF reader. No. You literally just get the free one. And I'm so, always saying that most... PCs have got that installed anyway. And most, most of them come with it, yeah. yeah. But yeah. if you, whatever um, device you're using, um, go into your app store and then just download it, which okay. is what I've done on this, this tablet here. This is an Android. So then you can see you've got your papers there. Um, while this is just opening up, I want to show you the toppers. So I'm going to tap on that one. It's now going to give me an option to open it up. Adobe Acrobat, that's going to open this up for me now. And, and I did, the artwork will be there before And your there eyes. is the artwork for you. Um, so this is going to be A4 in size. Yep. But you've got 
circles and square toppers there. So if I want to print it, I'm just going to come up here to my three little dots and it's going to give me options. Mm -hmm. And then I'll scroll down to print and then it goes into my print. So most home printers now have an app that you can actually connect it. Sure. I've got a Wi-Fi printer, which means that it's, it says it's not available, which is really rude because it's only 70 miles away. So <laughs> I mean, really, the Wi-Fi is rubbish. But what you'd normally get is this print page with that on. You press print and it does it for okay. you. Okay, now just to show you what is in each kit, we've actually got some boards printed out because you'll get the same quantity, obviously different artwork in each kit, but you're going to get all of this. Mm -hmm in each of the 12 kits that you're going to be getting. So you've got letters yeah. of the alphabet. Right, this is actually the um, junk journal. Okay, all oh, right, okay. Take them. So if I just come back here, these are the six first. So you've got Snuggle Buddies, Precious Prickles, Poppy Meadow, Mermaid Lovelies, Take It Easy, and then Floral Romance. Mm -hmm. So as I said, you have got your two sets of toppers. Yep. Now, each of the topper sets are going to be slightly different. The ones that I've just shown you, you've got circles and squares, but you've also got, in some of them, if I highlight this one, you've got one of our concept toppers. Oh, so wow. you've got the different shapes in there. So each one has got something different. And then, like I said, you've also got your decorative papers there. Um, what I tend to do when I've got decorative papers, where's that Deepest Delights? That one there. You'll see here, it's got little, um, there's a whale and a starfish and a shell. When you print it, if you print it larger than 100%, mm -hmm. you can actually use those as embellishments. Oh, wow. So okay. in the print options on Adobe, it will say uh, print to fit or actual, which is your actual size, yep. or custom. Now, your custom scale is where you can actually resize these. Right. So you can't resize them in any other program, but within the print page of your PDF you reader, you can. Okay. You can also, in your PDF reader, take a snapshot. So if there was a certain element that you wanted to enlarge, you can do that, which is what we've got here, like this Nativity Joy here with this angel, you could make that larger, you mm -hmm. could make it smaller. And remember, each kit is going to give you what you can see here. So if you look at yeah. Musical Wild just for a second, you're going to get two sheets of your toppers. You've got your background papers. You've got your block colour. You've also got your pattern papers as well. You've got an insert and you've also got your strip sentiments. OK. And all of that would be through Crafty Witches £3.49, which yes. I think you'd agree is amazing value for money. Each of these at £3.49 is great. Yeah. But if you were to buy all 12 of them, that would be just under £42 mm -hmm. if you bought direct. With us, we've got the deal today, and this is exclusive to us at Hobby Maker. You cannot get this deal anywhere else. All 12 collections are for £14.99. The July medley was massively popular. This is the one for August. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact it's not just one theme. It's a little bit of everything. Exactly. So there's something for everyone there. Yeah. You've got your classic ones. So you've got like your floral romance with these beautiful colours here. You've got the cute Take It Easy, Precious Prickles. Something for the little ones. You've got Mermaid Lovelies. Snuggle Buddies mm -hmm. is my absolute favourite. I love the colours within it's this one. Huge. It is definitely. Well, it's got it's got puppies and kittens on it as well. <laughs> Always and a winner. <laughs> anything that's got the puppies and the kittens. Then Whimsical Wild, there's a little bit of everything on there as well. You've got that really classic watercolour effect. Home for Christmas, quite a contemporary Christmas style there. Nativity Joy, which I think the, you, your little ones are going to love playing with this and making their Christmas cards. Um, also, school holidays, perfect time oh, to totally. get them crafty. Yeah. Um, and the other thing as well is that when you're crafting with little ones, you don't necessarily want them to be using your best stuff. No, no. So you could print these maybe just on standard, so you're using a bit less ink, on thinner paper. Mm -hmm. So it's not your real top notch but they're still getting all that beautiful artwork and they're going to be creative absolutely so the way to order because this is slightly different to normal shopping with us is that it is a download it's not a physical product that's going to be sent to you okay so don't expect something to come through the post it literally will be downloaded from the crafty witches direct to your hobby maker account and it will always stay on there okay so if ever you accidentally damage your pc or you lose your tablet or you change it or you upgrade it or whatever if ever you if you're putting it onto 
the memory of your device, you can just download it again from your Hobbymaker account. It will always be there, active on your account, together with all your other downloads that you've bought from other people, uh, maybe Debbie Moore, people like that. So it, for £14.99, to get £42 worth of collections, all 12 of them and 12 pages per collection, that's 144 sheets for £14.99. That's basically about 10p a sheet. And you can print them off as many times as you want. There's no restrictions. It's not going to disappear after you've printed 100 of one sheet. It's always going to be there. And it's the most cost-effective way of having so much artwork at your fingertips, and you haven't got any storage issues. You know, if you've got 144 sheets, you might use three or four sheets when it first arrives and then keep the rest of them for um, another day in a couple of months' time, by which time they could have gathered dust, the cat could have walked over them, uh, they could have got faded in sunlight or whatever. This is basically on your account, and it's there for you. Mm -hmm. As and when you want it, you print that sheet off, or those two sheets off, or those exactly. 150 sheets off. Yeah, um, and if you are running out of room on your device, I've actually bought, I've got a little SD card on this that I've actually bought. It's only a tiny little one, costs about six pounds. So that's in there now, which means that I can then save my stuff onto the SD card. But I've also got an external hard drive, which I use for my laptop. Mm -hmm. And then our kits, you'll see, let me just open up one of these. Let's have a look at Floral Romance. Hold on a minute, why is it doing that? Come on. Right, so I want to go into the August Medley and then go to Floral Romance mm -hmm. and open that up into Autoplay, remember, and then into Docs. Yeah. You'll see that you've got all these little thumbnails as well. Yeah. So what you could do is some of the collections, some of the kits have got an index, some of them haven't. If they haven't, do a screenshot and then just print that. Okay. So you've actually got a little, an idea. Like a paper index of, of what yeah, you've got. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So this one, if I just quickly open this one up, this is Floral Romance and here is one of those beautiful stylized 16 side Isn't that card. Isn't great? It's beautiful, isn't it? And this one, that's actually a card front. So you could increase the size of it if you want to. You can lower the size if you want to. Um, shall we have a look at the junk journal? Because I know that a lot of people were absolutely loving it. Because I did a Facebook Live on Friday, which is now on YouTube. Okay. And it showed every single sample that our clever sample makers have made. So if you head over there, you can actually have a look at it if you I want to. Okay, we'll do that in a sec if that's all right. Could we mm -hmm. just look at some finished cards and maybe yeah, just do a course. quick demo? With, yeah, yeah. And then we'll go on to the junk journal if that's sure. all right. Now, let me, are these finished samples for all of the kits? They are, look how many we've got. <laughs> Just grab a few at random, yeah. shall I? Okay, there's let's just so grab a few many. I mean, the just design team absolutely stunning, obviously aren't they? love all the artwork. I'm just grabbing a few at random mm -hmm. here. Just have a look. These are from the kits that you're going to be getting. This is T for two. Sue has done that in the design team, just to give you some inspiration and some ideas as to how the artwork can work for you. This and is look also how from T for two. They are. So you've got that contemporary and you've also got the vintage style within this kit, within yep. T for two. Yeah. Can you see? There, you've got both of them. Yeah, and this is another vintage one, as you can see there, if you like the kind of shabby chic look. Beautiful. So T for two is this one just here. Um, a few more. This is from the Take It Easy with the sloth. Look at that. How <laughs> cute is he? And Isn't he's, he just adorable? How do they do that? How do they fall asleep upside down? It always amazes me. I mean, for someone that's retiring or someone that's going part-time, taking it easy, getting a bit of an easier life or is being told to kind of, you know, take a few days off now and then. Um, this is from The Deepest Delights. Beautiful. And the artwork is lovely. This is another one from Deepest Delights as well. Lovely, um, as you can see there, uh, Lighthouse. Here again, Deepest Delights. We've got the Sandcastle too with the kind of seashells and the starfish, all that sort of theme going on. Um, the whales here as well. Look at the whales again from Deepest Delight. Let me grab a few more from some of the others. Uh, let me just quickly grab some more from over here. Now, anyone that knows me will know my favourite animal is a stag. This is from Whimsical Wild. But look at that. You can make them bigger, as Hell said, in the printer section. You can make them bigger and smaller if you want to. Uh, again, from Whimsical Wild, a little cute little cat. Look at the lamb here. Look at those eyes. Again, another whimsical wild. So you get the idea. The artwork is there for you to do with whatever you choose. Linda and the team and everyone at uh, 
uh, Crafty Witches. You know, give you the artwork at such an affordable price. Where else do you get 144 pages of artwork, including background papers, including toppers, that you can just have for life? It's never going to disappear. That's also Whimsical Wild as well. The horse and the cat, best of friends by the looks of it. Um, you know, you've got it and it's always there. If you ever delete it by accident, if you ever uh, damage your PC and you're thinking, oh no, all the artwork I've got on there, where, where is it? It's always going to be on your Hobby Maker account. So if ever you change a device and want to download it again, put it onto a new hard drive or storage or a dongle or something like that or an SD card, you can do that just by going to your Hobby Maker account. All your downloads will be there. And remember, it is not a physical product that will be sent to you. It's a download. Like you download music from certain you know, music providers, you download this by paying $14.99 on your debit or credit card today. Uh, it's an instant purchase. It doesn't appear in your basket because there's nothing to put in your basket, but it will start to download to your Hobby Maker account instantly for just $14.99. If a lot of people are doing it at once, please do bear with the systems because sometimes it does take a few minutes, maybe an hour or two uh, to download properly. If, lots of, if thousands of people are doing it at the same time, you know what computer systems are like. Sometimes they get a little bit slow but you will have the artwork here for later this afternoon and you could be crafting making cards with this maybe even before the show's finished that's mm. how quick it could be yeah it could be that quick amazing huh i think we're ready are we yeah we've had a gremlin gremlins there's always there's a gremlin there's always a gremlin isn't there i think there's a gremlin lives in the studio <laughs> i think so as well okay so as i've shown i've shown you what they look like when they arrive on your device. Yes. So what I've done is I've highlighted Deepest Delights because this is the one that I want to show you. So this is on Windows. So running on Windows, you've actually got an interface with each one of them. Okay. So if I double click Deepest Delights and then with this one, you need auto run. So auto play, you're just going to get exactly the same as okay. you had before. So you need auto run to get to the interface. So here's the interface, it says enter here. And then we've got the toppers. Let me open this one up. So this is Adobe that it's opened up in. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the one that I'm using for my demo and I wanted to actually do some decoupage. So this is where you can really go to town. Okay and start to print out as many as you want. I'm just thinking, you know, how's that image, mm -hmm. I would like that maybe in a frame on my bathroom wall. Yeah. I can use it for that, not just for card making. Yeah, of course you can yeah. use it for whatever you Brilliant. want. Brilliant. So if you just wanted that image, Dave, what you can do is in Adobe, you go to menu and then drop down to undo, redo and more. And it's the more bit that you want because you can take a snapshot. And what that does is it gives you, you see those little crosshairs there? Mm -hmm. You literally highlight what you want to print. So it's a drag the box. It says the selected area has been copied. So it's so like digital click, scissors. Okay. It is. Hey, clever. And then if you go to your print page, it will actually bring that into print. Brilliant. If you wanted it then in an 8 by 8 frame, that will actually go as fit. Brilliant, look at that. So you can actually resize it. So like I was saying earlier, this is where you can take a snapshot and you can custom scale it. And you could print it onto glossy card if you wanted to. You could print it onto photo, finish. paper, yep. anything like that. But you could also make them smaller as well. So if I go to 75 there, yeah. you can make them smaller, but you can also go larger. So if I go to 250%, well, I've got rid of the frame. Right. I've literally just cropped out that bit there. And that will print on A4 just like that. It will just print like that on A4. Love it. So, and if you wanted to do some decoupage on that, then a uh, number of copies, three or four, and then you get your scissors out. And the versatility of what you can do in your PC or on your tablet or on your phone is incredible. Absolutely. For £14.99, what does the fourteen ninety nine get you this day and age? Not very much. You've got 12 collections. You're only paying for four of them. If you bought four of those individual collections at three forty nine, that's your fourteen ninety nine basically. Mm -hmm. The rest of them, eight of them, are free. Yeah. Because they're three forty nine each, direct from Crafty Witches, and this bundle is unique and exclusive to us at Hobby Maker. Super value. So as well as the two sets of toppers, you've also got your insert there. You've got um, an A four of sentiment strips. Let me open this up. So you've got all of these beautiful colours in the background that match through. Yeah. 
you've got your sentiment strips, happy birthday, birthday greetings, but you've also got your greetings there, hope your day is amazing, with a mixture of fonts there. And do you, do you see the lines just follow going across? So with yeah, the straight there, the lines, thing to cut really, out. really easy to cut out. Yeah. And of course you can isolate those and resize them as yeah. well if you want to. Then the little cauldron at the bottom that says next, click on that and this is going to take you to your decorative papers. I absolutely love this one. Look at that gorgeous oh, wow. dress background. That Beautiful. is so lovely. Printed onto fabric, that's going to look awesome. And of course, yeah, that's another thing. Think about what you can print yeah. onto these days. It's not just card or paper. You can get printable acetate. You can print onto vellum and parchment. Mm -hmm. You can print exactly. onto fabric. So many different things. Then you've got your two solid colours. You've also got two of your essential papers. So these, you've got your spots and your stripes, you've got that gorgeous top, and you've got the stormy. Now, once the cauldron goes grey, that means that you've come to the end of the kit. Okay. And then you can navigate back, and you think, actually, no, I want a solid colour. You can go next, or you could go back again. Really, really easy yeah, to navigate through. Yeah, the menus are really user-friendly. Yeah, they um, certainly are. And don't be frightened about downloading. It's just like you're downloading a song no. from a particular company online or... Uh, ordering Absolutely. something you know if you order your groceries or you do your banking or you open emails and send emails it's no different to that all you're basically doing is physically clicking where it says purchase now on our website hobbymaker.co.uk you'll see this item for 14.99 click purchase now boom you've bought it yeah. it doesn't go anywhere it comes directly to your hobby maker account not being sent in the post it's literally a download that will be on your account if not straight away within an hour or two because it sometimes it takes a little bit of time for all that artwork to go through if lots of people are downloading it at mm -hmm. the same time yeah um, and it's there for you from now forever and if you ever lose it off a device because you sell the device drop it damage it whatever it's always on your hobby maker account to reinstall back onto a new device it is. You have to buy it again. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my insert. Whenever I'm making a card, if I'm using an insert, I do that first. Yeah. Because then anything that goes on the front isn't going to get squished right, when I idea. open the card to put the insert in. So what I've done with this one, it's A4 in size. I've chopped it down because I only want this bit. Okay. And then I'm going to add some glue to the top. And then just layer that into the centre where I want that to go. And then I've got one of my sentiments. Now, this is from the topper sheet. It says, especially for you, friend. Again, just a little bit of sticky on the back. And I can pop that where I want it to go. There's nothing to stop you printing one of these out and then stamping on it or bob it through if you've got Word mm -hmm. and you want to type your own sentiment. This is also from the topper sheet. This gorgeous seagull. I've finally made friends with seagulls after the, that one now, what mugged me. What paper in... <laughs> what? I got mugged by a seagull. It, nick, it nicked my ice cream. Oh, not your chips, your ice cream. No, whole ice cream. I was standing there in Whitby like that, and the next thing... They're smacked around the back of the head. Oh, vicious. But it made me laugh because it got brain freeze. <laughs> it was there on the key like that, shaking its head, and I thought, it serves you right. £4.50 that cost me, that ice cream. Right then, so next up, I have got some of the solid colour, that lovely stormy glue. Let me ask you, yes. what paper do you recommend printing onto from Linda Chapman's Paper Emporium? We've got bundles in the okay. show. Right, so it depends on the thickness, the GSM that you want. Okay. This one that I've printed here is 160 because I've got quite a few layers. Well, we've got 200 sheets of 160 GSM uh -huh. A4 in the show if you want that. That's on our website right now. It's got the most beautiful, smooth surface. Good. So it's not just for printing on. You could stamp on it. You can use your inks on it as well. And you know if Linda has selected it, it's going to be great quality. Yeah. You're going to get great definition, great colour saturation on the card. Well, you can see that's. it doesn't matter. The GSM is just the weight yeah. of it. All of the qualities are all the same. Yes. Um, so the topper I've also done on 160. Okay. But this topper, because I'm decoupaging it, I've done this on 250 because mm -hmm. I wanted it to be a little bit more sturdy with it being lifted up. So obviously, as the paper and card in the show is a physical product that will be sent to you directly, you have to purchase that in the conventional way. So add it into your basket, check out either at the call centre or indeed on our website, and that will physically be sent to you in the post. And there will be the PMP of 495, but it's capped per day, remember. Yeah. So once you've bought that and spent your PMP, any other orders until midnight tonight, 
completely free of postage, doesn't matter. The other thing to remember as well is it's what you print onto. So if you're printing onto, onto copy paper, that's really absorbent. Yeah. So you can use more ink. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that sounds, it sounds like, oh, does it really matter? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. So I've got 160 here because I'm doing lots of layers. I don't want this card to be too heavy. Well, we've actually got but 160, 200 GSM, 200 sheets, and we've got 250 GSM as well in the white, all available in different GSM. So uh, there's 250 sheets of 250 GSM, there's 200 sheets of 160 GSM, and 200 sheets of 200 GSM. Perfect for this collection and all collections on the website now for you. It certainly is. And like I said, you don't need an all singing, all dancing printer. No. You just need a regular home office printer Okay, so what I've done here, this is that second one that I've printed, and I've layered up the lighthouse. And then, do you remember what I said about printing out some of the papers and actually enlarging for em embellishments? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a little face on the shelf. are little faces on them as well. <laughs> Look, they're just so cute. And again, you've got this beautiful watercolour style on there. So here are my little seashell buddies. I'm just thinking, you know, if you are buying this right now, and hundreds of you are by the looks of it on my screen, literally it's full of names, um, make something with it this afternoon. Hells has got another show with this at five o'clock. I, I am, I'm on at five, so yeah. Make something with it this afternoon. What better way to spend yeah. a, a Sunday afternoon? Send it in, message it in to us, mm. and then we'll enter you into Share You Makes. You could win yourself a hundred pound credit onto your account. We draw that on the last Saturday of every month, so in about two, three weeks time. Um, show, show us what you've done with the download that you've just bought, and you could be a hundred pound better off. How about that? That Pretty sounds good, like it? a plan, doesn't mm. it? It gives you enough time to make something between now and five. It so. does, because once you've got it, just unzip it and print. Mm. Literally, select what you want to look at, click, print and craft. Perfect Sunday afternoon pastime. I know. Who, who could ask for more? That is lovely. Isn't it just the colours in this one? And I love that watercolour effect in the background. It just, it looks so pretty. And this could be for absolutely anyone. My dad would like this because he likes the seaside. Me too. And Absolutely I right love that lighthouse. I so just think it's so lovely. 12 complete 12 page kits, 144 pages for 14.99, 10 p a page. I mean, if you bought a physical sheet of printed paper or card for 10 pence, you think that was a bargain. Um, but this is actually artwork that you can print as many times as you want. If you've got a particular image that you love, and we all do in our collections have favourites, let's face it. Normally on a collection, <laughs> you use your favourite first and then you suddenly realise, oh, you've only got one of those. Oh, OK, so I can only make it once. Yep. If you've got a favourite image, if you've got a favourite little putty cat, you can print mm -hmm. that 500 times if you exactly. want to. Exactly. That's, that's the thing. And the, fact, the very fact that these are versatile, you don't have to worry about running out. No. You know, it could be middle of the night, can't sleep, what can I do? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll shut the door and I'll print out some stuff and I'll <laughs> sit and have a play. Have you done that, middle of the night? Never. Don't believe you. <laughs> okay, now the next one we've got for you, this is another download, okay? This is the junk journal. We're gonna show you the boards for yes, in a second. Are. are these the junk journals here? Um, yeah, there's a couple there. Now, what Yed has done with this one is she's actually made the journal into a note card holder Ooh. so this could be the most beautiful gift now the nouveau suite junk journal is 74 pages a4 downloadable pages you've got covers different sets of covers that you can choose from you've also got loads and loads of embellishments you've got pages you've got duo pages you've got fancy papers essential papers that one is from Ian. So this, what Ian's done there is used a different cover. Is that Warlock Ian? It's Warlock Ian, yeah. Mm. He's dead clever, is our Warlock Ian. <laughs> all, all our sample makers are so clever. And the ideas that they come up with. And also, some of the girls have actually been making cards with this as well. So this isn't just to be made into a book. You can but do, do you know lots what I'm and thinking, lots of things Pels? with this. We've but noticed at Hobby Maker a massive, massive surge in popularity for making books and journals. Oh, yeah. Um, people who bought the thermal yeah. cinch. We did mm -hmm. a show with Carla the other day where she had the, the punch board for yep. journaling. That We sold hundreds and hundreds of those. So lots of you are in the mood for making books oh, and journals. Yeah. If you want to put content into them, this, this download is the perfect perfect way to go. £12.99, it works exactly the same way as our August medley. So in other words, you just see it on 
our website, mm -hmm. you click purchase now with a debit or credit card. It doesn't go into your basket, it doesn't go there at all, it goes straight onto your Hobby Maker account, okay? So don't click one, two, three, four. You just literally click it once uh, and then automatically it will then be downloaded to your Hobby Maker account. You can then, if you want to, put it onto the memory of your device, put it onto a hard drive, onto a little dongle or SD card, or, or just leave it on your Hobby Maker account. It's entirely up to you. But it's twelve ninety nine for how many pages again? Seventy four. Seventy four. Yeah. Wow. So this is the one that I've been working on. This is at, printed at 100%. This is the actual size of it. Oh, the artwork's amazing. But the other thing that you can do, Dave, is reduce the size. So this one is at 75%. Right. And then if you wanted to make a little diddy one, you could print down to 50%. So any size in between 100 and no, I mean, no, it'd just be ridiculously small. But you know what I mean, this is 50%. I think you could probably go to easily 30 and it'd still look okay. Now, what this does is when you're reducing the size of it, it's actually reducing the size of all of them as well. Yep. So remember, when you print it, you're gonna need to print your pages at 30% exactly. and your embellishments, because otherwise they won't fit. I mean, it could be that you're just putting plain lined pages in there and you're selling um, notebooks, just blank exactly. notebooks. That's fine. Or if you're putting notelets inside it, that would be right up my mother's street. My mother loves like notelets by the side mm. of the phone, for example. Or it could be that you're filling them with wonderful content from this collection. It's there for you to decide how you want to do your books and journals or albums, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them, and what size you want to do. Them. Exactly. So what I've done with this is, you know how much I love my distress. So yeah. I've added distress inks to this. And and beautiful. What would you see. sell that for at a craft fair? Oh, I don't know. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot more yeah. than twelve ninety nine. That's for sure. Mm. And that's all it's costing you for all that artwork. Exactly. And, and it's reusable as well. It's yes. like you could buy a book making kit for that much, and once you've used it, you have it no more. But this, you're actually buying the book making kit, which is reprintable, reusable, and resizable. Mm -hmm. So if you've got an A3 printer, oh, oh, hello, yes, that is where things could get really exciting because you could make massive books. You could. Because I know a lot of our digital crafters are now buying A3 printers. For that reason. Yeah, yeah absolutely. exactly. And what I've done is, what I tend to do when I'm making these is I actually print out everything that I think I'm going to need and then a couple of extras for embellishments. Okay. And I sit and I have a happy afternoon putting them all out. And have a little place. So shall we have a look at the board? Yeah, the board's are going to show you what yeah. the download is going to actually be, yeah, be full of. So you've got yeah. letters of the alphabet to start off with. There's like little coins. Yeah, so you've got, these are your covers that you've got. So that's the one I've used. That's the one Yedda's used. That's the one Ian's used. You've got alphabets. Mm -hmm. You've got your essential papers. And you've also got solid colours, all matching. Beautiful colours and beautiful they artwork. Are. Next, you've got your pages. Now, you'll see that you've got these little tabs. There are full written instructions that come with this. So what I would say is print out your instructions. You've then got them. And it actually shows you how to put these together. Very William Morris inspired. It is, isn't it? Mm. It's absolutely stunning, is this? Then you've got your oh, duo pages. So what Becky's done here is this is, if you're printing that onto your A4, it's A5 in size. Right. All you need to do is just score down the middle and fold it. Right. Now you could have all of these and just stick the right and the left together. So it could actually be into a star book if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. But what you can also do is use your pages and, and envelop this within the pages. The ladies' home journal. I know, look at that. that October okay? 1895. Wow. Looking good on it. I know, it, that, I actually modelled for that one. The years well. have been kind. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, you've got all of these decorative papers. Aren't they just yeah. beautiful? Then you've got all your sentiments there. So and again, if you wanted words. that as a fabric, you could print fabric with it. Yeah, of course. It's whatever medium you wanted to print onto. Mm. So and when you're making journals, you want different mediums in there. So print onto some fabric and tear it and make it fluffy on the edges. Yep. Or print onto your vellums, your different coloured card stocks if you've got craft card. Then you've got sentiments, you've got postcard sizes, you've got extra alphabets, and then you've got all of these elements here. Like torn pages. Yeah. Yeah. 
let me just fold that one over there. You've got pockets. Good grief. You've got little envelopes. Tags. You've got tags. You've got little circle embellishments. Then you've got the flowers here. Now you'll see you've got a bleed around the flowers, which yep. means you can go in and cut. You're not going to get any white edges. I'm just wondering, you know, how's how many people have actually bought, say, the <laughs> thermal cinch and have thought, right, I'm going to make some journals, yeah. I'm going to make some books, I'm going to make some memory books. Uh -huh. And then you thought, OK, I've made the book. Yep. But what do I put in it? This is the answer. There you go. All the elements, pockets, all, here. all sorts. And you've even got those little tabs as well. I love these ones. They're like little page tabs because let me show you what I've done with mine. If I go like that, there we go. You can actually see that they line up on the book. Oh. But I've left room in my book. My top tip is once you've done your pages, start at the back. Right. Because then you've still got room in the front because sometimes you don't ever want to finish it. You want to keep adding to it. So you I've left. Faux paper clips. Yeah, and they look they do look really they do realistic. Look real. I thought well. it was a real one to no, start no. with. It's a faux one. What I've done with mine here is I've printed it out onto single 250 and then printed out decorative papers mm -hmm. and just cut them down just so they fit, just so that's nice and sturdy. So for those of you that are lovers of the idea of making your own books, your own journals, your own albums, whatever mm -hmm. you want it to contain, this is going to give you so much content yeah. in such a stylish way with that kind of shabby chic vintage appearance. It's mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. It's only 12 99 and remember it works in exactly the same way as our August medley. You basically click purchase now, use your debit or credit card, it then becomes an instant Download on your Hobbymaker account, which you can put onto your PC, onto your tablet, onto your phone, or onto a, a, an external device, hard drive, anything like that. And then just print and craft. And I uh, yeah, I think an awful lot of people probably <laughs> are in that quandary of, okay, I've got all I need to make the book covers, but I don't know what to put inside my journal. I don't know what to make my book into. Is it going to be a memory book? Is it going to be an album? Is it going to be a journal? Is it going to be whatever you want it to be? Mm -hmm. This is going to give you all the content. Now, we've got one more download that I know you're going to love. If you love teal as a colour. Oh, yes. And who doesn't? <laughs> it's our colour. It's Hobby Maker colour, teal. It's absolutely gorgeous, is this? It this really is, is 90 pages and it's only 8 99 Again, it is a download, okay? Brilliant value for money. Um, just literally click on it, purchase it, and then have it downloaded onto your account uh, right now, this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. This is what they call, it's the teal collection, isn't it? Yeah, so this is Jade Jewel. And in each of the three colorways, you have got 30 pages. Right. So you've got positive and negatives here. So you've got your positive and negative in your large dots, your medium and your polka dots. You've mm -hmm. got thick stripes, thin stripes. You've got your plaid and your gingham. You've got a solid. You've also got the checkerboard. Then you've got your flowers, your hearts, your stars and your swirls. Mm -hmm. Then you have got so many sentiments here. Now you've got all of your relatives, mother, mummy, stepmom, father, nana, gran, step grandfather you literally Every everybody yeah. that we've tried to think step brother step sister in your white background and your teal background of course, these are all a4 they these are, are all down a4 for the boards, but. yeah we've literally squeezed in as much as we can then you've got your sentiments on your special day and again you've got those with the teal background with the white background this looks beautiful if you add a little bit of distress ink around the edge just yep. to bring those colours in. Just for you on your birthday, especially for you, make memories. Now, this is what I would call a comprehensive library. Yep. And these are the, the colours that even the solid colour, you'll think, oh, I'd need that colour. Mm -hmm. And you know that you've got it. You've also got uppercase and lowercase alphabets and all your ordinals as well. Beautiful. So that one is your Jade Jewel. Now a different, Next. slightly different... Uh, color hue. Yeah, different tone here. We've got the iris dawn. So this is a little bit brighter in your turquoise. This is like a proper true turquoise color. And again, exactly the same, mm -hmm. but in a different color. Mm -hmm. So these will mix and match together perfectly. And then you have got your, let me remind myself what this one's called, cloudy day. So this is more of a green blue. Yep. Yeah. And if I bring these in so you can see them all together. Well, they all kind of work together well, don't they? You can see how beautifully they work together as well. So you've got now, a complete collection of every type yes. of teal colour you could yeah. ever imagine. Pretty much every colour. So papers, plain papers, yeah. sentiments, mm -hmm. relations, letters of the alphabet. Yeah. So you've got uppercase, lowercase, all your ordinals. You've also got 
every single relative that we can think of. So that is only £8.99. How many sheets in total? 90. 90, 90 sheets, so yep. 30 on 30 each one. 30 per each. That is 90 pages for £8.99, so it's 10p per page. Well, if you only ever printed it once. Exactly. <laughs> but you won't, will you? You'll be printing them no. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. You'll print it loads of times. And, you know, if you were to buy all three of these collections we've got for you today as physical kits, imagine the storage that you'd need, the furniture you'd need, the damage maybe that could happen to them if they got accidentally walked on by the cat or too dusty or whatever. You, you knock a glass of water over them. With this, you only print them off when you need them. And you don't even have to have a computer. All you need to have is some device like a tablet or a mobile phone that's connected to a printer. And you can then just remotely, using Bluetooth, print off the sheets that you want. And look at the sort of cards that you can produce. Beautiful. I know. So I've got a couple here just to show you. They use it with your dies. Um, just keep it really simple if you want to. I, what I like to use these for are flower making. I absolutely love the fact that I can die cut these. I can print them out, die cut them and make loads of flowers. Sure. So that's another afternoon job that I do. I'll print a load of stuff out and then I'll just sit making flowers. What we've noticed is that teal has become one of the most popular colours. It's our company colour, a hobby maker. That's why our little banner up there is that colour. Uh, so it's a colour we're very fond of and I know you are as well. So eight ninety nine for your three complete collections in the different shades of teal. It's mm. called actually your teal collection. So that's a digital download from that. Indeed. Okay. Now the paper right. emporium. I yes. mentioned that earlier on. Let's start with the 160. So mm. if you want the lowest GSM, mm -hmm. this is uh, 200 sheets of 160. Would yeah. you recommend printing your toppers on this? Or? Um, yeah, oh. I mean, you could literally print whatever you want. It depends on the finish that you want. Now, I use 160. That's, that's the one that I'll tend to print on my papers, the inserts, the base toppers. If I'm doing decoupage, then I usually go for a little bit sturdier. Okay a bit more heavyweight yep. for the for the top of the topper for decoupage but this is 160 so it's that generic weight 200 sheets for 200 sheets. I would have thought I 100 for that price but no you get 200 it's got the most beautiful finish to it smooth it's really really smooth if you've got alcohol markers this works perfectly on it because it doesn't drink the ink right so also when you're using this to print on it's not going to suck the ink in there so you're going to get a crisper finish it's working out to 8p a sheet i think sm6362 is your item number delivered for that one pmp per day of four pounds 95. remember this is a physical product so order it in the conventional way either at the call center on the free phone number or just by putting it into your basket and checking out and paying your pmp which you only pay one now, mm -hmm. going up then from 160 to the 200. 200 GSM, 200 sheets of it. Actually, if I just put the 160 next to it, you can see the difference. There's the same quantity. Mm -hmm. Let me put the 200 GSM there. I'll put the 160 next it's to it. It's just the thickness, really. Yeah, look. You can see that difference. Same quantity, but a lot thicker. Mm -hmm. That's the 160 200. That's the 200 GSM 200. See the difference in the mm. thickness of the wad because it's a much thicker card. And what would you use this for? Right, 200, I would be using this for if I wanted to print some card. If I was going to do a clean and simple card and I wanted like a pattern paper or a solid card, that's what I'd use if I was only doing one or two layers. Okay. Also, printing toppers. This is perfect for die cutting, for flower making. So any of my classics, any of the spellbinding classics would probably go on 200 and then I could die cut them. These also work beautifully in your electronic cutting machines as cool. well. Okay, 19.99 if you want 200 of the 200. And then we have the 250 GSM and 250 sheets of this, yeah. not 200, 250 this sheets This is of my absolute favorite. This is my go-to card. And I, I know. Perfect. This is delivered to 4.95. It weighs yeah. a lot, as you can probably imagine. Perfect for book covers. Now, what I've done here, Dave, is I've used 250 on the outside of this book yep. and then I've used 200 on the inside so it's nice and sturdy so that's 450, 450 in total yeah. altogether um, and that wasn't something that I determined I just thought oh I've just got some 200 there I'll use that but like I said it's entirely up to you but all of the qualities are identical it's just so the, the weight of the card it's that's just different. purely the weight of the card so this one I use this for distress ink, for stamping, because unusually when you've got a card, <coughs> a card that's super smooth, if you introduce water to it, it usually pills and delaminates. Right. And that means it can look a little bit ugly when you dry it, whereas this doesn't. 
So you can use it for alcohol markers, but you can also use it for your distress, for, for your watercolour pencils, okay. etc. And just to kind of recap on why we are so popular at Hobbymaker with our <coughs> PMP um, policy, basically. If you went for the 160, you went for the 200, and you went for the 250, all in one purchase, that's a lot of weight, and that's a lot of size. Mm -hmm delivered for one PMP of 495 no matter how many things you buy from midnight one day to midnight the next okay uh, most companies you know ask you to put it on the scales and then they measure it will it go through that little slot that the postman has I, don't, sort of I don't know how much that that would be it's going to be more than two kilos isn't it yeah it feels more than two kilos so more than two kilos for a medium parcel I know if you were just going to send it royal mail it's going to cost you a lot yeah yeah, absolutely. Not, it, well, probably double what four ninety five is. That's yeah. nearly a tenner, isn't it? So about, around about five pound a kilo usually. Don't quote me on that, but it's roughly about that. Um, we've also got other cardstock in the show as well. I'll quickly run through those, and then mm. we'll go back to the uh, the ultimate August medley. Fifty hundred, uh, fifty two hundred GSM sheets in yep. the cream. And again, you can print on this. So I that, use this. That journal would look fantastic. The journal, yeah. Now I've printed on. I've printed using white card. And that's just because at the moment I've run out of cream. But yeah, anything that's vintagey would look great on that. Yep. Also, um, if you have got the August medley, something like your T for two with that beautiful vintage looks absolutely gorgeous. Well, again, you've got the Linda Chapman seal, so you know that it's going to be great quality. It'll print amazingly. Twelve ninety nine is all you're paying if you want the 50 sheets of 200 GSM cream. Now, another thing that will look great in mm. the junk journal as well, or indeed any of the artwork we've shown you today, is this, because this is craft, but it's craft with a difference. It's not that kind of rough, fibrous craft that you're perhaps mm -hmm. used to. This has, got, this has got almost like a parchment look to it. It has, hasn't it? It reminds me of, you know, when you get a very expensive box of chocolates? Yes. And it's that card that they use inside. That's what this reminds me of. And again, this is beautifully smooth, so your printer will love it. But all the artwork we've shown you in both the August oh, Medley yes. and the Junk Journals would look amazing on this card. They would stock. look it really fabulous would. on there, wouldn't they? 50 sheets, 240 GSM as well, A4. That's only 15.99. so thank you, Linda and Crafty Witches, for that one. And then lastly, <laughs> probably um, Linda's champion. Uh, yes. I've, since I've known Linda many, many years now, uh, it's been black card all the way mm. for doing your matting and layering and that sort of thing. This is 200 GSM, 50 sheets of A4. Yep. With Linda's seal of approval. There we go, and it's uh, black core too. It is, yes. Yeah. So every single fibre in this card is black. So that means that you're not going to get any little discoloured edges. Perfect for your die cutting. If you want to stamp in white, use your white marker pens, paint mm -hmm. pens on it. Really makes those pop. 50 sheets for just £14.99 pence if you're running out or you want to try it, ZP6392. Now, the main focus has been, obviously, the August medley. Let's go back to that. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, with the Crafty Witches on their website, each of these collections is £3.49, and, and each collection comprises of 12 sheets, OK? So that's really good value, very yeah. good value for money. But this is the only place you can get this bundle. They've done it exclusively for you and I at Hobbymaker. You can get 12 collections, £3.49 each. That works out to nearly £42 worth of value. You get <laughs> £42 worth for £14.99. So you've got 12 twelves, 144 sheets yes. in 12 different collections. And they, they, they go all through the year. You've got a little bit of Christmas in there. Uh, your 12 kits, you've got butterfly blooms. You've got uh, Deepest Delight, Floral yep. Romance, Frosted Elegance. There's 12 complete collections mm -hmm. going through different seasons of the year for different eventualities. You've got Cute and Cuddly. Yes. You've got Remembrance with the Poppies. Yep, so you've got Snuggle Buddies, which is one of my favourites. And this is, it's Christmas, but with a different colour. So if you're not wanting to do your traditional Christmas colours, you've got these lovely autumnal, almost autumnal colours. You've got your little puppy and kitten, a jumper. You've got the little gingerbread house, gingerbread man. Then you've got precious, prick precious prickles with your gorgeous hedgehog, poppy meadow, mermaid lovelies, take it easy, floral romance. And then you've got your whimsical wild, home for Christmas, very Scandi looking traditional Christmas, nativity joy, frosted elegance. You like that one, don't you, Dave? Oh, yeah. And then you've got tea for two and deepest delight. They're amazing. 
all 12 kits. Download it today. And remember, don't put it in your basket because there's nothing physical to go into your basket. It's a download. So where it says on the website, purchase now, you could have this in minutes, literally in minutes. I mean, if there was an initial surge at the beginning of the show, probably that surge has died down a little bit now. It won't take you long for your computer or your device to download it. And it will then be on your Hobby Maker account, okay? £14.99. Choose whether you pay by debit or credit card, and it will be there for you this afternoon to craft with. And come back at five, make something with it if you've downloaded it. Oh, yeah. And then email it into us in the show at five o'clock, and you could win yourself a hundred pound account credit because you've shared your makes with us at Hobby Maker. Um, yes. Great to see you. And you, Dave. Thank um, you very much. You're back with Haley at five. I am. Okay. Five p.m. Uh, next, we've got another very busy show coming up. We've got Hunky Dory and new books for Christmas launch with lovely cats. So we'll see you after a short break. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. show by watching on the go with our brand new hobby maker app head over to your app store now and search hobby maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests click on the today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show want to know what's hot then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobby Maker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email, and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobby Maker gift card? Did you know at Hobby Maker that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. <laughs> Are 
Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi everyone, welcome back to Hobby Maker Sunday afternoon. What better way to spend a Sunday afternoon than being with us, doing a bit of crafting, maybe you're doing some crafting at the moment, making some cards or whatever. One eye on what you're doing, one eye on the TV. When a bargain comes along, you just pick up the phone or go onto our app or go onto the website and order it. And that's what you're gonna do, I know, with the first collection we got for you today, because there are hunky-dory Christmas releases that everybody eagerly awaits. And this is the next eagerly awaited launch. Um, the little books, Cat's with me, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got the same kind of top on, so similar. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've got the memo. Uh, good to see you, Cat. Now, this is the latest three little books from Hunky Dory, and they are amazing. The artwork is incredible. The quality is incredible. You can decoupage them if you want to. They're brand new today. We've got the launch of them just here. I'll show them to you which ones they are. You're going to get Festive Wonder. I'll flick through them in a second for you. So there's your Festive Wonder. That's all kind of myth and magic and quite magical and yeah, there's dragons and ice fairies and all sorts in there. You've got Father Christmas, a whole little book packed full of Father Christmas images, even on his bike. There's a cartoon Father Christmas, the real Father Christmas. How brilliant is that? I'll flick through that in a second. And then this is a great one. All tangled up. Can you relate to this with your animal at home? Always getting tangled up in the fairy lights. Shall I flick through them for you? Look at this. You've got 120 sheets in each oh. pad, 360 pads, uh, sheets in each, in each, uh, in th all three pads. Look at them. You've got portrait, you've got landscape, the polar bear, oh my word. A little pig, you gasped at the little pig. That's your favorite, isn't it, Kat? The, the pig is really, really cute. But there's, well, as we go through, I'll go, oh, that's my favorite, and that's my favorite, <laughs> and that's my favorite. Look at the hedgehog. They're just so beautiful. So but look cool. at the quality of the paper. Can you see that wonderful shine? Now you're checking out straight away. We're going to do a deal. They should be $9.99 each. They should be $29.97 for all three pads. Think about the cards you can make and the projects you could make with all of these images. You get multiples of each image as well, so you can decoupage them if you want to as well. I mean, a dinosaur with festive lights on. How many kids just love their dinosaurs? Penguins. Adorable. Look at that little, little, West, uh, little terrier, Yorkshire terrier, I think. Yeah, adorable. You've got Santa's little helper. The gnomes are there as well. The teddy bear. It's just cute overload. Really, really is. There's Father Christmas. Even he gets tangled up in his life. Well, lights. that's it. But we've got some more traditional images in there as well. Absolutely. Just everything can be tangled up with Christmas lights. Totally. And then you've got a cute little horse there as well. Or unicorn. Sorry, not a horse. How dare I say horse? <laughs> unicorn. And then you've got the, uh, the oh, abominable snowman. <laughs> or Yeti. <laughs> Even he looks cute. He looks a bit confused. He can't get out of it, I think. Okay, so that's the first one, all tangled up. When you see what we can do with the price of this in a minute. This one is your Father Christmas. Look. Look at this. You've got steampunk Father Christmas. You've got him with his little night light. I mean, look at the printing and look at the light coming off that lantern. There he is. He's on his way with his bag over his shoulder. Special delivery to Santa. Little postage stamp on there. They're just gorgeous. There he is on his Harley. Santa on a Harley. <laughs> Santa on a day off. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's Boxing Day in the Caribbean somewhere. Um, look at that tra traditional image um, on almost like a sepia background, which looks really, really lovely. Oh, wow. Look at him. Smiling, beaming, absolutely happy. And then you get the cartoon Santas as well. Really lovely. So all of this is yours. Uh, 120 sheets, so 360 sheets in total. Look at that for an image of Santa. Decoupage him, make his beard decoupaged if you want to. There he is as a, an elf or a gnome. There he is with the kids at Christmas. Absolutely beautiful. And there's the naughty and nice list that was being checked there. There he is, look, see if your name's on it. I don't know which list mine will be on. Um, there we go, so that's your Father Christmas little book. And then we've got the first one that we were showing you is this one, which is your festive wonder. Now this is myth and magic all the way. You've got cute little elves. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful robin in full flight. Love it. And then you go into the uh, kind of fairy grotto with festive poinsettias. That to me reminds me of Frozen. Yes. The, the musical, absolutely. Definitely. Ice Queen, absolutely. Then you've got that lovely gazebo in the garden or the birdhouse. Carousel, old fashioned carousels at the fun fair. Fabulous. Baubles, decoupage those, make them 3D. 
Um, again, a little elf. Elves and gnomes celebrate Christmas too, in the toadstool house, of course. Then you've got uh, little mouse helpers, army of helpers for Santa. Poinsettias and the high heel shoes. Polar bears, look at, look at the colours in that. Isn't it beautiful? The light that just the rays from that one is absolutely stunning. This, this book is so different. It's got such a variety of different kind of different themes you can use in there as well. And I think this one's just going to take you past Christmas. I think this one's great for winter birthdays, winter weddings. Mm -hmm. There's so many different occasions you could use this book for. Absolutely right. There's a the Santa Express, all aboard. Amazing. And the colours are fa fantastic. The artwork's incredible. And you can make and sell whatever you wish. Absolutely hunky-dory. Give you thumbs up on that. No problem. Look at that beautiful reindeer. Again, with the lights wrapped around his antlers. And there you go. A festive dragon. How about that? So all three pads, they're $9.99 each. $29.97. Kim, Ruby, Wendy, Sylvia, Jane in the channel lines have all checked out already. What about if I tell you one of those is free? $19.98 or 666 each instead of 999 whichever way you look at it you've got 360 pages of absolute gorgeous hunky dory artwork that you can make into whatever you wish absolutely flying loads of you coming through we'll go straight to demo with this to show you how you can use them i know lots of people buy these to use but also lots of people buy them to collect so maybe you want to go for a couple of them. We've got um, stencils and masks in the hour. We've got brand new mirror mats as well that you can use with the pages that are slightly bigger than the pages in the books. Shop ahead on the website. It's all on the website now for you. So the mirror mats are there, the stencils are there. Um, we've got mirror mats in gold, in silver, in rainbow. And we've also, of course, got the, uh, the multicolor one, the set of 60, 20 colors, three of each. That's on there as well. And they're all just a little bit bigger than the pages. Now, nearly how much has gone? 20% of the stock of the little books has gone already. <laughs> We've only just put the price on. That's how busy we are. QR HD 96. Okay, Kat, we knew you'd love these. Everyone okay. loves them. Yes. Oh, they're absolutely stunning. I am going straight in with one that jumped out at us all is this lovely festive dinosaur. He is so, so different, but great for your kid. But a lot of grown ups had liked this before. They have traditional images year after year after year. It's great. So we are. I'm your kids take love dinosaurs. These. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm going to keep this. Well, she says she's going to keep it simple. We'll start in with a simple, te se simple technique. I'm just going to mat and layer this onto a gold mirror mat. I'm going to use my dry adhesives because we are going to cut into this. So you could use your construction glue. Just make sure you give it plenty of time to dry. Mm -hmm. And we're going to bob that straight down. And we've got all the mirror mats coming up for you later because I am using a variety in this demonstration. And look how the mirror mats are just a little bit bigger than the pages in the books. So you get a perfect, in that case, gold frame. Yeah, absolutely perfect. And then I'm just going to cut. I think we're going to come an inch in each direction, just to cut like a little aperture window out of this, just to give it an interest. Okay. So I'm gonna take this down here, and because we're doing it on the trimmer, we can see perfectly where we're cutting. I'm just gonna line my cut lines. And you know sometimes pa some papers cut better than others. The papers in the little books just cut effortlessly, whether you're using a craft knife or a guillotine or a trimmer. They do. I do like uh, when I'm doing this kind of technique and I'll go uh, into it a bit more in the show that we've got at four o'clock. I have learned that when you're doing lots of die cuts or lots of cutting onto them, maybe back them onto your cardstock first. And right. then just for when you're sticking them down, it's a little bit more stable. Okay. But they cut beautifully. Third of the stock gone of the little books. Not, we're not even caught up an hour into the show. So we're just going to cut my little frame out of here. So we've got that. I've got another sheet here. Now, normally I'd trim this down, but I don't need to because we've already got that mirror mat. And then I've gone ahead with a third sheet. And as you can see, I've just gone in and I've started fussy cutting this. I'll just finish it off. Now, this one requires a little bit of patience. So I have started it off because there's quite a few bits to go around here. But these pages are just absolutely perfect for cutting fussy cutting they mm -hmm. cut so beautifully this just glide with your scissors and we'll come round so you're actually getting six of each image so if you wanted to do three or two decoupage um, images of three layers you could do that or if you wanted to do like six layers for one decoupage image you could do that too or make them go further just use one sheet at a time for maybe notelets or very simple basic cards 
And the next thing I'm going to do, I've delved into some of our colour Murray mats. Now, I think all three of these colours are in both the coloured selection and the festive selection. Okay. I think they're definitely in the festive, though. So I am going to take these. I'm going to cut them. I'm just going to cut them down a little bit to six and, sorry, five and three quarter inches. Okay. All of them. So you can just imagine I've done that with the green as well. And then we're just going to cut them all into three-quarter strips lengthways. So we end up with lots of pieces like this in all three colours. And do that across your whole sheet so you've got lots and lots of them. Then we are going to cut yourself. This is an 8 by 6 gold mirror mat for the finished size of our card. We are just going to pop this down now again i am going to use my tape roller for this just for um time and because i know where i'm placing these when you're doing it again you might find your construction glue easier just so you can get your spacings right as you're working your way along so you can Tell get you what, all your Kat, we, we knew these would be popular but at quarter past two quarter of an hour into the show 40 percent of the stock of the little books have gone it's absolute madness we thought it'd be busy and so you just work all your way along like that and you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this lovely so i do apologize i have um i've done this slightly different on here i don't know why i've cut that one down uh, smaller let me take these off <laughs> this was meant to go on here i've put them directly on for some reason but you can do it either way Okay. It doesn't matter. Because it's going to end up with actually piece. allows you to take the adhesive off quite easily yeah. as well. So. I think it was because when I was doing my um, original sample at home, I was still trying to work out my measurements. So I thought it's easy to put them on this size and then mat and layer it. But I figured out that it will work perfectly like that. So either way is up to you. Mm -hmm. So let's pop this on here now. And then just, I love these beautiful shiny mirror colours but just to take it down a little bit because they can be a little bit overwhelming on the card I'm going to take a piece of parchment and we're just going to layer this over the top just oh, nice. to give this really different effect now kinda, we're going to do it a little bit smaller so let's take mutes it, it a little bit doesn't it just a little yeah so I'm going to start by let's do seven by five and then that should leave us like a nice little mirror effect around the edge but still give us room to pop our main topper on afterwards yeah so it just like you said it just tones it down a little bit like it and then we're just going to put a little bit of tape in the middle where we know it's going to be covered up by our top layer okay. shortly so we can just pop that on there and then we're going to take that base that we did before the one without the mirror mat and we'll pop that again centrally in there let's do this one we'll add a few foam pads See, there's so many ways you can use the little book and that's why it's always worth tuning in for the demos to uh to give you ideas i wouldn't have thought of doing this with it but um it's gonna look great there's so many fun things you can do yeah i um i love i'll get i'm showing it ho hopefully at the end of this show one of my favorite techniques which is like um, burnishing back scoring and burnishing back my little books i was able to do it in a slightly different way with one of the new products that we've oh, got coming okay. up so i can't wait to show you that one later so let's just line this up now leaning back on there just so we've got that little bit of an image and then we're going to take the one that we've cut out and we're going to do some double foam padding up here just so he sticks out even further. I'm going to pop this directly onto the image so I can see. Because the coloured strips of the mirror you've got there are picked up in the actual image of the dinosaur with yes. the lights and his colour of his skin and everything else. And we know we can pop a little bit here. And we can just take them back in off. And then layer him back over himself so he's really, really popping out of that image there. And then somewhere, if I can find it, I did have a little sentiment 
that I was gonna, it's not a cat show if she doesn't lose what she was looking <laughs> for originally. It look, there it is. Got it. And we've just gone from Christmas cuddles because who wouldn't want to cuddle off a dinosaur at Christmas? Absolutely. There's our first card. It is, let's just pop it onto our card base. I'll tell you what, I'll show you some other cards that the design team have made as well um, with these books to give you some more ideas. But the books are absolutely flying. 120 in each, 360 pages in total. You're only paying for two of the books. You're getting one of them free at 19.98. But there's our first card. There we go. Brilliant. Love it. So there's so many ways of using these little books. Let me show you some other cards that the design team have done. Who's done this one? Claire Alcock has done this with a gingerbread, gingerbread baby. Um, and look, the lights in the background as well. Beautiful. Um, we've got some stencils coming up in a minute, which is actually what Claire has used here to create that. Uh, kind of ribbon of light effect in the background. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is going to really make Cat's Day. It's so cute. Look, 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 look. Oh, isn't it lovely? Um, no, it's no, it's, it's flat, but it does actually look decoupaged. You could decoupage it if you wanted to. Give him a big hooter. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Look at this one. This is one that's really unusual. Sam has made this. How on earth? That is, that's two different sheets cut into strips. Yeah, that's kind of an optical illusion, isn't it? Yeah, it's so good. And it's, it's actually quite easy to do. All you do is you take your piece of cardstock and you score it. Um, I, I don't know if I've got a piece of paper, but I'll bring my scoreboard on just so you've got an idea. So if you were to score, at, say, every half an inch yeah. and then just corrugate, fold it up, Cut your uh, little book pages, your two pages of your two different images into those half an inch strips. Then stick one design all on one side and one side all on the other. And you would get that fabulous effect. That's a great effect. Let me just show it to you again. So you walk in the room, it's on the mantelpiece. You see him on vacation. You walk across to where the telly is, look back, and he's actually got his sunglasses on. How cool is that? So clever. Yeah, uh, this is another one. Um, Claire Alcock's done this one using some snowfall acetate with the, the Polar Express, the Santa Express. That's a film I always have to watch every year. Yeah, one of my favorite Christmas movies. That and Home Alone 2. Um, Lost in New York, love it. Uh, there's your vintage Santa. Here he is again on holiday. On Boxing Day, probably. Love it. Um, here again, another jolly Santa. Oh, there's so many Santa images in that one dedicated pad purely for Father Christmas and Santa Claus. This is from the all tangled up one with the polar bear using some snowflake acetate again. Look at that, all wrapped up. But he doesn't seem too bothered by it. <laughs> Another one that's all wrapped up as well with a lovely stepper card. There's the little pixie or the elf. Isn't it beautiful? Well, that's just using one sheet. One sheet from 360. So many of you are multi-buying because I think they are the most economical way of making Christmas cards or covering and decorating boxes. There's the uh, Father Christmas Elf. But again, look at this with no characters, just that beautiful ma um, kind of mandolin or beautiful, isn't it? Snowflake, it could be. Uh, one more. Oh yeah, look at that. So using the image of the, the ice queen and then the image of the castle in the background, very kind of Disney feel to that. It really is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 1998 gets you all three pads. One of them is free. Now, what Hunky Dory are very good at doing is they bring out like the pads with the pages and they say, okay, they do the, um, the mirror mats that are designed to go with the pages in the book. But then they also do dies and they also do stencils that are the same size and can act as a frame for the images in the pad. So you've got this one here. Now you can use the images in the middle, believe in the magic of Christmas, or you can use the frame, or you can use elements of it if you want to. But if you look at the middle, one sheet from the book will fit into that frame if you're using the stencil as a way of decorating, whether you're embossing it, putting texture paste through it, adding ink through it. Um, we've got some here to show you. So you can use it just as a stencil, very effectively, or you can use it with one of the pages from the little books equally effectively. So it's a frame, it's a stencil, it's all sorts of things in one. So that's the first one. So that says, believe in the magic of Christmas. The next stencil is this one, which is the one with lights on. Now that's the one that I showed you that finished card earlier on that had the uh, fairy lights all the way around the outside edge. This, this one, this one from 
Claire is using that stencil to carry on the fairy light theme from the, um, the sheet onto the edge of the card. And that works really, really well. So this is May Your Days Be Merry and Bright with a fantastic, and you can actually use those lights out of Christmas. And um, they could be barbecue lights. Definitely, yes, you know. yeah. Yeah, summer lights. So that's that one. And then the last one is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And this has got the kind of candy cane stripes around the outside as a frame. I've got one here to show you how that looks. Whether you're using the whole stencil, putting a nice little image from the pad on top, or whether you're just using the frame itself. And actually that's been done really effectively, made it into like a chevron. You could do that quite cleverly. So lots of ways of using the stencil. Here's another one. Oh, hang on, look at this. I didn't think of that. Do it both directions, flip it over. You've then got like a plaid. So that makes it kind of a, a plaid or a gingham look. And that could be, yeah, that could be a summer effect, couldn't it? So many different ways to use them. They're so, so fun. So should be £5.50 each, which is £16.50 for these stencils. You're going to get all three for how much? I wonder. £12.50, £4 saved. So that makes them only £4.16 pence per stencil. And they're big size stencils, but they're not a stencil that does one thing. They do multiple jobs. Emboss with them, use them for your texture paste, ink them, just use the outside frame, just use the sentiment. They are absolutely flying in for these. And remember, they are designed to be, if I just tear one page out of the book, Anne-Marie will kill me if she sees me do this. <laughs> but just one page out, look, it fits in the frame of each of the stencils beautifully, as it fits onto your mirror mats as well. So everything's produced with other things that they've produced in mind. Absolutely. And remember, if you get these masks today, they are going to work with all your uh, little books that have come before. Yep. They're not just for this collection. No, no, we no. launched uh, several little books now through the Christmas collections that we've done this year. So you can backdate them almost. Yeah. I mean, to be honest got with so you, many uses. you could just take the star elements. OK, the icicles are probably winter and Christmas, yes. But the star elements, you can isolate and use those separately. The stripes, you could use all year round. It doesn't have to be candy cane. It can be made to look like a plaid. Uh, we showed you chevrons and how you can crisscross the pattern. And of course, the lights. Lots of people have lights up in the garden for, you know, barbecue evenings and that Definitely. sort of thing. So it's it's not just, just how you choose to colour them. That's And it's you can use them so many different occasions and have you got any of that spray snow you could actually put <gasps> the verse on windows couldn't you wow you could, maybe you've got a conservatory you've got sliding doors anything like that then you could actually put believe in the magic of christmas on a, on, a, on the inside of a, a glass sliding door or the front door or maybe you've got um little panes of glass in the yes. front door yes why not Use them oh, i'm going to try that yeah. Uh, £12.50 gets you all three of them, and that's PWHD45. Now, this is going to fly. It always does. You've got 20 colours, three of each, for your mirror mats. Now, these started life because Anne-Marie at Hunky Dory Towers was getting fed up chopping up A4 mirror card to make mats for the pages. So she went to the guillotine man and said, hey, can you make me some mats, please? Uh, they're just a bit bigger than the pages in the little books. And he said, yeah, I can do that. So he did it for her. And then suddenly the penny dropped and she thought, well, if I want that, maybe everyone at home wants that as well. So then the Miri mats were born. If I just show you with one sheet from the pad, look. Now we've not been able to bring these for two months. We sold out of them. Look, you map the page from the little book onto your Miri mat, you've got a perfect two mil border of gold in this case. But remember with this particular bundle, the 60 are 20 colors, three of each. And look, you've got black, you've got blue, you've got teal, gold, red, olive green, purple, fuchsia, copper, light blue, all those colors. So look at, look at the actual image that you've got. And then what color jumps out? Oh, okay, gold works, because gold's the color of the lights. But what about the red for the Father Christmas jacket? Okay, let's get the red. Let's get the red. And then you've got a perfect mirror mat to go with his outfit. It just makes all the difference. It gives the sheet rigidity as well, doesn't it? Strength. It too. does, yeah. absolutely. So $7.99, honestly, that's a steal. That should be more than that. £7.99 for 60 sheets of pre-cut Miri to be exactly, I say exactly, just slightly bigger than the size of the pages. Nearly a third of the stock of this has gone. If you've already bought something today, remember the phone call is free. The PMP is just 4 95 for your whole day's orders. So don't think, oh no, I'm gonna pay PMP again. 
If you paid it once, you won't pay it again until tomorrow because it's uh, all your orders from midnight last night through to midnight tonight. That's what we love about Hobby Maker. We've got other options of the Miri as well. Um, the gold, silver and rainbow. Now, this is the biggest bundle that I think we've ever, ever done. Now, these are, we do it with the pocket pads, but I don't think we've ever done it with a little book before until today. So here you've got 60, 60, 60, is that right? No. Oh, you get 30, um, right, okay. 30 sheets of gold, 30 sheets of silver, and 40 sheets of rainbow, okay? So you're gonna get 100 in total. The Miri obviously has got every color under the sun in there, so it doesn't really matter what sheet you take. I mean, I'm just taking the front page of the book, but you can see it doesn't matter what colors are on your sheet because basically the rainbow is gonna pick up the colors from somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I just took the front cover off. You know what I'm like. Um, I could take this one, which is the beautiful Dreamland Castle. There we go. Look at that. The frosty one's gonna look great because that splash of color comes from literally nowhere. We've also got the silver and you're gonna get, remember, what was it again? 30 of the gold, 30 of the silver and 40 of the rainbow. Hang on, let's put the wrong one down. There's the silver one. That's got no miri on it at all or no rainbow on it at all. But you've got that perfect edge in silver, nice and frosty. And then you've got, of course, the gold as well. So rainbow, you've got 40 of, gold, you've got 30 and silver, you've got 30 all for just £9.99. And they're going to go with literally everything. They're kind of chameleon colours, aren't they, really? 20% of the stock of that has gone. SFHD62. £9.99 gets you all of that. OK, Kat, back to yes. you. Another demo, if that's all right. Let's have a play with these beautiful masks. So I am going to take the Believe in the Magic of Christmas, but we're just going to use the frame for this one. Um, I'll show you what to do with the middles later. And the even though your message, your sentiment is landscape, you can, sorry, portrait, you can just twist these round and use your frames landscape as well. So I'm just going to secure this down with some masking tape. And I'm going to secure it to my mat as well, just so I've got some stability. And um, for this one, we are going to use our classic way of colouring with our mask, which is using our inks. So I'll show you the little book page I've chose to use with this one, so you can understand where my colour theory is coming from. So I have picked out, I've got Prussian blue, I've got blueberry, and I've got our beautiful lamb, uh, lavender, lovely lamb lovely lilac hmm. and we're going to do a lovely kind of ombre effect coming down here so we're just going to start with our darkest one our Prussian blue at the top and I'm just going to come down so we're just going to gently rub that over and Kat just to give everyone a heads up you and I at four o'clock have got make your own stencils we've got mylar yes we have uncut mylar we've got it back it's been four months waiting for it to come back in you can use your dies now to make your own stencils we've got that at four that's going to be a busy show too then we are going to move to our blueberry and that's just it's still a darker blue but it's just a little bit softer we just blend that up into what we've already done but we want to leave some space for our lavender at the bottom and you can see just i'm doing this in real time you can just see how quick it's all coming together it doesn't matter if you go off the edges a bit for this one because we are going to trim it down to size but if you were wanting to do it perfect just mask off your edges and then you're not going to have to worry about making that mess so that is all our details coloured. And then I'm just going to peel this off here. And you can just see this lovely ombre effect that we're getting there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another shade. I'm going to take our Air Force Blue. Now this looks quite um, dark, but as long as you go in with a light touch, don't over ink your blending sponge. You can we do can so much with those stencils though, can't you, Kat? Lightly, oh, absolutely. So yeah, I've got a few different techniques. I hope they stay in for the second show because between the uh, two shows, I've got a few different techniques to show you. And we're just going to go all the way around that, lightly colour it up. 
I'm not going to do the whole thing because there's quite a few bits to do on this card. But once it's done, cut it down then so it fits on a Miri mat. I'm using the Rainbow Miri of eight by six inches. This is A5, so it doesn't take very much to cut it down okay. at all. Yeah. Um, can't quite show you the finished project yet because, no, I'm going to have to because I've got things to show you. <laughs> Now, both sets of Miri mats, the, um, the multicoloured one and also the silver, gold and rainbow, half the stock has gone on both. Very, very busy and very popular. Um, I believe that's all the stock we can get as well. It's the weekend. So if you want them, put them in your basket and check out. To go with your perfect little books, they are the best thing. They really, really are. They give strength and also just, I don't know, just kind of sets it off, makes it look even more impressive, having that little border of shine around the edge. So we're going to trim that down there. I'm just going to add a little bit more colour to this now then because I need to show you what we're going to do next. Now, to make this pop even more, I want to add some gemstones to all those sparkly bits that are around the outside. But we have two kind of issues here. First of all, you get my OCD that kicks in, that doesn't like using my too matte a surface when I'm then bringing in something with a coated surface. So what I like to do is get a piece of um, acetate mm -hmm. and we can place that over the top. I have got one that should be cut to the right size so it fits perfectly and again we'll just pop that down in the middle so that by popping that over it just gives it a bit more of that coated finish like mm -hmm. the little book page that's going to go on top shortly. It's also going to work much more efficiently for sticking your gemstones down because even though our gemstones are double sided, then they don't like take, um, sticking once you've got ink on there. Right. So you can just go and add a little bit of wet glue to the back of them. But if you pop that acetate down, they're then going to stick to that much easily easier. So I've started at the top. I've gone with some of our Aurora Boreal Alice. I can't say it. Gems. <laughs> oh, that's uh, one of the hardest words to oh, say. It is. Aurora Borealis, yeah. Um, and then I've got some of our lovely uh, like navy blue ones from our blue set and then I'm just finishing down the bottom just following that pattern of the ombre with some of our lovely lilac lavender purple ones that come down here and we'll just fill in some of those gaps so we're just adding to that background so that's our background done but then we're going to take our little book page again we're going to take two and we're just leaving that one as is and i've just covered out cut out the center star here but again to add a little bit more detail i've taken some parchment we're just going to cut like a two inch belly band. And that sheet, by the way, is from the Festive Wonder Pad as well, if you're wondering which one it is. And then I'm bringing in my score tool. And we're just going to add some score lines down the middle, just to add a little bit of detail in. I'm going to start at the half an inch mark. And we'll go up to the... Uh, one and a half inch mark but just carry it on all the way like that and you should end up with something like this and then if I can find where I've buried everything we are going to bring this on to one of our rainbow mirror mats pop that down on there just line up our mat and layer and then I'm going to take this belly band across the middle again just adding that texture in there just again techniques that, that maybe you wouldn't have thought of using I would not have thought of wrapping a, a strip of vellum around the middle but why not There's lots of different ways you can do just to make them look different yep. from how you've used them before or if you're being like really frugal and you're, you're literally going to make 180 cards doing your 120 cards out of your book this is just a way of doing it and making it look like there's more to it yeah and that actually is almost like a cross between a mandala and a snowflake isn't it, it? Is. it could be both yeah. to be honest and we'll just pop the foam pad on there and that doesn't have to be christmas i don't think really no this could definitely be like a uh, christmas birthday 
let's get some of our foam pads and we'll just lift this up against the background just to give it some dimension. One in the middle. Foam pads and that sort of thing you'll find on the website with a hunky doy brown page on our website. And then just line that up with the edges of that there. I think this is screaming for a gem in the middle. That's looking amazing, Kat. But it just shows you how beautifully they work together. And the beauty of the, the masks is that you can colour them whatever way or colours you want. So they're going to work with so many things. Well, the first thing first, the, you know, the size of them complement the sizes of the pages in the little books, but also the designs work so well as well. So you don't necessarily have to use the words in the middle of the masks or the stencils every time, just use them as frames. So you've got at least two to three uses, different ways of using those stencils on each one, and they're only £12.50. Look at that. And that's one sheet. It's out. two because we oh, put, yeah, that you out. put the middle out. But you could do it if you were very careful. You could go in with your craft knife and fussy cut that bit out of the middle and then put pop it back yeah. on top. So you could do it out of one sheet of one if sheet, you wanted yeah. to. Okay, now the stencils or the masks, I, I know Hunky Dory call them masks. Uh, lots of other people call them stencils. They're basically the same thing. You're going to get all three of them for 12 50 and you've got the lovely verses, Believe in the Magic of Christmas, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, and May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. But you've got the stripe, which could be all year round. You've got the lights, which could be all year round. And you've also got the stars there. Uh, OK, the snowflakes are definitely winter and Christmas, but the stars, if you just isolated, those could be all year round as well. And then you've got the, the lovely verses, which you could use on cards. You could use on boxes for presents. You could use them on windows if you got the spray snow if that's still such a thing i don't know if they still make it yes it yeah, is sure. yeah 12 pound 50 for all three of them they're absolutely flying well done wendy in hampshire Teresa in cheltenham margaret in cumbria Anne in lancashire carolyn wales carolyn leicestershire have checked out their baskets already loads more of you coming through for that now we have got a pick and mix with stencils as well where you can choose any two for nine pounds and two pence now these are in the any any two so you can choose two of these or you could choose the other ones from the previous collection so we've got basically six for you to choose from these three that I've just shown you and then we've got the others which we can show you as well on a little picture so we've got antique elegance so this is not Christmas related at all but you could go for that one that's antique elegance for the love of masks the next one is pretty lace that one's available as well they're seven by seven by the way uh, and then you've got your stained glass oh I love that one Love, I love them all. Okay, any two for nine pounds and two pence because they should be eleven pounds for two. So you're saving nearly two pounds by buying two. And these are also in the any two for nine pounds and two pence as well. So the three that I just held up, select. Just go put in uh, BFHD80 or search for that on the website. You'll see the options and it's a drop down. If you'd rather call the call centre and get the call centre guys to do it for you and ladies, they will obviously do that. Free phone 0800 001 4433. You'll get through to the call centre. It's in this building upstairs. You can based uh, and they will process your order any two for nine pounds and two pence or you can go for more if you want to of course as well now we've also got a pick and mix of the little books now the, the the only drawback with the little books pick and mix is that there are 33 of them available now they will be on the website and they'll be listed and they'll be photographed so you can see all the little books and you can choose what's the pick and mix on this one any three any three for 1978. So it's similar to the deal we've got on today with the first three, but you can choose whichever three you want. You can have three the same if you wanted to. I've got a few here that are available. I won't flick through all of them, it'll take too long. But Winter Birds, as you can see, is a beautiful one. We've got this one here, which is your snow globes. There are just a few of those. There we are, look, look at that stag. Look at the beautiful. So that's your snow globe one. All the same quality of uh, paper, top, top quality paper. Winter Friends. We've got some cute kind of comical characters in there. Lovely, aren't they? So that's Winter Friends. Um, the, Twas the Night Before Christmas. This has been, until today, one of my favourites, and it still very much is one of my favourites. It uh, kind of complements the uh, Father Christmas classic one that's in the, uh, the bundle of three that we had. You actually get in the back lovely verses for the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. So you can actually put together a little book if you're into journaling, that sort of thing. And then you've got the characters that relate to and the scenes that relate to the uh, images in the song and the words in the song. So there we are. It was the night before Christmas, all of that 
This one's kind of disintegrated, but yours will be completely intact. Uh, again, 120 sheets in there. Um, yes, because I, I get hold of it. Um, festive florals is this one. So you've got your poinsettias, Christmas roses, all the sort of uh, winter flowers that we know and love. Some stained glass in there as well. Baubles and berries. Beautiful. Um, there we go, 9.99, mistletoe in there too. Polar animals is another one. So you've got obviously your polar bears, you've got your foxes and your wolves, your cheetahs. Very monochrome this and very striking. The wolf, that looks like uh, Andy's dog, Dallas, very much like that. Uh, they look watercolour to me, watercolour art, love it. So there's that one, polar animals. And then the last one I've got here in front of me is your Twilight Kingdom. Now, if you love your silhouettes, look, Every one of these is a silhouette. You've got fairies at Christmas. You've got the silhouette of the owl at sunrise or, or sunset, probably. Uh, the unicorn. Isn't that lovely? Very striking. So loads of you are selecting which three you'd like. Remember, the deal is any three for 1978. I've only got about seven or eight here, but there are 33 that you can choose from. Um, there's a lot in stock. There's all of them um, photo photographed actually on the, on the website. If you go and have a little look or tap the app, you'll be able to see them. Any three for 1978, you've got, uh, they're, they're scrolling on the screen there, you can see them. So if you want two the same, one different, that's fine. You can have three the same, three completely different, doesn't matter. And of course, the Father Christmas, the Frosted Wonder, and also the um, All Tangled Up, the three brand new ones we showed you, they're also in the pick and mix for you as well. Uh, so any three, Patricia in Mersey, sides coming in hello amy leanne in west midlands you've checked three uh, we've got alf animal alphabet festive floral snow globes winter friends twas the night before christmas pressed flowers festive gnomes polar express it just goes off the screen then but there are 33 books that you can have a little look at not all of them are christmas lots of them are kind of every day but you can choose whatever you want maybe you've got one that you've run out of maybe you've got a favorite Go back and see if it's in stock. If it's in stock, you can have as many of them as you like. $9.99 each or any three for um, £19.78. Now, I'm really excited about these die sets as well. These are really cool. You'll know, if you've watched me over the years, that I love a jigsaw. You can make any picture into a jigsaw when you've got this die set. Look. How cool is this? And it's actually the one that has got the missing piece. They've actually just basically, yeah, they just basically took it off there. So you can have it, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like it's the last piece to fit. You know, turn it upside down, Dave. There we go. I love you to pieces. So you've got that lovely verse, I love you to pieces. But look, any paper, any picture that you've got, whether it's a picture that you've taken on your, on your phone and you've printed off, any image at all that you want to make into a jigsaw. So actually you could send your Christmas card as a jigsaw puzzle that the person, when they receive it, have to put together. And this die is designed to work with your little book pages perfectly. Right. So you could be turning all of these into, um, into little jigsaws. Yeah. And the technique I'm going to show you on the next card that I demo is a great way for doing your jigsaw pieces as well to make them a little bit thicker. Okay, so, so look, there's a sheet from one of the pads. Perfect. So you've got the die that will give you the frame and then you've got the main die that will cut that sheet into all those pieces. And then you've got your sentiment as well. So that's the first one. So that should be 19.99. And then you've got these, which are basically these wonderful decorative strips that you've got. Um, these are the festive dainty borders, okay? Now, to be honest with you, yes, some of them are. You've got the stove flakes, you've got the Christmas trees, candy canes, but a couple of them, you've got the stars, yeah, I mean, the, the candy canes could be walking sticks if it's a retirement card. Mm -hmm. Not that everyone needs a walking stick if they're never retiring. <laughs> but, uh, but look, yeah, these are really lovely, aren't they? And you can make them really the focal point of the card. They go off in different kind of wiggly lines and wiggly angles, but really lovely. So you get one, two, three, four, five of them. Again, they're nineteen ninety nine. But if you buy them both together, we'll give you a saving, like we always do. How about we pay your postage? We'll give you five pounds off. So that's covering your PMP for the whole day's orders uh, just by buying this. EV HD 13, 34, 98, down from 39, 98. But any of those little book pages or anything else that you've taken a picture of that you want to make into a, uh, a, 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 a fantastic puzzle, you can do that. I love the fact that you can just send the pieces in the post in an envelope and make the person that yeah, gets make, it. Yeah, make your own Christmas card. Yeah, <laughs> love it. You can make anything into a, into a puzzle now, okay? 34, 98 for both of those. Right, Kat. Okay. 
So this time we are going to use our Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. We are going to go to our Father Christmas little book. And I just love this guy here. He's so cute. And I think he matches this style uh, really well. And my idea with this one is I want to try and emboss through my mask, which is a technique you can do, the, the sentiment on to my oh. little book. I would never have thought of Everybody that. pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, the first thing I'm going to use to make this easier for me, and I know we the very, very limited stock, is our A4 foam sheets, our double-sided A4 adhesive sheets. And this is just going to, A, it's going to give you that stability. It's going to give you that extra thickness so we can emboss into it yeah. alongside that squidginess. Right. And again, this is good if you're using the jigsaw die because it's automatically going to stick one side and it's going to give you that kind of jigsaw texture uh, to it as well. Perfect, okay. So, I'm going to, I've got a bit that I've just We've cut we put those yeah. in the show, actually. I know we haven't got masses of stock of them, but if you want the double-sided sheets, um, we'll pop them off on the screen for you soon. Right, Perfect so. to use with the jigsaw. Die. I'm not going to take my full backing off because um, I'm going to pop this down. I'm going to try and get it as close to two edges as possible. Pop that on there. And then if you fold this back over for when you trim it to size, it's not going to gum up all your scissors. Right. Whereas if you try and cut through that bit, it will. So right. it, trust me, it's I've learned through experience. Years of experience. <laughs> it will do it on your uh, guillotine as well, which is another easier way to do it. I was going to bring mine, but I just forgot. Um, and we'll just trim there. I'm just going to make it stick back to itself. So what we've got on the screen at the moment for you are the details of the three books, okay? Festive Wonder, Father Christmas, and All Tangled Up. Over half the stock has gone. They're brand new books today, all three for the price of two. One of them's free, 1998 QR HD 96. They're the three you're going to get, okay? So we've just made him a little bit thicker and squidgier to work with this. Okay. So we are going to... <laughs> Pop this down so you're reading it kind of back to front, and we're going to pop this on the I'm back. Really we're all intrigued. I'm, I'm hoping so much it works because <laughs> it's been a bit hit and miss, and we're just going to secure that with some masking tape. It's all about trying new things, new techniques, though, isn't it? Giving things a go. It is, absolutely. So, plate formation is key. So, for this one, I've got a normal clear plate. I've got the H1. We're going to use a rubber mat, so it's got something soft to push down in. And then I'm going to take another one of these. Now, sometimes it goes through, sometimes it doesn't, but I just want more squishiness as possible. And because these squish down, so everybody put your hands together. Good luck, Kat. We're rooting for you. And we will run this through. Oh, it's like the Olympics. Push I know. <laughs> Will it work? Now, this is coming out this end, but I think it should be hitting what I want it to. Oh. No pressure. I have got one I've done earlier, if it doesn't, but. I've got faith. We'll take this through. It's a cat day, I've got faith. Sheet for me a little bit. So we'll take that off there. <laughs> Let's peel it back. And very brave see. to do it on live TV. And it has, I can see it is yes. embossed on to there for me. Just be careful with this bit because I don't want it sticking to my mat. Let me just place that back on. Let's have a look. And so it's going to be hard to pick up on camera, but what we're going to do then is go in with either, I've got a sanding back tool here. And once you go over, then words are going to come. Oh, this is magic. To like, they're going to pop out there for you. And it, you just keep going and you will end up. It looks like something. the verse is snowing. It that, does, yeah. And you can just go genius. in. If you've got something a little bit more uh, precise, a little bit of sandpaper, and you can just really hit those spots. That's the demo of the year, Cap. Bring that to life and make it pop and i hope it's showing up on camera it's really it worked a treat but you can you can read it i promise in real life you can so that is going to be the main feature of our card we're now going to use this you're relieved i am 
The only problem is, I think I might have put too much through because I've made my, uh, my, my stencil a little bit wibbly. So maybe you don't put the, this one through as well. Okay. I was just trying to be extra careful for the, for the telly. But well, the machine took it though, it did it. So again, I'm, I, didn't, I really apologise. I didn't realise I'd put three uh, eight by six cards together for this show when I was picking out which ones to do before, but some are portraits, some are landscape. So I've cut an eight by six piece of um, matastic, and this time I'm gonna use a white gel pen. And we're just gonna go all the way around, filling in these boxes. And again, this is a little bit of a labour of love, but I did it when I was doing my prep the other morning. I woke up super early on um, on Monday, was it Monday? No, Thursday morning. Um, I woke up at like four o'clock and couldn't go back to sleep. So I started work at half past four in the morning. So I did take the time to time myself as I was doing this prep. And it took me about 20 minutes from start to finish to long. go around, colour them in. And then once you're all done, line them up and you will end up it's worth it oh wow that is impressive <laughs> just go along with the ruler and join everything up 20 minutes well spent I'd it say. is i think it's worth the 20 minutes yeah. um if you've got like a, a good white ink pad you could do it with that um but I really like that kind of distressed kind of look that you get with the... Maybe you've got one of the white uh, the white paint markers that I know we do. Yes. And they're on our website. They'll do a good job too. So we'll just pop that in there. And I know... Oh, I've put the wrong one on. Let's just double it up. Yep. Yeah, let's make it really bulky. Mm. <laughs> let's peel this back. That technique of embossing the sentiment over the top, that, that is really impressive. Because it's subtle. It's not in your face, but you can read it. You can see what it says. You can, and it gets a little bit lost at the bottom because we've got white areas there. But if you've got images that are darker all over, it is going to show up more uh, afterwards. I have got a demo in the next hour where we're going to like heat emboss through it as well onto a little book. Okay. So that's another way of, of doing it. And that's when we've got, at five, uh, four o'clock, we've got the new plain mylar sheets back in after four months of waiting. Um, they are actually available on our website if you want to order them before the show. If you've got to go out at four o'clock or whatever, lots of you are buying them already. Basically, they're plain mylar that you can use your dies to cut into to make stencils. And you can use your cutting machines to cut into to make stencils as well. So that's later. I love that. That's such a clever, different... In all the years I've been doing this job, I've never seen a demo like that. Using a stencil to emboss it onto one of the sheets of the little books. Use a nail file or a sand block to sand it back. Yeah. You can see it. Okay, well, we've got literally a couple of minutes left on the show, so let me just remind you of what we started the show with. And for those of you that have just come back from Sunday lunch, um, I'll finish at five. Still time to have Sunday lunch today. Okay, look at these. They're brand new. They're the little books. You get 120 sheets in each, so you've got 360 sheets in the three books together. Father Christmas, traditional Christmas and quirky, cute, cartoony Christmas Santas. And then you've got that wonderful festive wonder. So you've got here um, the Snow Queen. She's one of the most prominent images in there. She's stunning. You've got some dragons in there, some gingerbread people. Uh, then over here, you've got All Tangled Up. And of course, the All Tangled Up is basically what most animals at Christmas manage to do, get tangled up in the fairy lights. So here we go. Let me flick through some of them. Aren't they lovely? Each sheet is designed to work with the dies that we had in the show. Each sheet is designed to work with the stencils we've had in the show as well. And of course, the Miri mats are the perfect uh, board to put your sheet on because it gives you then a couple of mil frame all the way around the outside edge without you needing to cut into your A4 or anything like that. We've got gold, silver and rainbow. And we've also got the 60 sheets of the multicolored Miri as well. So that one is your all tangled up. This one is your frosted wonders. So here again, you've got, look at that beautiful Robin. Magical. Decoupage that, that looks stunning. There's the Ice Queen, there she is. Let it go, that's what it makes me think of. Um, then you've got your birdhouse, your carousel, baubles and more. Gorgeous. And look at the, that, that, that is probably my favorite image with, with the colors. The colors are spectacular, it's like the Aurora Borealis, beautiful. That's the one that Kat used. There's uh, swans mating for life, of course, giving each other presents at Christmas, love it wonderful castle and then lastly the most traditional father christmas ever and there's so many variations you've got portrait and landscape 
mixture of both. There he is by the fire, either before or after. I think it's before. He's just kind of plucking up the energy. There he is, getting in his sleigh. A bit of a steampunk Santa there, I think, that one. Look at that. Beautiful. There he is on a little amble. Probably going to get the reindeer. There he is on his Harley Davidson. There he is after Christmas on vacation. Sepia for vintage looks. Beautiful. Absolutely magical, these pads. All three of them. There should be $9.99 each. You've got all three for $19.98, saving you $9.99. Keep checking out on all the Miri mats as well. We're limited uh, on the mixed colours. So if you want the 60 of the mixed colours, uh, we've got about 20 of those left. So that's, I think, limited stock now on those. So thank you, Kat. See you with the Mylar at four then. Yes. Coming up next, we've got Sharon, uh, one of her favourite shows I know, one of mine as well, Himi. We've got the Hemi Gouache Paints, the Twin Pots, which we'll show you at an amazing price and a brand new price on the Brights, which we've never done before. So that's after a short break. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Did you know at Hobbymaker that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website wouldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on register now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on create account and then away you go. Within your account setting, you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobbymaker. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines, and much more. 
You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Wondering. I wonder how many of you are at home at the moment with us on in the background, maybe on your tablet, in your craft room, or maybe sitting outside on the patio with the telly on indoors, listening to what we're saying, and you're, you're sitting there and you're doing a bit of a painting. Maybe you're painting the flower that's in the garden, or you're painting something. Maybe you're painting your cat. Well, not literally, you know what I mean. Painting an animal <laughs> that you've got in, in the house. Because Sunday afternoon, what better pastime mm. than sitting down doing a bit of painting? It is nice when the weather's nice. I must admit, I, I've done it a few times with these, actually. I've sat in the garden just painting some of the flowers. Yeah. But the thing is, what paint do you buy and what are you going to be happiest using? Now, what we're bringing you today is what they call gouache. Now, I didn't really know what gouache was. The only time I saw gouache until I met Sharon and did these shows was um, lovely Sheena. Sheena Douglas used to bring in a gouache tube. Uh, of white, which we used to use in, in techniques. And that's the only time I'd seen it. I didn't know much about it. Now you've told me what gouache is. This is, this is like the best of both worlds. If you can't make your mind up between um, watercolour and acrylic, this yes. is kind of halfway is house. Right in the middle. Yeah. It's got the best of both worlds, really. I think that's why um, so many people love this. I, I think so, because actually we're all quite used to watercolours. We all know how to use watercolours pretty much, even if it's just colouring in a simple image. You can do that with these, mm. but you can also paint from scratch with them if you want to have a little dabble at doing some painting. And do you know what? I was talking to Sharon in the break there. This makes me want to have a go. The yeah. way that they've designed them, the quality of them, the quality of the packaging and everything about it makes me want to just go outside, put this on the table outside, sit down and just paint something that's in the garden. Mm. Um, it's an incredible value for money product. And this is the one, I think, out of all of them that's been the most popular recently, because this is the 112 color double tub. So what you've basically got, rather than just having one pot of so many mil of gouache in one color, 12 mil, you've actually got twin cups in each. And they're the same color family, but different colors. So you've got a shades. lighter green, yeah, yeah. different shades of that color. Makes it, you, you really don't need to mix colors with this set, really. With 112 colors, it's all been done for you. So if, like me, you're kind of a bit lazy about mixing colours, yeah. this is great because you've pretty much got any colour you're ever going to need in here. Now, we're showing you the back. The reason we're yes. doing that is if I turned it round, basically all of the pots have got seals on them, white seals. So all you see is a sea of white. But these are the colours you've got in this gouache. Now, this has been, in previous shows, one of our most popular sets to do. Its consistency is fantastic. It's velvety smooth. It's like thick cream. Mm. Um, in its consistency, which is a joy to actually paint with and, 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 and uh, craft with. $129.99 is the price this should be. And you can see why. As soon as you see it being used and demonstrated, mm. you'll realise why that price is a very, very good price for what you're going to get. KS8448. Now, previously, we've done a set of 56 twin cups, and that was $49.99. So, yeah, this should be a, at least £100 or £129.99 yes. if it was a deal. You'd be happy with £100, yeah? We are going nowhere near £129.99. We're going nowhere near £120. Or we're going nowhere near £100 for all of this top quality gouache paint. By our own maths, we should be doing £100. To do that, that half size, that mm -hmm. 64 cup for nearly 50 quid, it should be £100 for £112, shouldn't it? Yes. It's going to be nowhere near 100. It's going to be way below that. And when you see what you can do when, when Sharon demonstrates it, three, two, one, let's get the price down for Sunday afternoon. This could be the start of a whole new craft and a whole new hobby for you. Look at that price. It is $69.99 for 112 fantastic twin pots. Well, it's 50, yeah, it's 112 colours in basic, basically. So basically you've got their 60... 56 colours, that's right. So you've got 56 pots, but they're twin pots. So you get 112 colours in total for 69.99. That's about, that's about 60p a pot. 
Uh, which is ridiculous. Um, you know, and I urge you, go and look on the internet how much, because gouache normally comes in a tube. Decent quality, ranging between five and fifteen pounds for one for colour, one, tube. one tube. I think the tube that I saw that Sheena had was about six ninety nine. Yeah. I think we were doing yeah. it for. Uh, I don't know the mill of that, but it wasn't big. Uh, so here you're going to get a hundred and twelve colours, twelve mil in each, and so many of you are coming through for this. The stock we have of this is the stock we have. That's it. This gets yes. imported by us through Hemi. We met Hemi in the Frankfurt trade show a couple of years ago now. Um, and the bond was formed. And since then, we've been able to bring you amazing deals. I mean, Sharon, open up yours just to show everybody yeah, what they can see. Because the packaging is just beautiful, very sleek. It's quite slimline, actually. If I turn this up to the side, you can see it's not really bulky. Mm. Um, and then even the handle folds flat. This is your handle at the, at the top here. So you can lift it up, take it out and about with you. It's yep. quite, you know, there's a, there's a bit of a weight to it because there's a lot, a lot of paint in here. Mm. But it is quite portable if you want to go out and about, even if you just want to take it out into the garden and paint. And then the handle just tucks right back in. And when you're finished, you don't have to put the seals back on the paint. No. Um, basically, the lid then becomes an overall seal for all the paints that you've already opened. It does. It's really quite airtight. On all four sides, you've got a little clip that you unclip to open, a bit like a sort of Tupperware, Tupperware yeah. container. And then you lift the lid up. Now you can see on mine it's quite messy. There's like a foam insert in here. This is to keep it nice and airtight. So don't worry about the fact that this gets no. paint on it because obviously it goes back in exactly the same spot have each you time. Ever, have you ever seen an artist, a professional artist, that, that's got a clean palette? No, no. It doesn't happen. Exactly. No. Oh, look now, at this. Now, how beautiful are they? I just want to dive in. I, I think it, it definitely wants, like you said, oh, this just makes me want to have a go at painting. It really does. And the one thing I will say about Himmy is you would expect, knowing that you're paying between five and ten pounds, say, for a tube, knowing the difference in price, you would kind of think, well, maybe these are cheap quality. They're not. No. They're artist quality. I've got to let everyone know, sorry to interrupt you, Sharon, a quarter mm. of the stock's already gone in literally the last, what, two, three minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised because we, I think we've only had these on once before. This mm. is the new You and I did it. Set. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was crazy busy then, wasn't it? So, um, I mean, it looks like cream cheese or clotted cream. It's a, a, a lovely, wonderful, rich consistency. It is. And I love the colours. You do get a swatch with it. I would recommend making your own because when it's printed, it's never that true to the colours. I mean, it gives you an idea, but you can't beat having your own swatch. So I'd say do your own. But when you look at the colours, you can instantly see you've got them in family. So on this side, you've got your kind of warm colours, your reds, your oranges, your pinks. Mm -hmm. This side is your cool colours, your blues and greens. You've got all the neutrals you're going to need. Look how many greys you've got. You know, just when you think of any colour, you've got all the different shades there. So mm -hmm. you're not really going to need to mix. I like to do florals a lot. I've got all my pinks here, these lovely corals, peaches. Now, do you use it neat or do you water it down? What's the best way of using gouache? Both, really. Okay. Depends what you want to do. Let me move this to the side and I'll just kind of explain a little bit. I've got my book here. Now, I hadn't used gouache before we started doing shows here. And I went out, bought this book. I'd watched some YouTube videos. I saw someone had done, um, these particularly appealed to me. Someone had painted some lemons on craft. I'm a lemon fan too. And I don't know what, I, don't, I, I, don't I know was what just it is obsessed with it and I wanted to paint them. So this is my very, very first attempt at this. That's so, pretty good. That's pretty good. And I'm, I'm not particularly great at painting or, you know, it's not something I do. I'm very much a crafter that uses dyes and stamps. Right. So, this is my first attempt, and I would say this is achievable by anyone, really. Just watch a YouTube video like I did and have a go. Because the beauty of gouache is that it can be opaque. And that means that you can layer the colour. With watercolours, you're going to see through. They're mm -hmm. translucent. So if you put sort of a blue down and you want to go over it with a lighter colour, it's not going to work. Mm. With these, you can. So you can go in at the end and put your white highlights in. Right. Whereas when you're watercolouring, you have to leave that area white and yeah. sort of work around it, which is a bit fiddly. So they're very easy to use. And you were asking about consistency. It kind of depends what you're doing. So if I show you, these, this is my practice page, really. I was just practising some petals. So if I grab a Do brush... You need to use, I know you've got brown card there. We've had messages from viewers wondering where you got your pad from. I know that. Um, so this isn't watercolour card, is it? This isn't is watercolour card. This is a cheap, this is actually, I think it's meant for photographs. I bought it in a, just a 
hobby store. Okay, right. Uh, because uh, basically, I saw this video <laughs> and I really wanted a craft book, right. and I didn't want to wait to order one online, so I went straight out, bought it. Okay. It's not particularly um, like watercolor cardstock. But ideally, we, would you say watercolor ideally, cardstock is the best to use? Yes, it right, is. Right. Okay. Yeah, it is. I bought this one just because I wanted the craft color. The um, we do have. I don't know if we've got it on today's show, but there is. We do have for sale a gouache pad, Ooh. which is perfect for it because it's it's got a nice what, what, smooth texture. I think we may have sold out of it last time. We're going to look and see if there's any in stock at the moment. But yeah, um, any watercolor card will do though. Yeah, it's not in stock at the um, moment. Sorry, the gouache pad that has has oh, sold I think out. We, sold out on the we last do time have I lots of watercolor card books and sheets available if you're interested in that on the website. So. But I'll talk to you about the different consistencies because this is where the versatility of gouache comes in, really. Um, if you add a lot of water, you're going to get the same sort of effect as watercolours. Okay. So let's just take... Let's if you don't water it that. down, do you end up with, like, texture, like acrylic paints would or... Yes. Oil yeah. paints would? Yes, right. exactly that. So if, you're, if you want to colour in a stamped image, you're going to add a lot of water like this to get the sort of watercolour effect. So if you're going for this set just because you like, perhaps you've got some nice Tracy Hay stamps, something like that, mm -hmm. you want to colour them in, these paints are going to last you forever because you are just going to use one tiny little dot of mm. paint and then this much water. So I'll just do a little square on here. So if you're using them as watercolours, that's the kind of consistency you're going to be using them. Okay. Adding white to any colour will make it more opaque. Yeah. So if I get a little bit of white, add it to that very watered down pink. So I've still got the same amount of water, but you oh can instantly no. see it's more opaque. So although you've got 112 colours in total, potentially you've got hundreds and hundreds, hundreds and, hundreds and hundreds mixing them together. If you're wanting to paint with it, so layer the colours, then you're going to do something in the middle. So let's do a different colour. Let's pick this nice coral. Then you're going to just add kind of enough water just to make it manoeuvrable. Okay. But you can go straight on with the gouache without water if you, you want. You can. I would say if you're going to do that, at least have your, your brush damp. Right. Otherwise you'll find it. Let's do it with a dry brush. If I go straight in with, say, this blue, it's kind of hard to move it. If you don't, my brush is still a little bit damp, actually. So It's very vibrant, though, isn't but it? Yeah. Depends if you want more of a block colour or you yeah. want something more subtle, softer. Yeah, exactly that. So you're gonna, you've are gonna, you got the best of both worlds because if you go in with it pretty opaque, just with almost like a sort of damp brush like this, you're going to get a nice colour. solid colour. Just colour that is. And of course, this is showing up really lovely on craft cards. Watercolour paint just wouldn't really show on craft. Would it look good on black card stock as well? Yeah, yeah, it would. Right. Um, because it, you would want to be putting it on quite thickly mm -hmm. but because it's opaque it will show on any color card let me just say hi to all of you that have taken the plunge and bought this this hour already checked out suzanne in hertfordshire good choice suzanne gloria nice one in the northeast of lincolnshire carol yvonne rachel dorothy carol in wales coming through to get this is leslie suzanne and a brand new crafter as well many more though are also coming through getting this on our website and on the phone lines too to our call center a quarter of the entire stock has checked out more people are putting it in their basket. It's the most comprehensive combination of colours that we've ever done from Himi and the Goash. Mm -hmm. And if Goash is new to you, honestly, take the plunge and just delve in and enjoy it. It's amazing. Message coming through from Janet. Hi, Janet. Good afternoon. Uh, Janet says, hi, Dave and Sharon. Yes, I'm painting entirely the wrong sort of painting, the ceiling. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a boring job. OK, <laughs> only made bearable by having Hobby Maker on in the background. Oh, that's good oh. to know, Janet. Thank you. Well, well good luck with the ceiling. Yeah, in this heat. And that's the worst because it's just white. Yeah. Treat you, you treat can't see where you painted and where you <laughs> haven't. Treat, treat yourself to this and you'll be yes, to cheer doing you up the more enjoyable finished, painting. When you've finished yeah. your painting. Absolutely. Um, so that's kind of the different consistencies. Now, with gouache, when you're using light colours, yeah. they will dry darker. When you're using dark colours, they will dry a little bit lighter. lighter. Okay. So if you look at that blue, it's already drying. That's a little bit lighter than it went on. Mm -hmm. Um, let's grab another bit of it, Hang so you can minute. see One, there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 13 shades of blue alone. Yeah, 
Yes, you're well, probably you're, the same for green, if not more, actually. Yes, you've got all these lovely mint greens, sort of um, teals. There's Twenty-two shades of green, I've counted. Twenty-two yeah. shades. And when you bear in mind, blue and green are probably going to be some of the most popular colours you'll use yes. for grass and for grass. Sun and sky. And yeah, and it's going to save you so much time not having to mix colours. Yeah. Um, I'm not that great at mixing colours. Um, I love the fact that I can just play. Can I just add something into the mix? Mm -hmm. um, if you're yes. buying the paints, yes. that's only half of what you need. You need it a is. decent uh, set of um, paint brushes. You do. And we've got these in the show for you today at a cracking price. Now, colours will vary, but they're Hemi official brushes. OK, so you know you've got not only the finest gouache paints, but you've also got a fantastic trio of brushes for all your painting needs. These have sold out before. We've been able to get them back. You've got obviously a fine brush, a straight brush and a slightly, I don't know if they've got That's technical names. That's a filbert, names. that one. That's a filbert, is a it? A filbert brush, yes, it is, with the <laughs> rounded top. Sounds yes. like an insulting term, doesn't it, you filbert? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you get all three of them. Should be twelve ninety nine. We can do a deal on these this afternoon for you as well. We're taking them to under £5, four ninety nine. So if you bought the paints or maybe bought them before and you've got brushes that are just not up to, they're not cutting the mustard. Mm. Um, I mean, you rave about these. They're great quality. These aren't they? are great quality and the price is ridiculous. I, I'm not joking. I've paid £20 for one paintbrush. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I use these every day because actually they're, they're great. Um, I save my... Well, I tend to just look at my expensive brushes now because I kind of think, well, I'm not going to use those really expensive ones. Well, These do the job and you I know, don't have to worry about them because they're, you know, they're so inexpensive. They are not going to produce brushes that don't do justice to their paints, are they? No. So these are the brushes that kind of work alongside the gouache paints from Hemi. We'll get them to you for under £5. And if you've bought the paints already, you've paid your P&P today for £4.95. They are delivered for £4.99 for you. So don't worry if you've uh, already phoned up or made your order on the app or the phone uh, or on the website because it doesn't doesn't cost anything to order on the app, doesn't cost anything to order on the phone, and it doesn't cost anything to order on the website either. So put as many orders in as you like, you'll only be charged that one PMP of 4 95 for the whole day. So yeah, just thought I'd throw those into the mix because they're, um, they're really they're, good brushes. They're absolutely worth, for that price, I'd be multiplying I'd, because they're, they're just ridiculously cheap. Well, they Dorothy, really are. I'm kind Dorothy of in Manchester has bought four. Nice one, yeah, Dorothy. I'm Maybe the surprised. whole family getting involved or friends yeah. getting involved. Yeah, and, and you've got a great starter kit there because you've got the three different types of brush that you're going to need, really. Um, I would say the round brush is probably the one you're going to use most. Um, this is my sort of go-to because it's got a really fine point on it. Mm. It's going to be great for sort of fine detail, but also for techniques. Um, I'm just thinking as well, how many of you um, use paint or use, uh, sorry, pens? to colour in what you've stamped, for example. Maybe yeah. you've been doing that for years. Maybe you use water-based pens or uh, alcohol-based pens, but you've never really even thought of, of painting. That's always been off your radar. You've never been a painter. This is perfect for colouring in all sorts of things, whether it's colouring in books, yes. whether it's stamps with great outlines, whether it's Sheena's stamps, whether it, any stamp, it doesn't matter. No, um, exactly. Now, you the colours do vary on these. You'll notice some of mine are yellow, yeah. some of mine are turquoise. but. The different types of brush you're going to use for different things and for different techniques. As I say, the round one is the one I use most because p for me, I do quite like drawing a lot of flowers. Mm -hmm. So the round, let's just grab a bit of paint. The round is great for doing leaves. So let's grab a nice, let's go for this really nice dark olive green. Pop a bit on my palette. Beautiful. So for leaves, um, the round brush is great because what you can do is start with the point, yeah. move it along a little bit, then push down, carry on and lift. And there's your leaf. Perfect. You can then do different techniques, do the same thing down, shuffle it a little bit mm -hmm. and you'll get more like a variegated leaf where it's got the, um, the edges. Wavy edge. The yeah. Wavy edge. Um, great for petals. Let's grab a bit of a coral. So You're taking hardly anything out of the. I'm pot. literally touching it, aren't I? Yeah. Um, C shape is another one. If you want to do roses, because you've got the fine point, and you just work that out, and press harder as you as you move outwards. Mm -hmm. So you're getting like the inside of a rose. And these are all things that just. Grab a scrap piece of watercolour card and practice these because really then when you want to paint flowers, 
that's the technique. Also, I'm pretty sure if you look on our website and maybe look under Sheena, Sheena Douglas, mm. lovely guest that we have here. Yes. She did um, paint. It was like folk fusion. art painting, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. With laminated sheets that you can actually paint on top of. So check those out if you're interested in those. They'll be on our website under the brand page, either Crafter's Companion or Sheena Douglas, whichever's there. Um, you'll find them there, I'm sure, because that's a, a great kind of tutorial from a, it is, a master. It is, yeah, for all these basic. Once, and once you've got a couple of these sort of little hints and tips, you, you're good to go, really. Mm. Um, and then I would say just practice. Get a, cheap, get a cheap pad or some leftover bits of card. Practice. But what I've found over the years is that what people find intimidating and a bit daunting is when you've got a blank page. Yes. When you're looking at just a, a blank sheet of A4 or A3 or A2, whatever it is, you kind of like, what do I do first? If you've got a stamped image or you've got a colouring book or something like that, mm. there's no longer a white page. It's, no. it's got that there and then you can just have fun colouring it in. Yeah, and should we do a bit of that? Because I have stamped an image and if you are completely new to it and you do find the idea of actually painting something from scratch intimidating, have a practice with, mm. your, with your stamped images. This is a lovely stamp. I've got it on a show later today, actually, mm -hmm. seven o'clock. Um, this is a Tim Holtz image, but it's great for practicing. Now I've, I've done one already because I know we're not gonna have time to color all of this. But if I bring my paints across, you can kind of see the colors. The range I've got here is ridiculous. So it's like a carnival. It isn't is, it? isn't it? In front of you. So to color in my flowers, what I tend to do is start with the lightest shade. So I'm going to start with this really, really light. Um, it's almost like a sort of... Um, salmon. Yeah, salmon. That's, that's a good, good description. Now, I'm adding quite a lot of water to this. I'm just, I can't quite fit everything in the camera <laughs> shot. <laughs> um, and what I tend to do is I will go all over, say we'll do one flower. It's important to use a certain type of ink pad, isn't it, as well, that won't react with yes, the water? So. Yes, yeah. And the exact one I've got on later. Versafine oh, is Versafine. my go-to. Yeah. Now, when you're using gouache as a watercolour, as I'm doing now, because obviously if I put this on too thick, you're not going to see any of the lines because it will be opaque. Mm. So you really want to make sure you're adding a lot of water. So if you are buying these for colouring in images, they're going to last you forever because mm -hmm. you are literally taking a tiny little dot. Now, while that's still wet, I've gone in with that light pink. Well, in the, in the, in the same pot next to it, I've got my next shade up. Mm -hmm. So I can just add a bit of water to that. And this is going to be kind of like the center where the color comes out a little bit darker. This is making all the crew here at Hobby Maker want to pick up a brush and start to paint. I it feel exactly, I know what you mean. I feel exactly It does, doesn't it? And you know, anyone can do this. Absolutely anyone. So I'm just following where there would be shade with this color. So coming out from the centre. Why should art be intimidating? Because for years it has been, for many of us, mm, I think. It has. It really has. But not anymore. Then You've got all your colours there. Yeah, and next to each other. So Do you, you have to be careful not for these to dry out? I mean, bearing in mind we're going to have a very hot day tomorrow. If you're out in the garden, have you got to make sure that it's covered? or? Well, the, the container itself is pretty airtight. Right. But if you're not using them for, say, a month, six weeks open them up, spritz them with water, right. just to keep them moist. They are water reactive, so if you put them away and didn't use them for a year, got them out and they were all dried up, you would just have to give them a good spritz with water and let that sink in maybe right. overnight. Okay. We've also got the spray on the show, yeah. which prevents mildew. Now, I t obviously because I'm here every month with these, mine get pulled out every month and I use them. So I'm kind of regularly spritzing them. But I will say, actually, after saying on several shows, oh, I haven't needed the mildew spray because mine, you know, I'm using them a lot. When I got my white original set out the other day, there were some little specks of black mould on oh, one, okay. of, the, one right. of the paints. Um, so what you do with the mildew spray is it prevents fungus and mildew. Don't use it to moisten your paints before you use them because mm. you're going to use this up quite quickly if you do that. Right. And don't waste it. What I do is when I get them out, I spritz them with water. I do my painting. Then before I put them away, because they might be a, away for four weeks, give them all a spritz with this. Right. 
then put the lid on and this will just prevent any mould okay. forming. Um, and don't expect it to be English, by the way. It's actually no, in Chinese. No, there's nothing on there that tells you no. what but it is or how it works. A little <laughs> spritz and that should do the job if you're worried about yeah. that. Six ninety nine, um, and just kind of, it's like an insurance purchase, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Kind of make sure I, that I think it's worth having... Um, Particularly if you're storing your paint somewhere like a conservatory or somewhere where it might be a little bit more damp. With extreme um, temperatures. Yeah. Um, and also, if you're not going to be using them for a while, it's probably a good insurance just to okay. give them a spritz. It's only 6.99, and it's going to keep your paints in tip-top conditions. That's MI8450. MI8450 is the product code. Limited stock on that. That's probably going to sell out at just 6.99. Okay, but it is all in Chinese. Yes. No English on there. No. Um, but it is handy to have just in case because you want to look after your paints, don't you? Now, these paints, nearly half the stock is now gone. Zoe, check out your basket. Zoe's in Warwickshire. Hello, Leslie in Inverclyde. Suzanne in Hertfordshire. Brand new crafters coming through in East Riding of Yorkshire as well. It's something I think an awful lot of us have thought about doing at one stage or another. But if you ever walk into an artist's supply shop or something, it's... It's intimidating. It is intimidating and it's mind-boggling and expensive. Very, Very expensive. expensive. When you're looking at tubes of paint that sometimes are like £10 each, and you think in your head, well, I'm going to need at least a rainbow. Suddenly yeah. that's £80, £90 pounds mm. just for one of each sort of colour. Then you've got to mix the colours from there. Well, here today you've got 112 12 mil, 2 cup gouache paint sets here, which is crazy. And you heard Sharon say, and myself, I've seen gouache tubes of white gouache for about 6 99 but they vary depending on the manufacturer and the quality from 6 99 up to like 15 pounds, some of them. Mm. This is 112 different colors for 69 99 and it's on two interest-free split pays too, and it's of the finest quality. I mean, obviously I know Sharon inside out, she would not do a show with a product that wasn't up to her standards, but basically. No, no, you're right, Dave. Um, you know, I love what I do. And you'd rather not do the show. You'd rather not get the job than endorse yeah. something that's yeah, inferior. Exactly yeah, that. exactly that. Um, and, you know, I'm here every month doing Himmy. And that just tells you how much I love it. Mm -hmm. um, and I am. I, I really enjoy these shows, actually, because as a crafter, obviously doing this as a job, I'm always prepping for shows. I'm always card making, yep. getting stuff ready for shows. This gives me an excuse to go and sit in the garden and do a little bit of painting. And also to put this into perspective, how much would you pay for pens? How much yes. you, would you pay for alcohol pens or water-based pens? 112 pens would probably be 120 quid. Yep. Even that would be classed as good value for money. So you've got 112 colours in gouache, top quality professional gouache paints here for probably nearly half that price. Um, and it's a paint rather than a pen. And yes. it may well be that you've never really thought of it in that way, but you'd like to use your stamps and then colour them in with gouache as something new and different for you to do. And th I think there's something more, more relaxing and more real about using paints over pens, I think. I love pens too, don't get me wrong, and pencils. But yeah, I, you get a different look. Yeah. Um, I, obviously, I, I, I use a lot of pens as well, but I, I do like the more arty look that you get with paints. Mm. And the process. Um, pens, you get a very smooth, very professional finish. Sometimes maybe too professional. It doesn't look like you've done it by hand sometimes. Because mm -hmm. uh, the way that, uh, particularly with alcohol pens, they blend so well. Um, whereas when you're using watercolours or gouache, you, you get that loose, loose and kind of feel. Rather than a hard nib or a hard mm. um, wax in a, a crayon or a pencil, you've got the lightest of brushes. And it's just so, I think that's what makes it relaxing. It is, um, and it's very forgiving. Now, this card I painted about a week ago, I could come back in now and move that color around. If I decided, oh, that, that's, that shading there is a little bit harsh, you can come in with a damp brush. And wake it up. And blend that out now, you know, a week later. So, which is great if you are someone that's kind of doing this in your spare time. You might not finish something. You can put it down, come back to it. It's lovely. You, you are so right. That has got a very, very different look to it. Um, mm. It's more arty. It is. It is. And, you know, if you give someone that card, they'll think, wow, you've painted that. Mm. Um, and it doesn't take long. So if you would never, ever entertain painting a white 
piece of cardstock because you just think, I don't know where to start. I haven't got a clue. Either sketch something with a pencil to give you something on the page or use a stamp. Yep. Um, and if, you've, if you've only ever stamped before and then use pens to colour it in or pencils to colour it in, try gouache. It's something different, something new, but it looks more hand done. It does. It really does. And, you know, if like me, you've got a lot of stamps. Yeah. You, you want to have as much life out of your stamps as possible. Yeah. And the way to do that is to use different colouring mediums on them. Now, we had a question from Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Good afternoon. Sandra in Kent. Oh, not our Sandra, a different Sandra. Uh, Sandra says, hi, Sharon. Could I use the paints on air dry clay, please? Also on Hubby's plastic train set model. Air dry clay, yes, because it's got the same sort of qualities as an acrylic paint. You'd probably want to put it on with not too much water. Air dry clay is quite porous, so yes, they'd work on that. Plastic, no. No. Because plastic is um, non-porous. Okay, so it, it needs to be a porous surface. Yeah, it yeah. needs to be a porous surface. So clay, yes. Train set, no. Okay. <laughs> now, while we're talking about gouache, we've got um, another set that we have on the mm. show, which we've done previously. Now, this is not a twin. This is a, an individual pot. So if I just open the lid and show you, you're going to get a palette in there as well with this one. Oh, I've got mine here, Dave. I can open mine if you okay. like. That's how they come, just to show you. So they're all sealed. And they're all labelled, so you know what colour's what, okay? And each of these can come out. So if you want to change the order of where they are, you can yes. see how much paint you get in each one. Look, that's a huge amount. But these are called the Brights. Now, for $34.99, you get 24 of the Brights, okay? These are Sharon's. Now, our deal price on this, since we brought this to you and launched it, has been $29.99. We've never done Anything more than twenty nine ninety nine with this? Look at the colours. Lovely bright colours here, really vivid. You've got a white there, you've got a black there, so of course you can lighten or darken those colours if you want to. You can make them into pastels by mixing them with white. You get a little palette in there as well, and of course these are bigger pots of paint, so these yeah. are going to last Twice for a long size. time. Yeah. Okay. They're each thirty mil. Okay. Each one of these is thirty mil. And there are 24 in there, so that's a lot, a lot of lot. gouache paint. Yeah. And it also comes with the airtight lockable, yes. like a Tupperware style lid. Yeah. yeah, you've even got a little space to put your brushes in this one as well, which is quite nice. So get your well brushes at the, at the same time. So yeah, add your okay. brushes in. In all the months that we've been doing gouache and doing Himmy, we've never ever gone below 29.99. Today, we're already giving you a five pounds off it's Liam's 30 before 30, his 30th birthday's in August. This is another deal that we've been able to do to tie in with that event. £24.99, five pounds off. It's 10 pounds lower than it should be. It's never, ever, ever been £24.99 before. We've paid you PMP, basically, by going for that, if it's the first thing you bought from us today. ZJ8419, if you want your 30 mil pots, then they are there, all 24 of them for 24 99 That's one pound a pot, just over. One pound per pot for 30 mil gouache, when a tube of gouache can be anywhere between 6 99 and 15 yes. quid for and, probably- And a tube's less than 30 mil. Less yeah. than 30 mil, yeah. Yeah. Do the maths. And Hemi are a brilliant brand, they really, really are. Um, safe, completely non-toxic as well, if that's a worry for you. No smell to it whatsoever. No, and being water-based, they're great, um, you know, to use with the kids and things like that, because you can wash them out if the, yeah. if the paint gets everywhere. <laughs> and everything you need. If you're going away maybe for a weekend, how many of you are maybe watching us away for a weekend on the coast somewhere? Um, because it's a lovely weekend. We've heard in the weather forecast for last week, it's going to be a nice weekend. So the road on Friday, the roads on Friday when I drove to work, it was chaos. Oh, Everyone was moving yeah. around the country on Friday. So you've probably got to where you're going. Are you looking out maybe from a cottage out to a lovely seaside scene? You're thinking, oh, I wish I had some paint to be able to sit there and paint this. With this, this is all you need to take. You put your, your brushes in there, yep. fill up a, a jar of water when you get wherever you're going, and away you go. Take mm -hmm. this out with you and, and just paint. If you're not you know, confident about painting from scratch, stamp something with your stamps that you've had for years and paint them and colour them in a different way using mm. gouache. Yeah. I mean, yeah. do the maths. If you go online to, and, and Google gouache, you'll yeah, see you the tubes, tubes much, yeah. Yeah. for 6 99 up to £15 for one colour, one tube. Mm. So for what you could pay for one tube, you'd get... Well, no, if you bought two tubes, you'd probably be paying around the 24, 20, 24 yes, pound price. you would. You've got 24, 30 mil pots of gouache in here. And you can see the quality. Super. Yes, you can. You really can. It's, um, and you've got the versatility. You've got that 
ability to use them just with your stamped images. You've got the ability to get a bit more adventurous and, Absolutely. and do some painting with them. We've never done it at 24.99. It's a brand new price. We've paid your PMP and some actually, because it should be 34.99. So we're down to 24.99. Michelle in Kent is coming in. Jennifer in Pembrokeshire is coming in. Samantha in Kent is coming in. So if you've bought any of the other Goash um, offers we've had in the past, but maybe the brights are your favorite, then uh, you get lots of shades of blue in there, a good two or three shades of green. Uh, but of course, the big deal today is the big baby. 112. Now, these are the same size pots as I've just shown you, but they're split into two. Yes. Um, so you've got basically 12 mil each side. Obviously, the full size is 30 mil, but each side, because there's a barrier in the middle separating the two colours, you've got 12 mil in each side of the twin cups. And you get 112 colours in this selection. We're showing you the back. Uh, because obviously the front is just like I showed you with the uh, earlier on. They, they, they've got the uh, the sealed tops. Yep. Half the stock now, approaching half the stock gone. Jacqueline's in, uh, Samantha, crafter in East Riding of Yorkshire, Leslie, Suzanne. Uh, we don't know when we'll be restocking these. We've got a great relationship with Hemi, but they do have to be imported. These are all in our warehouse next door to the studio here. So they will be on their way first thing Monday. Uh, that's when the order will go through. You'll get an overnight confirmation email tonight telling you what you bought, showing all the breakdowns of split pay if you've opted for that and also the fact you're paying one PMP of just 4.95 but what a, a tray of delight is going to be it, coming it, your way it just makes me smile when I open it up and look at all the colors I mean if I lift it up so you can see the colors they they're just beautiful as a crafter and a card maker these are the colors I want to be using yeah. you know they're quite often when you buy watercolor palettes they're very much the sort of primary colors so that you're then mixing your more subdued sort of hues mm. this has got all the colors you you're going to be mixing too so they're, they're beautiful and also going forward as you use these up which eventually you will do probably not for a long long time um you can take these out and put the full size 30 mil ones in yeah, replacing the, the, the chambers because they're the same size pot just split into two they are yeah and of course if you were going out and about you might you could sort of decant some of these yeah. if you didn't want to take this whole great big thing yeah if you want to mix your colors around you, a little bit you could just mm. take some of the pots out and take them with you and you know even put them in a little tupperware pot and take them with you so go ash again for those of you that have just tuned in just joined us go ash is like a hybrid it's in between an acrylic and watercolor um acrylic Acrylic Lots is opaque. Of of yeah, yeah. A, a, acrylic is lovely to paint with because it's opaque. You can do your layering techniques. The problem with acrylic is it's not very forgiving because once it's dry, you can't it, do much with you it. You can't do anything with it. You can't move that colour. I can come back into this pad as I just showed you and reactivate something I painted three weeks mm. ago, a year ago, because they're always going to be reactive. Um, so that does mean they're a lot more forgiving. You can do the same sort of um, bright, sort of quite dramatic painting with them, but you've got that ability mm. to, to reactivate the colour, which makes them much more. And of course, on the other scale, watercolour is incredibly beautiful, very light, mm. usually quite soft. Um, well, this is the combination of the you two. Can do so that. You, yeah. yeah, add more water and you can use them as a watercolour. Yeah. Um, so Why yeah. don't we know more about gouache? Why isn't that the I kind of driving force? I don't know, because I didn't know about gouache before we started doing these shows. You think, because it's so versatile and it, it does so much, we it would be the number be one... We should be just using it instead of watercolour, yeah, really, because yeah, yeah. you can do either, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I would say this set is my absolute favourite because the colours in here... It's nice to have the choice, and this is giving gorgeous. you the best variety and best choice. 112 colours. Each pot is 12 mil in size. Uh, so 24 mil in each of the pots here. There's a lot in baskets. I've got a screen full of names, actually, of people with it in their baskets. Uh, one of you's gone for three, a craft. I don't know your name, so you're a brand new viewer, has gone for three of these, maybe for other members of the family. Maybe. Well, yeah, or it could be that you're buying them for a group. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've got an artist group that get together in your local town or village or something and you've texted your friends saying this is on hobby do you want me to get you one um yeah great if you've all got these happy days mm, yeah absolutely 60 percent of the stock now gone and uh, we've got 18 minutes left on the show or thereabouts um so put it in your basket and check out if you'd like to start experimenting and playing i can't think of a more relaxing hobby to have no and i thought what i'd do next is show you if you do want to have a go at painting something a good place to start is your stamps, actually. So we've just painted this. Yeah. This is a Tim Holtz design. 
Now, it's quite hard when you take a photo of some flowers in your garden or you sit looking at flowers in your garden to, to paint them. Yeah. Find a stamp you love and use that as your guide. So what I've done here is I've used this as my inspiration and I've just gone in with pencil. I've already coloured one. So this is very loosely based on this flower. I've just gone in and sketched an outline. This one here is kind of a bit like this one, but I've gone a slightly different angle. Do you know another thing that's really handy with modern technology is we've got phones, most of us, yes. that take brilliant pictures. So you could be out and about going, yeah. I don't know, for a pub lunch with your family or something, and you see a wonderful image of a bird or a plant or a flower. Um, you can just take a picture of it with your phone and then yes. go back to that later the next day when you've got some time and, st and paint it from your phone. That's and what the brilliant I did with thing about doing that is you can zoom in for the detail yeah, yeah. To, to get the detail of, you know, like the, the bits on the, on the leaves. And mm. so, yeah, do exactly that. I've, I haven't got the notebook with me, but last time I was at my caravan, I took a photo of a seagull mm -hmm. sitting on just on a wooden post and I'm going to be colouring that yeah. in. So, that's that's yeah. what I did when I did the picture of High Clear Castle a couple of years back now. Yeah, that was um, a beauty. It was a picture that I took when I visited there, and that's what I'd be thinking, I wonder if I could draw this. And that gave me the inspiration, just yeah. having it on my tablet. It really is just about having a go. Yeah. Um, and with gouache, all you've got to do is a rough pencil line. You haven't got to worry about your pencil lines because this is opaque. You can't see my you can't pencil see the lines. lines no. Once you've done your painting. So what I do is... I did one flower. This isn't quite finished. I, you know, the, the centerpieces where I've got those stamens are a bit woolly. I will go in with a detail brush and, and sharpen those up a bit. But I kind of wanted to show you from scratch where I start. So I've got this very loose um, idea. Now keep your, keep your reference image close as well because you can kind of use that as well. And what I do for the first coat is I come in with the very lightest colour, which is this really light pink. Mm -hmm. Let's pop this kind of here so we can see. So I've got this really light pink and I add quite a lot of water to it because once you cover your pencil lines, you won't see them. So I'm going in with quite a watered down first coat. First of all, it just gives me my shape and I do each petal individually so that I'm thinking of the shape. I, another thing I love is that if you do something like this and you think, oh, actually, that didn't look the way I thought it would, it's not the end of the world because you no, can go back over it. you can it. just go back over it. Make if it I, darker. Yeah, you can play around with it till you get it how you want it. It's very Which forgiving. you can't do with acrylics. No. Not to the same degree, anyway. Not to the same degree, no. Once And also with acrylics, they're going to cover your pencil line straight away. Mm. You've got no reference point. Whereas with this, until I get to probably about the third coat, I'll still, still be see. able to see mm. my pencil lines to give me a guide. So I kind of do the outline and then fill it in with the lightest colour. Could I be cheeky and ask a favour of you at home? If you've got gouache, if you've bought Hemi from us in mm. the past, um, have you used it yet? Are you doing something this weekend? Did you do something yesterday with it? Have you got an image you want to share with us that you've painted or you're in the middle of painting? It doesn't have to be a finished item. Send it in. We can show everybody at home what you're doing, which is going to inspire everybody. But also, importantly, you can go into the Share Your Makes drawer. We do it every month. One person at random who shares their makes with us during the month gets selected to win a £100 account credit with us at Hobby Maker. And that's the last Saturday of the month we do that. So the next one will be 31st of August, oh, last day of August. Um, we'll announce the winner at 7 o'clock. But we can, in the shows, show other people what you've been doing, not what just Sharon does here, what you've done with Goash mm. and Hemi since we've had the shows. Because we've done I them there for, what, five months, six months? Yeah, Janu since January. January, so yeah, yeah. seven months. Seven months. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'd love to see what you're doing with them. So that's my first coat, and you can see very clearly, I can still see my pencil lines. I have gone over them, though, because the whole point of this is when I've finished, I don't want to see the pencil lines. So no. make sure, you know, it's, it's normal, it's your instinct to sort of stay within the lines. Mm. I can see there, I can still see the outline. Make sure you cover your pencil lines, because then by the time you, you get to the last sort of um, layer, you won't see them at all, and it will look like you've just painted that flower from just with paint. No, no guidance. You've chilled me out so much this hour. It's just, nice, I'm, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the first colour. Um, I'm going to pop to the to the colour in in the same twin. I know you can't see because I can't fit it all in, under the the camera. Now for this coat, I'm going in slightly thicker, so I'm not adding quite so much water. Right. And I'm thinking about 
the sort of shape of the leaves here, uh, petals rather. And I'm going to leave the top part with that light colour. Do you think about where the light would hit the flower? Where, which direction? Only right? vaguely. Right, okay. I don't get too caught up in that, but I do always have my light in my head coming from right. the top right corner. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking along the top here is where it's going to be lighter. Yeah. So I'm just going to work my way around with another coat. Have you noticed, that we, you're not in the studio when Sandra's here, but when we do Santaco shows with Sandra, everybody goes really quiet. Same thing's happening with this show. Yes, I mean, Everybody's I don't have talk back, but you. I know um, <laughs> it, I can kind of sense that it's quiet. Well, so it's busy on the, on the phones, but it's quiet in the gallery. I think, so. Everyone's watching and thinking, hmm, it's well, relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. So my light's coming in here, so I'm going to do the bottom half of this petal and the same with this one. And don't panic because you do get to a point with this where it really looks like nothing. That well, just looks like a blob. The more we're watching, the more you're calling in for it. So much so that with everyone that's coming in and putting it in their baskets, three quarters of the entire stock of this has gone. I think what it is is, have you ever been in that situation where you've gone for a walk, maybe walking the dog, and you've seen someone down on a riverbank and they've got an easel there or they've got a, a board on their lap and they're painting. Yes. You kind of think, oh, I wish I could do that. And there's that element of, I wish I'd, I'd had the opportunity, I wish I knew how I could paint. This is giving you the opportunity of doing just that. It really is. And this is as difficult as, as it is. Um, and lots of us crafters know these techniques because if you're colouring in stamped images with your alcohol pens, yeah. this, is what, this is how your brain works. You're thinking, well, where's the dark, where's the light? I mean, pens and are convenient, don't I'm get doing. me wrong, and they're lovely. They're brilliant quality and you get great results with them. But there's something very romantic and relaxing about a paintbrush. And paint. There is, and it, I don't know, it just gives you... It comes across on the finished page as well. It does, and your finished, your finished um, flower just looks that much more, I don't know, like you've spent it, hours on it, I guess. And it's bit by bit. You bit know, by bit. You're building up the colours layer by layer, so rather than going bullet a gate and you do one layer, boom, it all looks too much, it's too vivid, it's too in your face, it doesn't look natural. Yes. You're doing it... A colour at a time. colour at a time. The one thing with gouache is you do need, um, if I go in now with another colour, it's going to mix in with that because yeah, as you can see that's first. still wet. So you do need to let each layer dry. Obviously the first layer, because it's very light, that took, you know, by the time I'd finished talking about it, it was dry. This one you can see is still a bit wet. But if you're sitting what outside you, in the sun, the first if you're outside, really it, yeah, if you're outside in the garden, on. that'll be dry already. If you feel mm, like I do now, I'm looking at that thinking, if I go in now with another colour, I'm just going to merge them. Move on to something else. Mm. So we'll go on to the leaf. So I'm going to do the same thing with the leaf. I'm going to go in with a very light, like a lime green. We I mean, maybe it's not flowers that you're doing at all. Maybe you've got some of Josh's amazing yes. character stamps that he brought that, that, that they were fantastic where you have you know a stamp for the head a stamp for the body a stamp for the lower part of the body um, so you can make characters in your family and friends and maybe you want these paints to color in those um, these would be perfect for that because you know the whole concept of josh's stamps is that they look like you've hand painted yeah exactly so to go in with these would be so it could be that you've got perfect. the stamps but you haven't thought about how you're going to color in the characters mm. yet these would be ideal mm. So I've gone on, as I did with the flower, a very, very light wash so that you can still see the pencil marks through. But it's, um, it's giving me the shape. So you can see the difference from the last coat to this coat. You can, and yeah. you can see that will dry a little bit lighter. If you look at the, um, the first coat on that flower, it's, it's almost white, isn't mm. it? It's so, mm. so light. So... That all still looks a little bit wet, so I'll show you what I would do with this one, actually. Okay. This isn't finished. I can still see I've got the odd pencil mark. Um, I've kind of done a rough outline where the stamens are going to be, but I feel you can't quite see enough shade with that. So I would come in with a really dark colour now on this one. If you wanted to, probably... I don't know what your answer is going to be, but would, could you come in with like a fine liner pen? You could, yes, if you wanted black to. black in the middle. If you wanted to give them, yeah, and you'd end up very much with like the look of the of the stamped mm. image if you did that. Mm. You, yeah, you absolutely could. Um, so what I tend to do at this point is come in and darken my my real sort of shadow area. So which part of the flower would be 
in the shadow, yeah. lights coming top if right. If my light's coming here, this is all going to be light. Um, where the petals overlap, like here, you're going to get a little bit dark. Now, when you are coming in with the final details like this, don't scrub at it because, you, of course, you can reactivate all of that paint underneath and all that detail will get lost because it will all start mixing. So you don't go in like that, you know. If you are a novice and you're kind of just doing things trial and error, if you do something that doesn't look right, you can correct it. This is the thing. That's why Go Ash is so forgiving that you know what instantly you think, oh, I've put that, that, that's, done, that, yes. that's not right. I've done that wrong. Um, yeah. It's not, oh, crikey, all is lost. No, you not You can go all. in and rescue it and, and reverse it. You, you really can. And you, you can, if you don't like the look of something, if you think, oh, that's a bit too dark, you go over it. Mm. And that's the beauty, which you can't do with sort of other things, is go over something quite dark with a light colour. Mm. You can with this. And don't forget, we do have the amazing Hemi brushes, which we've got a cracking price. You're going to get three of them, uh, three different sizes, including your precision one. Uh, only four ninety nine for all three. I know, and they're Hemi brushes. They're actually manufactured. The colours will vary. You may get a blue one, you may get a yellow one, you may get a pink one. Yeah, they're um, but they're all going to be the same type of brush. Doesn't matter at the end of the day. But they are four ninety nine for all three brushes to use with your gouache paints. So I'm just going to do a little bit more shading on that leaf. Do you save all these for the shows, or do you kind of have a little go when you're not here and at home, or have, have you got time? I haven't got a lot of time, but because I know I'm going to be doing a show and I want to show you something new each time. Yeah. You know, like the other day I sat down and thought, right, well, let's, and I, I'd been doing this for another show and I thought, actually, that would look quite good painting. Mm. So that kind of prompted me. So, yeah, I kind of like to do a little bit for each show. I think an awful lot of crafters think of pens and pencils when it comes to colouring, but not many think of paints. That's no. like a step too far towards being a professional artist, which maybe you don't consider yourself to be. But this is another way of colouring that is so relaxing, so rewarding and so um, easy to do because it's gradual. It's bit by bit. Very by bit. much so. Yeah, very much so. Um, and there are so many tutorials online as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Internet is a wonderful thing. I mean, I know it, we complain about it sometimes, but it's a wonderful thing. If you just do a, a search for watercolour techniques or gouache techniques, you'll be inundated with lots and lots of videos that you can watch. Um, but let's just show you again. This is the, the box of joy, if I can call yes. it that. And that sounds about corny <laughs> to say that, but it is. Loads of you checking out. Loads of you multi-buying, actually. Andrew in Bucks has gone for two. Julian Wirrell's gone for two. Uh, Pauline in Warwickshire's gone for two. Uh, a crafter, I don't know your name, but you've gone for three. <laughs> so a lot of people are buying them maybe for couples to paint together or maybe groups, friends to and paint together. And I've got to say, if, if you receive something like this for Christmas, oh. you, you, you would be overwhelmed, wouldn't you? Because it, the Absolutely. packaging is just beautiful. It, it looks like such a... You know, the presentation's lovely. Well, yeah, um, the quality of the paint that's inside it equals mm. the quality of the presentation and the way it's been designed as well. Um, the only thing that you don't get with it is the pack of three brushes. So think about those, Four ninety nine for those. That's the icing on the cake. Then you've got the top quality paints, you've got the top quality brushes. All you need then is maybe some watercolor card or whatever. Uh, KS8448 is the item number for the gouache. This, remember, is what's inside, but it's the back. Because yes. if, we, if I just turn it around, I'll show you the front quickly. Basically, the f oh no, I won't. Oh no, you won't, because they'll, <laughs> they'll all slide down. The front has got all, all the uh, all the seals on. Okay, so Jimmy, um, yeah. So sixty nine ninety nine gets you all all of those. See them all sliding all out. All one hundred and twelve, <laughs> all one hundred and twelve colours, uh, and that's sixty nine ninety nine divided by two on split pay. If you don't want split pay, feel free. You don't have to use it, but it's there if you want it. Okay, KS eight four four eight is your item number. Okay, are we out of time? Jimmy's going to kill you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sharon. You're back <laughs> later you. on with... I'm back later with some VersaFine ink pads in the new colours. Ooh, brand seven new. That's 7 o'clock tonight. And we've got the return of the Mylar, the sheets of Mylar that mean you can actually make your own stencils coming up next with Kat. Uh, we'll take a short break and I'll sort this lot out. See you in a minute. <laughs> Did you know at Hobby Maker that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. <laughs>
call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobbymaker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Did you know at Hobbymaker that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website wouldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on register now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on Create Account and then away you go. Within your account setting you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobbymaker. Hi everyone, weather report from those who've been out in the car park. It's getting hot out there. Mm. <laughs> Jimmy, our weatherman, just told me. Stay indoors, keep you cool, put the fan on, draw the curtains. We'll keep you cool on Hobby Maker. Hayley's here at five to see you through until nine o'clock. I'm with you for the next hour. And we've got something that I was just saying to Kat, actually. I've never known, I've never done a show where this has been a thing, where it's been an option. Uh, I think Natalie, maybe from Hunky Dory, did a show like this previously, but I didn't do the show. But I've never, ever, ever, I've always done shows with stencils that have been pre-cut by the company to make lovely shapes and words and that sort of thing. Um, and it's always mylar that stencils are made from, or mostly. And I've never actually seen mylar that you can cut yourself to make your own stencils. So um, think about all the dyes you've got at home. Um, not really intricate ones, I mean, that wouldn't be appropriate, but certainly basic shapes, maybe letters of the alphabet, stuff like that. Um, you can turn those dies now into stencils by cutting and die cutting your mylar. Now we've not had this in, when, when was the last time we had this? April, April was the last time, April, May, June, July, August. Four months, four months it's been 
to get Mylar. This is Mylar. We're used to it. You buy stencils all the time from lots and lots of companies. Lots and lots of brands here do stencils. You've got 10 sheets of Mylar. Size-wise, you're looking at 25, 250 micron, and they're A5. A5, slightly bigger than A5, and they're 250 micron. A die can die cut Mylar. A cutting machine can die cut or cut Mylar. So think if you've got a Cricut, if you've got a Brother Scan and Cut, if you've got a Silhouette, if you've got a, a Caesar, any of those machines that cut cardstock can actually use it to cut Mylar as well if you want to. So you can make your own stencils from those SVG images. 10% of the stock's already gone. It's $7.99 for 10 sheets of top quality Mylar. This is different, isn't it, Kat? It is, and it, it's giving you the ability to create your own stencils and so much more. There's lots of other uses for it as well. But uh, we're going to bring you a range of nesting dies today, which it works perfectly with. But think about all the dies that you've got in your stash. It's just jumped up to me now. Remember the, the little cats and dogs that we did? Think yes. about making your own really cute masks and stencils with them. Yeah. And once you've got it, you've got it forever. You can make it and do it again. You can build up your own backgrounds. I'm going to try and show you a demonstration where you can make your own scenes with your inks and stuff like that. A very simplified one, but you can comp uh, do it much more detailed as you go along. I also think, now I've not actually tried this, but we had a conversation in the office on Friday. It would be absolutely great for, you know when we do smooshy backgrounds with our inks and mm -hmm. things like that, and we'll put it on like a plastic bag or a, an A4 plastic mm -hmm. wallet. And I said, wouldn't this be the perfect surface for it? But you can also wash it and keep it clean. And instead of having lots of, lots of like little um, bags and stuff that, that are just throwawayable. You can have a dedicated piece that you so, can use for that and doing your inky background. So, so this could be your craft mats as well. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, maybe um, die cut into nine of them yeah. and keep one of them as a little crafting blending surface as well. Um, now we're gonna see it in action in a second, but we're getting loads of you coming through. Seven pounds, 99 pence, SX HD 10. Now another item that we've got back in stock is this. Now, if you are new to die cutting, if you're a new crafter, the Hunky Dory handbooks are brilliant because what they do is they look at every crafting technique that you will possibly want to do. Um, and they not only go back to basics and explain the basics of die cutting, but they also give you lots of other ways of using your die cutting techniques that probably you never thought of. They give you different techniques, different things, different ways of using your dies that maybe you would never even crossed your mind. So this is for $9.99, a really good buy. It's all beautifully um, photographed. It's wonderfully uh, set out, very easy to follow, very easy to do. And you've actually got lots of projects in there as well, Kat, haven't you? Yes. So for every technique, there is at least one project um, that you can do. And that's it's just a basic idea. Um, and then you can create that with lots and lots of other different dyes uh, throughout. And I'm sure there's lots of ways you can bring your mylar into that as well. Absolutely. So if you want the book, it's back in stock today after selling out before. Your complete hunky-dory guide to die cutting, $9.99. You might say, well, I know how to die cut. Yeah, but this book is going to show you lots of other ways of using your dies, full of ideas, full of inspiration. It will make you go, oh, I didn't realise I could do that with that. Yeah, it, could, it includes things like your back to basics, obviously, yep. but how to use your die cut in to make your own stamps how to reverse die cut, how to use them as embossing folders. So it, there's, there's lots of different things you can do. Okay, and it's beautifully illustrated. Um, it will basically make you get more out of your die cutting at the end of the day. 9.99 QZHD15, not just for beginners, but also great for everybody. Now, when we show you what you can do with this Mylar, I think you're gonna be absolutely uh, uh, amazed and gobsmacked. So we're keeping our demonstrations for this one, very technique based. I'm not making any full like cards because I want to show you as much as you, I can with what you can do with your mylar and nesting dice day. So the first thing I'm gonna do is how to make your own stencil. I'm just gonna take a very basic um, hexagon die mm -hmm. and we are going to make like a little hexagon background, like a little honeycomb background because I think that's one that's like really, really popular. So the first thing we're gonna do just cut this down so it's a little bit more square. Let's go to about that size. So 
And we've actually got the hexagon dies uh, in the show, which we'll give you after the demo for you, if you like the idea of making your own honeycomb. Um, I think you get a total of 12 dies in the hexagon one. And the dies, by the way, today for this show, because they work so well with the Mylar, are special deal prices that are unheard of. They're all on the web now. You can shop ahead if you want. You'll see nesting dies for 12.49, uh, and the ones that are slightly different with uh, uh, kind of designer edges at 17.49, I think they are, but we'll get to those a bit later on. But look on the website, you'll see them. Amazing deals to use. So your mylar perfect definitely so this is a process you're going to have to repeat a few times to build up that pattern and um, but i'll just show you the first basic ones until i go to one that i've already done earlier so that's run through i've made sure it's up facing my metal plate so that should just pop out of there easily okay. now so we've got that little lexicon there you can see i've not put it right up to the edge because this pattern that i'm going to build is we're going to use it so we can tile it up multiple times right. on different places. I've not gone right up to the edge because that gives us the ability to do this. And we can do this as well. I'm sure you can see, you can see it down on the map there. That even though it's kind of got this thick opaque finish to it, you can still see through. So this mm. makes it perfect when you are wanting to tile up perfect. your mass and stuff. So then we're just going to line it up again. Come down to the next one. You get a gap that you're happy with. Don't leave it too thin because you don't want it to cut into each other. But as you can see, we're just going to work along and make up this beautiful hexagon pattern. Die cutting mylar never really crossed my mind. I always thought it was like a factory done thing that you know people have to get factories to make the stencils. And I suppose, yeah, cutting machines, I thought probably could cut through mylar, but to die cut through them. But that's it. So if you're somebody that makes a lot of cards and you make them to sell and you like creating your own like kind of art work to go on your stalls and stuff yeah. you can then make your own bespoke kind of mylar stencils that you can use in your backgrounds and things like that there's so many different things so you're being kind of the manufacturer now, you, aren't you absolutely are so you can see the um basis that that's coming at two now so we're just going to carry on till you end up with something it's blockbusters that looks that, that's what i was <laughs> thinking of as well i thought i was going to date myself <laughs> so you're going to just do the shape. You don't need to go any further because, like I said, once you've got a few, you can tile it up. And then I've just taken one of the smaller hexagons onto a, another piece. Um, it's really hard to show, isn't it, on the, on the thing because it's see-through. Let's see if we do it on a bit of white. Just a smaller hexagon there mm -hmm. that we're going to use to really get the 3D effect of these, um, this stencil. So let's just pop this on. So if I bring this down the bottom here... We can just put that in place. I'm going to go in with our inks. Mm -hmm. I've got my warm honey here. And we can just go oh, over. Oh, perfect colour for a honeycomb. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? What's the name of that colour then? This is warm honey. Warm honey, right. So, yes, yeah, it is the From right the Prism name. Ink Pad range on, on the website. Yep. And then, like I said, we can just move it up. And because you can see through it, you can place it absolutely perfectly. So you repeat. can be able yeah. to repeat and tile the pattern. Just pop that down in place and get it somewhere so it's holding it both. I don't know what it is about bees and honeycombs. It's ever so, ever so popular. We, we all love bees, don't we? I know wasps, there aren't that many of them around this year, which I'm not too bothered about. But No, um. I don't think anyone's <laughs> complaining about that too much, are they? But the bees we love. I know they're important for the ecosystem and all that sort of thing, but... So that's really pretty in itself. It is, but the yeah. beauty of like having your nesting dies is that you can then bring in your smaller ones. And if we pop this in the middle, and again, we can line that up so it is in the middle because we can still see through it. Go in with our slightly darker colour. Now this time, don't shout at me. I don't know if these are in stock, but... They were last week. Oh, we've oh, restocked fabulous. them last week. I think we have, unless we sold out of them last week. The daubers. Just lightly go in and add that in there just to get your basic one. And then you can just blend that a little bit more out. And then just work your way around doing all these. Good use, Kat. And it just gives you that really cool... The daubers, you were away last week, weren't you? I was, We've got yeah. more stock of the daubers. We've got a healthy stock of them. They were out of stock for such a long time. You get 40, I think, don't you? 40 yes, yeah. in an acrylic box. We didn't have them for four months. 
These are Dorber's finger Dorber's, but you can hold them with your finger and your thumb if you want to, rather than put them on your finger. 19.99, so you can have a Dorber for each different color for your ink pads. UV HD 47. Could you just show them to us for a bit, minute, Kat? The Dorber's? Yeah, it'd be good. So, they all go. come lovely and clean and white. Mine are... <laughs> well loved. Mine are lovely. There you go. You get 40, and hun Hunky Dory Prism ink pads do 40. Yes. So you could have one Dorber per ink pad. You can, yeah. Love it. And Perfect. it comes in a branded acrylic box. So 1999, we've got thousands of them back in stock for you, which is really good news. UV HD 47. So you can imagine that all kind of like finished off. You've got that thing and it just gives you that ability to give you that 3D effect and stuff. Um, do you want another technique or are we coming back to something else? I tell you what, shall I show you the, st um, the, 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 um, the hexagon dies? And also the star dies, because we've actually got, we've got two categories of moonstone dies in the show. We've got the nesting dies that are one price and nesting dies that are a slightly higher price, but they're all the most incredible value for money. So if you want the hexagon, which is what uh, Kat's been using, and there are 12 dies in here. Look at this. Look at this. 12 dies. You get 12 of them for £12.49. Unbelievable. All the nesting dies, all the different shapes and sizes are on the website right now for you. They are all £12.49, apart from another selection that are £17.49. These are your kind of everyday uh, shapes. So you've got here your hexagons. Now, this is always a very, very popular one. Imagine cutting your stencils from star dies. Now, this one we don't have many of at all, okay? This is always a firm favourite and a popular one. Should be 14 99 We're going to match that price. All of these nesting dies are £12.49, uh, WHHD17. And you've got, obviously, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dies. Nine star dies. You can have a lot of fun with those. And you can make star frames, star apertures, star card blanks if you want to. Uh, and, of course, now star stencils using Mylar as well. Do you want me to quickly run through the ones we've got? Okay, I'll run through a few more. They're, they're all on the website listed right now, so you'll see all of them. You've got your traditional shapes, and you've also got some more, um, not unusual, but some more slightly different shapes. So here you've got, do you want them in order? It doesn't matter. Okay, hearts. Now, look, that, that's a very, very beautiful and different heart nesting die set, isn't it? This one's going to be very, very popular. Yes, you can have the hearts for just £12.49. Think about ornaments that you can make, mobiles that you can make with hearts that just blow and twiddle and twist in the breeze, maybe. We very rarely show you the nesting dies. They're always on the website, but we very rarely kind of spend time just showing them to you. So that's EAHD 80, £12.49. These are two fifty off each one. Absolutely incredible. I mean, even at £15 are amazing value. You've got your rectangles. So again, these can make inverted cards, pyramid style cards, mm -hmm. apertures. Yeah. You can make little um, signs as well using the smallest ones if you want to. Rectangular frames, rectangular card blanks, make your own card blanks with these. There's so many uses for them. 1249, that's BTHD25. I'll do a couple more, but there's a load of them on the website. Squares. We'll do them as chunks as we go. So 14 99 for the squares down to £12.49, pence, which can also be a diamond if you want it to be, remember. There we go, 12 49 PGHD 49, that one. I bet you a lot of you, if you haven't got nesting dies, are going to go for all of them. Get, get as many of them as you can. The circles, can't go wrong with the circles. Again, the circular aperture, a circular frame, a circular card blank. To get a perfect circle is not easy. No. It's one of the hardest shapes to get perfect, Definitely. but a die will make sure that it is perfect for you. One more. Then you've got your archway. Now that could be an arch window, it could be an arch door, it could be a door to a castle, stately home, um, a window and a ballroom, all those sort of things. And again, you can make cards that go in like a tunnel and go out to a point. I think we're touching on that a bit later, aren't we? Possibly. Inverted invitage cards? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are. Like, sorry. <laughs> J the arches threw me. <laughs> JKHD27. 12.49 for your arches. We'll come back to a few more, though. Uh, they're all listed on the website. We've got diamonds. We've got rectangled with uh, curved edges. All sorts. Um, there's loads. They're in two categories. There's a 12.49 section of nesting dies and a 17.49 section of nesting dies that have got, like, the uh, distressed edges, that sort of thing. All right, Kat, back to you. Okay. So let's um, see how we can make a little scene with one. So I have... This is just a seven by five piece of white cardstock. I'm going to try and build a scene. All I'm going to use is my circle nesting die. 
and my craft knife and we'll see how we get on. So let's <laughs> pop this down here. So this one is showing you how, like when we took the mid light, the hexagons, make sure you keep them because then you can use them mm. and ink around them and you have the ex the negative as Positive well, which is what we'll show you with this one. There here. is no waste when you die cut no. a stencil. Absolutely. So I'm going to start. This is going to be like a moon or a sun or whatever you want in the sky there. I'm going to put that in there. So again, always handy to have your metal shims because we're going through that nice mylar. Perfect. Pop that out. It doesn't crack like I thought it would. I thought it would make more of a kind of a cracking noise. No, it's uh, nice and uh, yeah. smooth, isn't it? Lots of interest coming in through for the nesting, guys. I'm not surprised at £12.49. They're a virtual giveaway for an amazing value. So let's take that out of there. And the first thing we are going to do with this is we're going to use this in the opposite way this time. And this is going to be like... Um, this is going to keep our cardstock white when we want the rest of it white. So we're going to pop that on there. And I am going to use just our dotty tape runner uh, to secure it in place. Now, I really advise that uh, you look at our eraser as well because it should come off absolutely fine. But if there is any glue residue, that will take it off. Yeah, the glue eraser is, is genius. It's brilliant. Perfectly. And then we're going to come back to this piece. And we're going to be really technical. We're going to get our craft knife and we're going to cut a wiggly line. Okay. Just like a horizon line. And we might need to go through a few times, but it will. Might just need a little bit more pressure. Okay. And of course, the so. hunky dory craft knife is what I use at home. I love it. Total control with it. And I've got a thing about blades, so. Finish that off with my scissors. A Milo is a thick, is a thick um, material to cut through. So. It is, yeah. Might work slightly better on like your rubber mat. But you can see we've just got a few hills going on there. We might use that again later. So this is going to be the base there. So we can just secure that in place with a little bit of uh, tape. And let's go over to our ink pads again. And I've got two blues here. I've not thought out my colours too much on this one, so we will get what we <laughs> we'll get what we get. Um, and we will just start. So that will keep that nice kind of horizon line there for us. And again, we're just kind of going to ombre this up. Let me use another piece just to tack that in place as well, so it's not going to go walkies, which it's wanting to do. And then I'm going to bring in the dark blue, just so we've got a bit of effect. I'm sure you've got more time to put your colours and everything together. Because we were talking earlier on, Kat, about what sort of dyes you can use to die cut your mylar. And you yeah. said not really intricate ones, that wouldn't work, but basic shapes and letters of the alphabet, things like that, yeah. things that aren't too fiddly would be fine. Yeah. And you can always try. Just don't put too much pressure on them. If you know it's not going to work, don't keep doing it and doing it because no. you're just going to end up damaging your dyes. But you do that. And then when we take that away now, we should have... A nice little horizon scene and then a white space that we can go hey. in. Like I said, if you've got anything left in there, just go in with your eraser and that'll take that out for you. And then if you were wanting to put some highlight in this moon, you could pop this back over the top, pop that one in and then just do that space there. Yeah, do a man in the moon or whatever. That's, I think I've got a bit of grey, so let's, um, or dove grey, so let's do that in. If I've got a clean pad. Uh, let's, paint. let's just use this, let's just be, so I'm just gonna hold this in place. And if you just wanted to get a little bit of definition on that moon there, you could move that and it just gives nice. you that echo. And then you can use this piece to go back in 
pop that over the top, secure that down. And then we're going to get that nice line to meet the line that we've got on there when it comes to doing our the hillside bank. And you could do clouds out of the mylar if you wanted to, rolling hills, waves, whatever you want to do. But of course, it will die cut. Not the most intricate of dies, but certainly, um, you know, most of your dies will be able to be used as now stencils by buying the plain mylar today that we've had in first time since April. So four months we've not been able to get this. And you get 10 sheets of it, um, all A5 in size or oversize A5 and 250 GSM. So uh, yeah, it's £7.99. pence. And you can pay £7.99 for one stencil. Let's you face certainly it. can. And then if we finish off and go in with one more darker colour, like I said, this is very, very basic because I'm just trying to show you as many things as possible. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure when you've got this, you can be so creative and come round so you can add depth and depth. I mean, how many of you have got like letters that? of the alphabet or number dies? Um, now you can make those into stencils from those letters and numbers. Just keep going on, and building up your layers. And you can see just how you can get those nice definitions and play around. I like it. OK, do you want to see a few more of the nesting dies? Because I've got uh, another ooh, probably 10 or more um, in the £12.49 camp, OK? All of these, have they ever been £12.49 before? Oh, OK, they have. I've not seen them at £12.49 before until today. Should be £14.99. I've shown you the archways and a few others as well. Let me flick through these quickly of all the other shapes. Ovals, another essential shape. You've got, is it 10? 10 metal dies, yeah. 10 different dies, all equally spaced, so you can make pyramid style, inverted styles, frames, apertures, card shapes, card blanks. 12.49 for your oval, PSHD 21. I'll go through these quite quickly because there are a lot. This one uh, is a very popular, very popular shape indeed, uh, with that beautiful curved corner. Um, it's calling the scalloped corner rectangles. Uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight of those. Beautiful. That's the size of them. Twelve pound forty-nine. I remember when these would have been thirty-five, forty pounds. Oh yeah. A few easily. years ago, they would have easily been that thirty-five, forty pound for a nesting die set. Then another fancy one. This one's called the bracket label. Again, it's different. You've got lots of curves, lots of points as well. And again, many, many possibilities. Frames, just for making your frames. Thin frames, thicker, chunkier frames. You choose which of these you use together to make the frames up to you. Little apertures, card blanks. 12.49 for your nesting bracket label, they call it. Then you've got your fancy label. Now this one gets an awful lot of use. Um, it's a very popular shape in card making. Horizontal and vertical as well. There we go. That one is called the Fancy Label, and it's £12.49 for that one. This one hasn't been on for, uh, since um, last year, evidently, but it's, it's here. Now, this reminds me of, um, of an Asher Cut Diamond when I looked at that. Ah, Charlie, my director, saying the same thing. He knows his gems. But yeah, it looks like an Asher Cut Diamond, but it's actually an octagon. How oh, amazing are they? Aren't they beautiful? £12.49, MDHD12, that's probably a different shape to what you've got already. So that's your octagon. Then we go to ornate label. Five or six more, I'll be as quick as I can. So there's your ornate label. Similar but different. Here we go. Easy HD90. And um, actually that would be lovely for a little nameplate or a name card if you wanted it a bit bigger. You can make your own tags, gift tags out of those as well if you wanted to. Really lovely shape. They're all available on the website, so you can see them if you go to the website. Just check out twelve forty nine each. Um, again, this is a scallop circle. This could be a flower, couldn't it? It could be a daisy. It could yes. be anything you wanted it to be. I think they are probably the most versatile dies you can ever, ever have in your collection. And, of course, they're all going to work with the, the mylar. So make them into stencils. Buy them as dies, buy the mylar, and then convert that shape into a stencil as well, making them even more versatile. Then we've got the vintage label. Different item number for the vintage label. Again, very beautiful. Uh, $14.99 down to £12.49, MBHD 26. And Hunky Dory's dies are gorgeous quality. They really are. They go through any machine. Really good quality. So that's your vintage label. I think we've got four more. This one's your inverted corner square. 
So we saw the rectangle like it earlier on. Now you've got the square to kind of marry up with that, which is rather lovely. And again, you can make tags out of them if you want to. I remember when you'd be paying probably three times this price for one set, or you'd be getting, you can today get three sets for what you used to actually pay for one. Um, decorative label again, long decorative label. So we've done the decorative label earlier. This is a slightly elongated one, more of a rectangle. £12.49 for that one. There we go. Isn't it lovely? TDHD32, £12.49. Pays your money and takes your choice. All of these are proving massively popular because they're such an affordable price. Then you've got your rounded corner square. So we've probably all got square nesting dies, but a rounded corner one's just softer, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe make your own coasters, that sort of thing. Ooh, lovely. Mm. So that's your rounded corner, FIHD56. Two more. Rounded rectangles. There's your rounded corner rectangles. They're all available, all in stock. Some have got more quantities available than others. SBHD86. That's 1249. And the last one in the 1249 camp is this one, which is your straight edge nesting diamond. There you go. Look at those. I mean, the star dies I showed you earlier on, they are the ones that are most limited stocks. So if you do want the stars, please be quick and get those. They're all 1249, just to make it nice and simple for everybody. But uh, yeah, your classic everyday shapes and some new unusual ones in there for you as well. RLHD67. Okie dokie. I'll do the 1749 ones before five o'clock, okay? We'll go back to another demo to show you how you can get the most out of your mylar. That's what it's all about. Oh, well, with this one, I'm showing you your dies. We're having a little break okay. for Myla. Right. We're gonna, I'm just showing you how easy it is to make your own shape card blanks with your nesting dies. Okay. How versatile. I have got our uh, sport circle and our, it's one of the bracket ones. I always forget the name. There's bracket label. Yeah, bracket label. Okay, bracket label and we'll scallop circle. Ones. So if you take, I've taken the um, largest one from each set here and they work perfectly with six by six card blanks. If you're using a smaller one, use a smaller card blank. Okay. And all you have to do is place them onto your card blank and just make sure that you overhang the top bit. So you're keeping that score line so that keeps the back and front attached? It does, yeah. yeah it's going to make sure that it's not going to cut in and you're just going to end up with two separate pieces. So we pop them on like that. And then let's pop them onto our over here. Well, by the way, if you are watching in the States, we do ship to America. So um, Hunky Dory do ship to USA. If you want to order anything in our Hunky Dory shows, please feel free. Cap shipping and handling for you in America are $14.95. Um, and you can convert our website if you go to hobbymaker.co.uk. I know it sounds strange saying .co.uk. Go there, uh, change the Union Jack to your stars and stripes. That will convert the website into American dollars and cents. So we're just taking that through there. And then even once you've done this, there's lots of different things you can do with them. So I'm just going to remove these dies off the front because as you've seen, because we've overhung those dies, you're not going to get the full shape on that card blank there. It's, you're going to have this flat edge. So all you have to do is take another piece of cardstock. I'm going to do a coloured one just so you, it shows up a bit more on here today. Get rid of my rubbish. But take your coloured cardstock, pop them back in. Run this through again. Then once we've got our fronts cut, I will show you the different things you can do with these. As a crafter, do you find nesting dies are the dies you use more than anything else? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they're so versatile from, um, like I said, making your own card blanks, making your own frames. Um, a lot of our uh, nesting dies work with the shapes of our toppers and our decoupage and yep. stuff like that as well. So that's really useful. Yeah, actually, um, that's a really good point. I forgot to mention that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, your smaller ones are great for stamping your own sentiments onto and things like that as well. So there's loads and loads of different uses for them. So by cutting the fronts again, and you would stick them on there, and you've now got that perfect finish to your card. So it's the full shape again there. So we've got this one. So you could just pop your fronts on, and you could have these fab-like little cards like this. But you can take it further. Um, 
you, if you cut another one of these, you could pop one over there and have like a trifold card so it'd fold in. I love making easels with them. Mm -hmm. So all you've got to do is fold them down. So, yeah. Um, and it will save you, halfway. save you a lot of money. If you normally buy your easel cards or whatever card blanks pre-made, yeah. you know, this will save you a lot of money making them yourself from your nesting dies. So you could just keep it as half an easel like that, stick a topper on or anything, yep. or you can go back with your front and you've got this perfect kind of easel finish there. Um, you could take this one, again, let's fold these both into the middle, making sure that you line in the shapes up with the one underneath. And you could be fancier and score it, but I I do find that it's easier to do this by hand because then you're you're matching your like scallops up. And remember, these techniques are going to be different for whichever shapes that you're using. But you can just make really different kind of shapes. That's cool. And ideas. Like a saloon door work. card. Uh, yeah, and that's it. And you could pop one over the top and have one coming forward. There's lots and lots of different things you yeah. can do. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, nesting dies are the hero die of all, to be honest with you. Um, and remember, we've got all sorts of different shapes. We've got the classic shapes of circles, squares, ovals, rectangles, and we've got some fancy shapes as well. They're all pictured on the website for you now. They're all only £12.49 for all of the ones I've shown you so far. The other ones that we've got for you are a little bit more money. And let's just show you those quickly as well, because these are still amazing value for money, but they're a little bit bigger and a little bit more decorative. I mean, this has been a firm favourite of mine ever since I first saw it. Um, this is your torn edge nesting die circles. So we talked about how difficult it is to get a perfect circle normally. Uh, a die will do that for you. But when you want an imperfect circle, you want an imperfect circle that looks it's got look like a torn edge. Um, this is going to give it to you brilliantly. The die is actually made in that way. So it gives you a perfect regular torn edge because if you try and tear it after you've cut it it'll go horribly wrong you'll end up with um you know too much torn away or not enough turn away or torn away whereas this gives you that kind of rough edge but in a in a controlled way if you know what i mean so you get one two three four five six seven eight nine different circles there but look how great they look when they're matted and layered together or they're doing an invitage invitage basically means it's going in like a cave uh, pyramage is like it's going out like a pyramid. So you get that, but then all the apertures and frames it makes. Again, card shapes you can make out of that. 1749, this one, SJHD86. Same with the oval. So this is your distress edged oval. We've got the rectangle coming up as well. So these, again, are a little bit different. You can actually, if you wanted to, I mean, this is an invitage look. If you look at that, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, basically you've got the layers that have been cut out by the dies, but they go in. Or they could equally come out. So you can do both with nesting dies like that. Really effective. But there we go. So there's your oval with the torn edge. That's 1749 as well, PYHD62. Then the next one in the torn edge is the rectangle. Good looking. I mean, look at the, the effective edge on that. It really, it really is effective. It's only subtle, but it really does stand out. And it's something a bit different. Rather than having crisp, clean lines all the time, you just want to have that kind of rough texture. That's what it's going to give you very effectively. And the smaller one's been used down there, of course. The one in the middle has been used just for that little, um, little tile to put a message on. Love it. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dies in that one uh, for 17.49. Next one is the square. And then we go on to a different shape in a second. So that's your distressed torn edged square or diamond. Same price on this, they're all the same price, £17.49. Um, slightly more because, of course, you've got a lot more uh, of design going into these as well. A lot more work goes into the making of the stressed edge. KSHD65. Now, the other ones we've got are scalloped and straight. So you've got basically a scalloped edge, then a straight circle. Scalloped edge, straight circle. So you can, again, be very creative with how you those those. So there you go, look. Scalloped edge, straight edge. So you can use the straights on their own or the scallops on their own or them together. So this is mixing two designs together for you and we'll honour that price as well going down to £17.49 but it's very effective. It's like you're looking at like a, a cake from above isn't it? It's very it is. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah like little doilies. Um, TEHD52. A couple more. So we've got the same in the square alternating between a scalloped edge, straight edge, scallop edge, straight edge. If you just want the scalloped edges both sides you've got that option. But again, it just gives you more of a kind of a floral look, to be honest. You're as sweet as can be. £17.49, two more, 
we've got the ovals and we've got the rectangles, then we're done with the nesting. So again, from a, from a distance, it doesn't necessarily look very different compared to the plain ovals we had, but as you can see, you've got the scalloped edge on the outside, followed by a straight, scallop straight. 17.49 for your ovals, and finally, in the section of 17 pound 49 deals. Here you've got your scallop and your straight rectangles. 17.99, VQHD 49, and that's all the nesting dies covered in the show. So they are bargains, whatever shape you're looking for. We've got them all in stock at the moment. The one most vulnerable is the stars that I showed you earlier on for 12 pounds and 49 pence. I think you're using those next. I am, stars, aren't yes. You? Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Back to you. So I'm gonna try and do Two different things for you in this one so I've already gone ahead and I've taken two different size stars and just cut them into this background here again to make a stencil I'm going to try and use this one to emboss with so um, I've just pop that onto some craft card I'm going to take my first clear plate my frosted plate then I'm going to take the squidgy mat it's rubber mat is its more technical name but I prefer squidgy, squidgy. <laughs> Then we're going to pop this down so that our mylar is first and our cardstock is on the back. Now, you might need to run this through a couple of times to get a, a thing. You're not going to get as an embossed finished as you are with your embossing folders. No. Because that is 110% what your embossing folders are uh, designed for. But you will get a lovely, subtle yeah. effect. Um, so we'll, just go, we'll do this twice. We'll just have to, it does like pushing out the uh, squidgy mat when it comes back, but it does work, I promise. And so we'll just reposition that and run it through once more for you the You can hear the effect. pressure that it's putting on that cardstock. It is, this is it. So we'll pop that there. Hoping that's, no, it's not worked. Why has it not worked? Let's try again. Let's put this extra layer in just to see if this just to give it a bit of a shim. I did try this out back at the office yeah. three times on Friday and it worked perfectly. So I don't know. And I did it in an earlier show as well, didn't yeah, I? You did, Using yeah. Using a mask. Yeah. So we know it works. It's just what mood it's in. We could, you could hear the pressure that's being applied. So hopefully this time it's... Uh to trip me up some way so we will ignore that okay but it does please it try it with your machines because yeah. it has has done it i haven't put in the bit that i did to prove it to you but so the mylar is around. 250 gsm so it is nice thick mylar so it will emboss just use your, your conventional um embossing plate formation and it should emboss for you no problem at all but so might, might be our plate let's go actually. back and we'll use our torn edge circles just to do a nice kind of little frame effect. So, um, just get my layering back up. Make sure that's facing upward so the cutting lines are going to hit my metal shim. Mm -hmm. So you can just use your nesting dies in this way on your cardstock to create a frame. But maybe if you're stamping a card, you don't want a harsh card line. You just want that nice, like, inked effect. Mm -hmm. So this is how you can do it by creating your own stencil. So I'll take this off here. Cut perfectly. And again, this way, you're effectively creating three stencils in one. You've got your main one here, if you just wanted this. You've got this one if you wanted to leave like a white yep. uh, frame there. And what I'm loving this about one. the Mylar is that you normally pay between five and seven pounds for a stencil of that sort of size. And you're gonna get 10 sheets. So you can make potentially at least 10, maybe even more stencils out of what you're getting today for seven pound 99 pence. You know, if you've already got the, the dies at home that you want to turn into stencils, why go and buy stencils that have been made when you can make them yourself with what you've already got? $7.99. It's uh, 80p per sheet of Mylar. These have not been in since April this year, so it's taken four or five months to get them back. Um, and now it gives you, you're, you're basically the production line. You can make your own stencils now. I love that. 
and let's go in just to show the two different ways. So imagine this was um, like a stamp card. And like I said, you didn't want a harsh ha card cut mm -hmm. frame. But you could just go around like this. And I think it's a great way of using your torn edge circles because it gives you that imperfect look, but you've still got that perfect kind of circle shape yep. around. And then if you were wanting to do it the other way and you were wanting that kind of halo effect. You could do your own Olympic you, symbol, couldn't you? Oh, you could. I believe from what I saw when in my break that we've just uh, beat our total from Tokyo for medals as well. Oh, terrific, brilliant. Excellent. 65. Th this year is the first year I've really got into it. I've been watching quite a bit of it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And then we just take them off. And again, like I said before, any excess that you've got is going to come off with your little rubber like that. But there's just so many. And this is just the basics. Mm -hmm. You are going to, when you sit with these mylar sheets and look at all the dyes that you've got, and you're going to realise all the fun things you can do. Think about like our radial sentiments and stuff, how you can do your own kind of ink background by cutting the, the um, radiant bit out and then mm. putting your sentiment over the top. There's lots and lots of different but things you can to, do. To be fair, there's no way I know what you've got at home. But having talked to many of you over the years, you've probably got a healthy collection of dyes which you've used over the years for die cutting, obviously cardstock and so much more. But I never for once thought of using or getting plain mylar and using my dies to actually cut out to make my own stencils. That was never a thing, but it is an option. It is something you can do. And if you haven't got many dies, but you've got a sharp knife or you've got a cutting machine, if you've got a silhouette cameo, if you've got a cricket, if you've got a brother scan and cut, if you've got a Caesar, any of those cutting machines that we all know and love, um, it will cut through mylar. Uh, not just card, not just fabric. Yeah, you can cut through leather with them and all sorts, but mylar's no problem. And um, a lot of them are self-censoring, so they actually know what, it kind of reads the material before it cuts it, so it knows exactly what uh, pressure and depth to apply. So if you've got a cutting machine, you can now cut with your cutting machine. All those SVG files can now be made into stencils using the mylar. But if you haven't got that, you've got dies, and you can make stencils from your dies. Half the stock now nearly gone of this. Lots of you buy multiples. I know um, Sylvia in Nottinghamshire has gone for two. Sheila in Kent has gone for three. So you've got 30 sheets coming your way, Sheila. Deborah in Cheshire has gone for two. Uh, full screen of names, Jenny in Doncaster. Check out De uh, Jenny, Debbie, Rosemary, Jane, Crafter, Crafter, Gloria, Paula. Janet in Suffolk coming through for the Mylar. It's been April since we had this last. I didn't do the show then. I'd not seen Mylar uh, uncut. It's normally something that suppliers bring in with them and offer stencils and say, you know, there's the butterfly, there's the uh, rose or whatever it might be. But to get the actual Mylar itself, for you to have a blank canvas and cut them into whatever shape you want your stencils to be. First thing I do is do letters of the alphabet and numbers. Absolutely, because you know you don't necessarily always want to cut out letters to mount them. You just want to be able to kind of ink through a D and an A and a V and an E. Uh, it's so much quicker and so much easier. So make a stencil out of all your dies and numbers that you've got for your letters too. Um, SXHD10, seven pounds, 99 pence. It's 80p per sheet. You get 10 in a set. We can get one more demo, I think, Kat. Hopefully. Yeah, let's do some more bits with our nesting dies. So I've taken one of the little book pages from our earlier show and I have just taken our oval nesting dies and I have uh, missed one each time. So we're just gonna cut the uh, shapes down and this is I'm going to show you how you can do your invitage and your pyramage with these. I'm glad you're showing this because sometimes it's difficult to explain what invitage and pyramage is. Yeah. That one on there. So make sure the dies are touching the magnetic sheet from the cut lines coming up. So the starting point for doing either of these two techniques is exactly the same. You just choose the uh, shape of the die that you want. Yeah. You can use each individual die if you want to, but it can be a little bit too thin sometimes. It can be a bit too narrow. Okay. Um, so I like to miss one or two in between. Like every other one? Yeah. Right, okay. That's what I'm looking to say. And then we will pop these off here. And then it's just your choice now. So if you wanted pyramage, you want your um, image to make a pyramid, like we said before. Mm. So just let me 
get these uh, tape lines off. So what you would do is you would start with your bottom layer flat. Yeah. You would add one layer of foam pads to your next level. And you can apply this technique to any of the shaped dies, the nesting dies, yeah, not absolutely. just the oval. Not just the oval. So you would add your one layer to that one, two layers to that one, and then maybe three layers to that one, and it will come out in that pyramage effect. So yeah. it's gradually building up. And then if you were doing it the opposite way around, you would start with your smaller layer as your flat layer, one layer on this one, two uh, layers so on that like one. A tunnel, so like now a the tunnel is going in. inwards, and then you've got that to go on top there. Or a technique I love to do is mixing and matching. So maybe flat, one up, one down, back flat in the middle, and then that one raised again. I so remember you the, can mix and match the first that. time I was ever shown that in a demonstration when I first started working um, on craft and TV. Uh, I thought, wow, how cool is that? <laughs> it's the best thing I've, I've ever seen. I've not seen Pyramage or um, Invitage for a, such a long time, but it's great fun. And you can really only do it with nesting dies. That's why they're so cool. And then another one, I've got to show this because everybody knows now that this is one of my favorite techniques with little book pages, is the, um, I have just taken one sheet, I've scored into it and buffed it back so we've got that difference in the background. I'm just taking a variety of the sizes of the um, little square nesting dies. So there's no technique to where you put them, you just pop them where you think they work the best. We'll run this through. I don't think I've seen you do this technique before. Have you not seen this one? No. I think so. And you're just creating little apertures into your uh, into your uh, pages, just to make. Again, it's just to do different things with your look little books, mm -hmm. just to make them stand out. So we'll take these out of here. Just create those little windows. Pop them back. And by the way, if you missed the little books that we launched earlier, that was at two o'clock, wasn't it? Two o'clock this afternoon. You can watch that show back a bit later on. Brand new little books, three of them, only pay for two. And then I'm just going to add a couple of foam pads just so you can see. Pop that on there, layer the image back over the top, and then you've got that distressed background, but the perfect front, and it's just going to give you that that difference in style. So just line them up and you're just creating little windows. Now you could put a sheet of acetate behind there and create like shakers as mm -hmm. well, little shaker windows. That's another thing that your uh, nesting dies are absolutely perfect for. But th there's just, I could go on and on and on. There's just so many different things mm -hmm. you could do with them. Yeah, they'll be the most invaluable dies you've ever owned. If, you've, if you're a new crafter and you're thinking, okay, I, 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 I wanna buy stuff. I don't want to waste my money. I just want to buy stuff that I know I'm going to need now and in 10 years' time. Nesting dies. Nesting dies without a shadow of a doubt. Now, why, one of my favourites, I love the star. I love all of them, but I love the star in particular, and I love this. Because this, to me, now you've seen the Invitage and the Pyramage demonstrations from Cat. This opens a whole heap of possibilities. It could be a stained glass window at a church. It could be a doorway that leads into a castle. It could be um, a window in a ballroom. It could be literally anything you wanted it to be. It could be a tunnel of, you know, at Christmas time, sometimes places have the, um, the archways of lights and yes. you know, tunnels of lights that you walk through. It's a bit like that. It, it looks like it's a tunnel that's inviting you to walk into it. Or it could be a pyramid. So, yeah, these are in the lead because of their versatility. I mean, it's the most popular of uh, the whole show, yeah. Because I suppose it could be a door, it could be a window, it could be a gazebo, it could be really anything you want it to be. It's a, a lovely shape which you can find lots of uses for. And only 12 pounds and 49 pence, what will your arched window or door be? What would it lead into? You get 10 dies. It's one pound 25 each die. You know, when would you ever pay £1.25 for a die? Certainly dies that you're going to be using again and again and again. If you've already got the circles and the squares and the rectangles, you're thinking, OK, I want to treat myself to another one. I've got a budget of just £12. I want to treat myself to one, that one. 
treat yourself to that one. Well, or certainly treat yourself to the stars. The stars is another really versatile one. You can have lots of fun with uh, kids' cards and teenagers' cards as well with those if you're struggling. Because um, they always say guys' cards and teenagers' cards are the hardest to make. They do. If you've got a few stars, you're sorted, I think. Definitely. Those together, that'll be less than £25, both of those. And one P&P of just £4.95 for the whole day's orders. So if you've already bought maybe the little books that we showed you at 2 o'clock this afternoon, you don't have to worry about any more P&P for the whole day. Uh, right. Now, the Mylar. This has not been in stock since April this year. So four months, and we've got it back. It's, it's not a stencil as such until you die cut into it or you cut into it. Whether you're using dies to cut into it, whether you're using a cutting machine with your SVG files to let that machine do the cutting um, to make your stencils is entirely up to you. But it's a blank sheet of Mylar, but you get 10 sheets. 80p a sheet, whereas normally you buy one stencil for, say, say five, between five and eight pounds. Most stencils are between that. So here you can make 10 stencils. You decide what you want the stencil to be because you've got the dies or you've got the cutting files for eight pounds, 7.99, 80p a stencil. So it's saving your money on what you normally spend stencils for, buy stencils for, but also I suppose if you wanted to, you can make your own stencils and sell them. Yes. If you wanted to, mm -hmm. no Absolutely. problem with that. Yeah, I wouldn't think yeah. so. Letters of the alphabet, numbers. I mean, what would the first shape, if you were making your own stencil, what would the first shape you be using? I think I'd pair it with my nesting dies and do my basic nesting shapes. Right. Because um, you could do so much yeah, with them. The yeah, the stars, your hearts, your backgrounds. Like I said, your, your hexagons to do your honeycomb backgrounds. There's, there's so many different... Yeah. It's like picking favourite children. It's I mean, not let, let, <laughs> let's just say you were buying stencils at £5 each, and that's conservative. That's a really kind of cheap price. So that would be for 10 stencils, 50 quid. So if you... Because the dies, you've already owned them, you can then make stencils out of those without having to buy those. You've saved yourself basically £42 in what you'd have paid for stencils by buying the blanks. Makes sense. Now, the die-cutting book, that was another thing that we talked about. This hasn't been available since December last year, but I've got a real soft spot for Hunky Dory's books because they, they really do put a lot of time and, and, and effort and energy into the photography and into the projects that you can do. Die-cutting, we all know what die-cutting is. If, well, I say we all know. If you're a new crafter, maybe you don't. It's basically running a die through either a manual or electronic machine, and the die does the cutting for you. The dies aren't sharp, but the pressure of the machine does the cutting. So whether you're cutting cardstock, fabric, mylar, um, leather, whatever it might be, there's loads and loads of hints and tips. Look, there's that archway and that doorway window die there. Ways to use nesting dies. It will show you, I mean, I've been doing crafting telly now for years, and I dare say I'd flick through here and go, oh, I didn't know I could use a die like that. Because you've got the experts at Hunky Dory that give you, like Kat and Nat and Anne-Marie and everybody else, um, Pauline, uh, they give you all of their wisdom and, and um, inside info and make you see your tools and make you see your die-cutting machine in a totally different way. It doesn't matter whether you've got a manual one or electronic. No, not at all. No? no. It doesn't matter whether you buy prism dies or hunky dory dies or moonstone dies, sorry, or whether you buy um, Crafter's Companion, whether you buy Carnation, doesn't matter. All the thin dies work in the same way, and this book is going to give you loads of hints and tips. Nine ninety nine, it is today. Kat, thank you. Thank you. You've got another show later, yeah? We have, yes. Okay. Six. Back at six. Is that the little books again? It is. Okay, yes. so if you miss the little books at two, another chance to see them at six. Uh, we've got the Crafty Witches. Hayley's going to see you through the evening. I will see you back here tomorrow at five. Uh, enjoy the rest of the night with uh, Hobby Maker and uh, Hayley's on after this. Did you know at Hobbymaker that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. <laughs>
Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? today for the well the last four hours i'm here for the next four hours um and you are here for the next hour i am here for the next hour yes indeed how you doing Alice? i'm right? good thank you are you yeah very good a bit warm it is it is very <laughs> warm at the moment isn't it um and things got rather hot earlier on because new releases we were very busy i know we were so this is the august medley love it and we've got all sorts of goodies in this medley haven't we yeah we have so there are 12 kits and in each kit there are 12 pages so it's 144 downloadable a4 pages within the medley and each kit has got its own unique little style love it. so there's something for christmas and there's the cute ones there's the floral ones there's a bit of everything i love it and brilliant value for money because all of those 12 different kind of collections if you will coming to you for 14.99 and they're usually about three three fifty three ninety yeah they're three forty nine each 3 on our website yeah, yeah. So that is a lot you are saving a lot it's usually you'd be looking around 41 pounds to be able to get what you're looking at on your screen but you are not paying anywhere near that you're paying just 14 pounds and 99p now we're talking um at download so these are a little bit different potentially to usbs that you may have shopped for previously so when you do shop for these on the website it does look a little bit different to how you would normally shop for something like a digital usb so you've got a button and rather it's saying add to basket it says purchase you only have to click it once because that's an instant purchase and it means that those goodies all those gorgeous files will be on their way for you, to you with just one press it's not one of those situations where you add it to your basket and then you check your basket out so just be mindful that don't go clicking it half a dozen times because you'll end up with half a dozen <laughs> downloads and you only need the one yeah indeed <laughs> now beautiful collections all 12 of those with lo lots of other things we're going to be sharing with you but i think we'll have a little look at those just to get started indeed so what I've got here are the web images that we've printed onto A3, just so you can have a look. So everything that you will be getting will be A4 in Perfect. size. And they are all PDF files for you. So the first one we've got is Snuggle Buddies. Oh. I absolutely <laughs> love this one. So this is Christmas, 
but slightly different. So it's a winter themed one. You could use it for winter birthdays, not necessarily just for Christmas, but you'll see this beautiful coloring that we've got and you've got your little buddies there. So you've got the kitten and the puppy. You've got a really cool little jumper. In each of the collections, you've got four decorative papers. You've got two toppers, an insert, one set of the strip sentiments that we've got for you two decorative papers and two of your solid colours and Perfect. you've got those in each of the collections. That's a lot in each one of those, multiply that by 12, my goodness. Exactly, there's lots to be playing with. The next one is Precious Prickles. This <laughs> is all about these gorgeous hedgehogs. So again, you've got your two sentiments, you've got your insert and then you've got underneath that toad still there you've got your sentiments and of course you've also got decorative papers solids and you that one there i absolutely love i keep getting distracted with that i think if you printed that onto fabric it would just look glorious <laughs> then we've got poppy meadow and this is a real nod to bright summer days when you've got the poppies and the cornflowers Perfect. and the wheat and yeah. fields. Then we've got Mermaid Lovelies, and here you've got various different mermaids. You've also got an octopus, you've got some fish in there, you've got beautiful backgrounds. Then take it easy. I so love his I face. Know, look at his face. <laughs> he really is taking He's it easy. He's in a happy place. So you've got this really cool sloth who's just living his best life. You've got some beautiful background papers in here as well, which when you print them out, if you increase the size when you print them, you could actually turn those into floral embellishments oh, as well. Oh, okay. Very tropical look. I love them. It is lovely, isn't it? They're really nice, pretty mm. flowers, those ones. Then you've got floral romance. The colours in this one are absolutely beautiful. You've got roses. This is perfect for your Valentine's or your yeah, wedding cards. Absolutely. You've yeah. also got this really cute little teddy as well. Very so sweet. the cutest teddy bear. We're only halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> the final six are whimsical wild now here we've got these beautiful animals so there's puppy kitten there are owls and you've got lambs you've got horse you've got stags so lots and lots of different animals nice in mix here. of domestic and wild then in there, there I is, like yeah. it yeah home for christmas very scandy looking traditional christmas colors you've got these <coughs> beautiful little houses but you've also got these two here which i love You've got a poncettia and then you've got the hollyberry and the mistletoe there. Beautiful. You've got your reds and your greens that you would expect. Then Nativity Joy. Oh. I'm actually going to be doing a demo with Nativity Joy, so we'll have a look at that in depth. But you've got, as well as your normal toppers, we've also added in some of the collections. I've got the concept card toppers. Nice. So you've got that special shape there, so if you wanted to make a slightly different card. And again, you'll see this beautiful little angel. It's very whimsical, is that one. Then we've got Frosted Elegance, which is taking Christmas into the different colours. So okay. you've got your icy blues and your pine greens in this one. Nice. This paper is adorable. It's like, um, if you can imagine, like a vintage photo with a stormy yeah, sky yeah. image over the top of it. Lovely. Then we've got T for Two. Now T for Two, you've got a real contemporary style, but you've also got vintage in there as nice. well. You'll see those on the samples when we go through the samples. And then finally, Deepest Delights. And this is your nautical theme. So you've got the octopus, the crab, you've got the lighthouse there, and you've also got your cheeky little seagull. <laughs> they do like a prawn <laughs> sandwich as a seagull, but I'm not bitter. I've got over it. <laughs> Now, of course, the beauty is when you download these, all of these are put straight onto your account. It takes a little while, though, doesn't it? Because there's a lot there. So do be patient, yeah. but it will arrive and then you can start crafting with it the moment it arrives. So that is the joy. You can start getting creative as soon as it is there. Yeah. Now, talking about getting creative, we can use it in loads of different ways. We can use it on our laptop. Yes, can you can it. do. So there's no particular limit to what you can download it onto. If your device... If you can download things onto your device, this is PDF files, then you can use it. So I've got Android, so I can use my phone, I can use a tablet, a uh, laptop. So I've got Windows, you could use Mac, Chromebook, literally whatever you want to download it onto. If you, can, you need to be able to read your PDF files, so I always say get a free PDF reader. We, do, we would never expect that you'd buy one. So I just use the free Adobe, which I've installed onto my laptop and I've used, it's on my phone and on my, I just, I'll get the files wherever. Yes, yeah. And then um, my printer is just a basic home office printer. It's got an app. Mm -hmm. 
It's all, all sounds very technical, but it's not. It's literally, it means that I can print. If I'm sitting downstairs, looking at the files on my tablet, I can print them, the printer's upstairs. And to put it into context, if you are a little bit um, frightened, don't be. If you've ever had an email come through where you've had to print something off to sign and send on to somebody, that is literally yeah, receiving a PDF and printing it off. So you'll it have is. already done it probably anyway. Yeah, um, I think sometimes, and uh, us, us older ladies, we do tend to go, oh, we can't do that. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> of course we <laughs> can do it. Can. We can. So I've got my tablet here, and what I'm going to do is go into my files. So I've already downloaded this. These, because otherwise we'll be taking forever trying to download them. <laughs> but I've already downloaded them. And I have got, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, Nativity Joy. There it is. Now, can you see it says extract? Because mm. what happens when we send these to you, we suck all the air out of them mm -hmm. so they can get posted to you a bit quicker. They'll come down the ether a little bit quicker. That's a bit like those vacuum bags I've got in my loft. It is. That's exactly <laughs> what they like. All the so air. <laughs> when you get these onto your device, you need to unzip them. Uh -huh. And your device knows that it's a compressed zip file. So it'll say, do you want to extract it? And you just click can extract. You use that? Now, it gives you an opportunity to rename the file. I never okay. bothered with that because no. I know what it's called. It's, yeah. it's, it's it makes labeled. sense to keep yep. it as it is. Yeah. So click extract, and oh, then that's up. actually extracting all of the information. So it's unzipping it. And it's, okay. you know, it's like when you've been out for a lovely Chinese meal and your belt's a bit tight and you get over <laughs> and you go, do your button. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what this is. And then I can just tap on that and it opens it up. Now, as quick as all of that, it My is goodness. really quick. Wow. So, okay. all of these bits, ignore. You don't need those. What you're going to need is autoplay. Okay. So, tap on autoplay. This is now going to give you a lot of other things. Ignore everything apart from docs because you want to have a look at the documents. Like documents, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. So, tap on that. And now, can you see what happens? This is all opening Ooh. up. We've got a contact us, so if you need to get in touch with Crafty Witches for any reason, all the information's there. Our T's and C's, so it's your fair use policy, the angel policy. Okay. Now, our angel policy means that you can make and sell anything that you want to for your own personal profit, or if you want to give to charity, we're happy for you to do that. Okay. So, and that is for everything that we've got. Okay. Um, what we say, please don't use these within another program to manipulate colours or shapes or anything like that. We haven't got the licence for that. So we've bought licensed artwork, put it together with our treatment, and that's how we can offer this angel policy. We can make it larger or smaller with your printer, with it, can't Within you? the print option, yeah. Sure I'm going to go through all of that for you yeah. anyway. Um, so you'll see that you've got your papers. You've also got this one here. Let's have a look at that. So it's now going to say, what do you want to open it with? Well, I want to open it with my free Adobe Acrobat, so it's now going to open it up. Oh, look, every Aww. time it says, don't do that there, I don't want to install free trials and stuff. Just <laughs> ignore it. So that <laughs> is my this. insert. Okay. Now, let me just try and bring it down in size a little bit for you. There we go. So what I've done for my next demo is I've actually used a snapshot tool. Now, I've done this on the computer. And I've just snapshot that and um, that one. Okay. And I've changed the size. So when you snapshot something, it means you isolate that part of the image and that's all you're going to print. So it's almost like you've cut it out of a big yeah. sheet. Okay, yeah. fair um, enough. Dave said it's digital scissors. Which that's I a good way of that's putting a good it. Way. Yeah, yeah. But say you want to print that, you're going to go to your three little dots at the top and then it gives you a lot of different things. Print. Now, it's saying my printer's not available. That's because it's... Back home. Miles and miles away. <laughs> but normally, it'd come into my print page, and I'd press print, and then I'm ready to go. So that is, is how easy it is. And then I could go to something else. What do I want to have a look at? I want to have a look at this one. So again, I'm going to open it up with Adobe. Oh, and here please. you'll see oh, you've wow. got your beautiful topless look. You've got a who doesn't want sheep choir? It's beautiful. You've got a choir of sheep. See, that'd sit beautifully like in a, if you were doing something like a, a shaker card or a snow globe or something like that. I think so mm. as well. And I also think that this is perfect if you want to get the little ones crafting yes. during the summer, making all their Christmas cards in yeah. advance. Aww. And that one. And look at the cows. Oh, but adorable. that one in particular, I absolutely adore that one. And I have used that one in my demo. I'm going to really show you how 
if you also that. the one with the cows you could use that all year round I mean that'd make a lovely little kind of baby birth card exactly it bit, has yeah. got that look to it hasn't it mm. so this would be perfect if you wanted to print onto fabric you could make this one larger print it onto fabric and then go in and make a little bag or yeah. a little hanging decoration if you wanted to so many different ways no just go i mean yeah because it's you can print on so many different things can't you? exactly um now right. i will warn you it has been very very popular and i can see lots of people getting involved in this hour as well um beautiful thing is it's a download though so you can get hold of it um and uh, we've got ready supply of those so no sh um, shortage so it is one of those situations that you just you just get it and you'll have loads of fun with it um now what else <coughs> have we got there to show right us? so what i've done is i've printed out some comparisons so I've printed, this is Snuggle Buddies, and I've printed this at 100%. So this is what it's going to look like when you print it out normally. Okay. So you click print, and this is what it's going to look like. Perfect, yeah. Then you can change the size of it within a, within your PDF reader. Okay. So in the custom oh, scale, okay, right. I've chosen 75%, so I've reduced the size of it. Perfect. So that was the original. Yeah. And it's going to so be a bit smaller. See how much smaller I've made it. Yeah. But then you can also print it even smaller. Oh, wow. So I've printed it at 50%. So if you're wanting to make really small cards or even gift tags to yes, match your cards, yeah. you've got the opportunity to do also, that. Also, there's a lot of additional things that you can do besides just printing oh, straight yeah, off. Yeah. Next, I've taken a snapshot. So here's that little kitten. Oh. That's the actual size, which is that oh. one. Okay. So I've printed that. It's actual, Got you. Where Sorry, is it? it's that, that one. one. Sorry, that's yeah. Page, so yeah. that's the actual size. That's at hundred percent. Yep. So I've done the snapshot. I am going to talk you through the snapshot tool, and then I've printed it at two hundred percent. Oh wow! Gosh, you've not lost any detail. There's at no all. detail lost because the PDFs that we use that we send to you are the same as if we were sending them to a professional printer to have papers okay. made. So that's at two hundred percent. But then I've done fit. So you've got an opportunity within your print to do a fit. So it will fit, fit to the page. page. Right. Now, I've only got an A4 printer. Some people have got A3 printers. Yeah, yeah. So you can go as big as you want, really. Wow. Then I've got the papers. So these are the fancy papers. I've printed at 100%. They look really cool. But then I've printed oh, at 300%. Yeah. I love that. Alex just said it's perfect. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh dear Alice. And then <laughs> I've, oh, look I've at printed this. onto some fabric. So this is just printable cotton that I've bought and it comes on a carrier sheet. Mm -hmm. You just peel it off once you've printed it. So there's printable fabric and also think about your vellums as well, yeah. especially at Christmas. It's nice to have a bit of vellum, isn't it? And that's Beautiful. just printed onto vellum. Love it. Absolutely so just to love give it. you a few ideas, different things that we can do with it. I love it. Now, as you get yourself ready, I've got a beautiful array of different finished samples to share with you. Shall I go through some of these and show you some of the gorgeousness that you could be creating? So first of all, we've got some examples from um, the team creating using the Snuggle bunny, uh, Buddies. And with this one, you can see a fabulous little shaker card. We do like a shaker um, card. Incidentally, if you like sequins, tune in at 8 o'clock. I've got a fabulous hour of bargains and we've got a wonderful bumper bunder bundle um look at this one oh that's <laughs> lovely for anybody who's a, a bit of a student i mean it's nothing specifically christmas around that one it could be a case that you're using it for somebody who's going off to study university it, it literally could be couldn't yeah. it because there's no like you say that it's more of a winter than a christmas absolutely buddies. um this is nice one because you kind of almost got lots of different elements coming together and some kind of decoupage elements on there as well beautiful so those are from the snuggle buddies don't forget you've got um 11 more collections so i'll speed through these quite um, quickly you've got your poppy meadows um so you can create your straightforward cards if you're wanting to using other things that you've got in your stash maybe things like your die cuts maybe you want to use things like your fancy folds well you can do so very very easily so all those techniques that we know and love well you can use those as well and again here using maybe bits of um, cardstock that you've got left over from your print um love the poppies at the front they aren't they house, beautiful don't they look gorgeous absolutely glorious realism is amazing with those. <coughs> then of course we were looking at the little nativity joy just a few moments ago and this is a beautiful one showing all the different elements so you've got your backgrounds there you've got your toppers you've got your fabulous um, sentiment there as well then we've got something that's incredibly creative you wait till you see this one this is a proper wow card so so beautiful look at that 
That is gorgeous. amazing. On Friday, I did a Facebook Live and sat for an hour showing every single sample that our clever team it's have made. Beautiful. That video is now on YouTube. Okay. So if you'd like to go and have a look at it. You can go in and watch you that. You can go and have a look at that. There. And I must show you this as well. How do we find the YouTube channel? Um, if you just search for Crafty Witches. Okay, fair enough. Look at this, the bunting. Isn't that clever? Is that? Oh, the design team have had a load of fun with this, I can tell. And that is just, if you printed out your toppers all at the same size. I love it. And these could be individual little cards, couldn't they? Mm -hmm. I used to like doing little boxes of cards around Christmas time yeah. for the, the Christmas Perfect fairs. for gifts as yeah. well. Now, this one is that Frosted Elegance. And the Frosted Elegance, you've got that gorgeous kind of bluey hue. Look at all these cards. My goodness. That is got all so sorts of different stars in here. It? That is a beautiful look. Yeah. Maybe a more mature look. And we've been looking at kind of the, the kind of children, um, simplistic styles, should we say. Um, Wendy's created a beautiful card here again with your fancy folds in there. Again, you've got the elements of nature featuring in this one as well, with that nod to winter mm -hmm. as well. So we've been looking at, have we looked at four different collections there now? We did that one, we've done that one, we've done mm -hmm. that. Is that three? Yeah, I think That's it is three. four. Um, uh, where am I? Frosted elegance. We did the poppies. We did the nativity. Poppies. We've oh, done yeah, the, it's the fourth yeah. one. Now we've got the sloth. Do I go on and show you more, or should we have a little look at it on the computer? Because obviously we've got. I've kind of done. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, I've done a third now because yes. I've done four. So yeah. we can come back and look at the next set of ones maybe after we had a little look on the computer. Cool. Okay, so. If you've got Windows, then you've got interface to use because there's an interface that works with Windows. Okay. And that's for each kit. So what I've got here are the 12 collections. Lovely. They've all been unzipped. And I want to show you Nativity Joy because I want to show you how I've managed to make the demo that I'm going to do. So double click. Now, when you're looking on Windows, you want the disk icon. So if you double click on that, this is going to open up the interface. Oh, look at this. And it's so simple to navigate, a single click, enter, and Ooh. you'll see now you've got all your toppers, you've got the insert, you've got the sentiments there. Click on the next cauldron, and then you've got all of your papers. Lovely. Next, you've got the two papers that are your essential papers you've also got the two solid colors so that is within that collection but I want to go back so you can see how easy it is to navigate yeah. and I want to open up my insert okay so this is opening up in Adobe now remember what I was saying about um, using a snapshot tool oh yes you did yes now, if I wanted to, to use this as it is let me just Close that little button oh, there. Those, those pesky little messages I know. that pop up. If you go to print, that is how it's going to print. Okay. So okay. that's as an A4 sheet. That's as your A4 sheet. But what I want to do is I want this here. Okay. So if you go into your menu, those three lines at the top left hand, mm -hmm. drop down to undo, redo and more. Okay. And then scoot across and drop down to take a snapshot. Okay. Now you're going to get... Oh, it's like a little cursor. Yeah, so you've got your little crosshairs there, which you can then drag around what you want to isolate. Okay. It says the selected area has been copied. Okay. Go to print. <gasps> no. That's all it's going to print. So it's like that your digital so scissors. Clever. And then you can go to custom scale. And if I do 150%, Make it's it going to make it, yeah. Oh, wow. But if I wanted to do it so it filled the whole page, whilst it's not a rectangle, it's not going to fill the A4. Yeah. It's going to fill most of it. So it kind of cakes, takes it the best way that it can yeah, to fill it, the space. Yeah, it keeps that aspect ratio the same, so nothing's stretched or warped. Okay. But if I go back to custom scale, if I actually wanted to make that smaller, mm. then I can do. So let's go to 75%. Okay. Can you oh, see? look at that. So it's your little card. So it would make yeah. it smaller as well. So within each collection, you've got all these opportunities to use My different goodness. elements of them. 
So we started off, what did you say? It was 144 <coughs> pages. 144. Well, now it's almost if you like just printed, infinite, isn't it? Exactly. If you with printed it like them that. once, it would be 144 pages. Just as it is. Just as it is. A4. Yeah. So start doing it at yeah. A5. Start doing your snapshots. Yeah. All these different things add to that exactly. 144. 14.99. That's all you're paying for this. Phenomenal. And <coughs> you've got 12 different kind of collections within there as well. So this is only one mm -hmm. of them. So if you multiply it up, you can see just how useful it is to have. And this is the beauty. And also as well, it's kind of all kept in a safe place. So it's kept on your account. You can add it to your computer if you wanted to or your, your um, tablet, however you store um, everything. But then you can come back to it when you need to print it off. So it's not like you have to print everything off. Like you say you had a paper pack with one sheet of everything in there. That's a lot of paper to start with. But then it starts getting dog-eared, doesn't it? And you start putting it away, and it's like, where did I put it? Now, you know, you can go straight yeah. to your tablet, straight to your computer, and print off a nice, fresh sheet whenever you need it. Well, the thing is, if you've got a paper collection and there are two inserts in it, mm. you've, you're have you stuck to the size of that mm. that's already printed, that's and true. you've only got two. Yeah. Now, I've used two, but I've made them slightly bigger. So you have got the opportunity to take elements of each yeah. page yeah. to do what you wish with. And sometimes people think <coughs> that when you're doing a little bit of digital crafting, it's taking away your creativity. It's not, it's adding it's not. to it because it it's is. giving you more scope. It yeah. actually, it makes my brain work more because I'll think, what can I do with something yeah. else? How can I do something slightly different? Yeah. Um, you can use it just to print and cut out and stick down. You don't have to Simple go to town, yeah. but you've got the opportunity to do that and if I'm you want to. Yes, you're not wasting anything because you, you look at it on the screen. If you're not happy with it, then you kind of say, well, delete. Yeah. <laughs> you don't and have the to amount work. of times that I've printed something out and I've thought, actually, I'm not going to use that. It go, turn it over, put it back in the printer because I'm using really good quality paper to yeah, print, which, it's, loads of, which yeah. we'll talk about later. It doesn't print through the back Perfect. either, so I, I will. You, it's often times you'll see me turn something over to put glue on it. It's like, where's that come from? <laughs> Don't know, but I didn't use it. I'm reusing the page. <laughs> so this is how the insert looks. Now my printer doesn't print borderless, so there's always a border on it. I think that's a standard thing, isn't I it? I think for a home it pretty printer, much yeah. is, yeah. But what I've done is I've actually I've been very clever and drawn around and said that's 150 percent. So that's how big. I've made it, and that one I've reduced to 65%. Ah, oh, so it's a bit like your recipe <clears> card there. <laughs> I know. And then, can oh, you see, if that. I bob them next to the images, oh, wow. you can actually <laughs> see that. Because sometimes you look at the representation on the laptop, it's not always easy to yes, see. Yes, that's true. So you've got a visual here. So that's 150%. And that is 65. Oh, that's so sweet. Because I thought that she, she'd be nice floating up here somewhere. Yeah. Right. And then... The other thing that I've done, that's at 100%. And then these little fellas, I have reduced to seven. I've written it down because oh, I've got a memory, like I said. <laughs> it's me age. Oh. That's 75%. So you use your so, snapshot and yeah. just printed that off. Yeah, I only wanted that one, so I've okay. reduced the size of it. So I just printed that. Any excess paper, because it's really good quality paper, I can use it for my stamping mm -hmm. or inking or and I think whatever. sometimes when you actually take it, you reduce the size, but you increase the quantity. I think it yes. can fill the page with them, can't it? So you get more yeah. than one as well. Right, what's next? Right then, so I've made a card base. I can't remember what size this one is. Nice size I think there. it's just below an 8 by 8 Okay. Okay, where's my glue? There it is. This is one of the decorative papers. I love that. That would be lovely for a gift bag or anything. It would be, it? wouldn't yeah. it? That would look amazing for boxes and yeah. gifts and stuff. And all year round again. Yeah. That's the thing, because whilst the subject, uh, they're little ones, you've got the grown-up element yeah. here as well. So I changed my mind about just using a solid colour in the background. I thought, mm -hmm. no, do something different. Yeah, I like it. Then there's, I printed at 150%, I printed two of them. Okay. So here's the base one that I'm going to do. Add my glue to the back. And I've just got some white paper because I just want to create a little frame. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Through there. And I've got white in the background there, so I thought that looked quite nice. Looks but you yeah, see, there, I told you. You. <laughs> didn't there you go. There you go. That one. <laughs> There's one that actually I didn't want. How it started. 
this is my brain. How it started, I'm going to make those larger and we're going to have... And then I thought, no, well, changed my mind. But the thing is, you, you do, don't you, experiment and like you said, yeah. it gets you thinking. It's almost like puzzling, how do I get it to what I want it to be? Exactly. I just thought, no, I'm bored doing that. I want to make this yeah, one. That's a lovely card just in its own right, isn't it? I mean, if you go buying um, Christmas cards, that's the style that you would see, isn't it? Something yeah. just, just an image, a beautiful image. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do any more if you don't want to. No, what you could do, I know a lot of us have got dies, haven't we? So mm -hmm. if you've got like a, one of those fancy dies that's a star, you could just bob that on there with yeah, a bit of sparkle. Absolutely. Yeah. And that would be, you know, when you, you pay quite a lot for boxed handmade cards. Yes, yeah. um, they're not handmade, they're hand finished. There's yes. a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you'd never see me buying Christmas cards. <clears throat> like most years because <laughs> it, because it's suddenly oh it's december and i've literally made none <laughs> oh bless you i know mind you something like this you, you could do them quite speedy quick couldn't you really so yeah print off your little craft kit and away you go uh, what i'm actually doing is all the all the christmas cards that i'm making for my demos and for any facebook lives i'm squirreling away don't blame you <laughs> <laughs> so here's my little angel 65 percent size i've added some 3d foam behind and I've just curved the wings and she is going to be around about there. How adorable. And then my three wise men are just going to be hanging around about there. I love that hanging around. Loitering. <laughs> Loitering, yeah. And then I've got a sentiment, have a happy Christmas. This is from the sentiment strip. Added some white card behind it just so it, it ties in with this white Perfect board here. Colour, yeah. And then where shall I pop that? I think I'm gonna pop that around about oh that's nice, yeah. There. Like it there, yeah. There. And then you could add sparkles to it, you could have some glitter, you could have some gems. Entirely up to you what you do with it. But, but you know what? I quite like that. I just quite like it. Once quite you've plain. got the, the investment of your, your download, <coughs> that's a very economical card to make. Well, it is. I mean, this, you could make it smaller if you wanted yeah. to. I've, mm. I've made it larger because I like the size of it. But there's nothing to say that you have to have it that big. Like I said, you can actually go smaller as well if you want to. I love it. I'm going to let you get ready for your cool. next demo. I'm going to show you some more of those cards because we've got another um, eight collections to share with you. I think this face is my favourite. Absolutely adorable. I mean, look at that. And I love the floral content that you've got around. Mm -hmm. But what is better than one meerkat? Two meerkats who are in love. Look at that. Oh, they're sloths. Sorry, they sloths. are sloths, not meerkats. He did look a bit like a meerkat, the way that he's popped up, didn't he? <laughs> but yeah, um, actually, yes, because of the, the kind of mask that they've got. Uh, and definitely in keeping with the style, isn't it? They're very zen. Absolutely adorable. Love it. Then we've got another fabulous collection for you, Floral Romance. And in your Floral Romance, this is where we see that beautiful little bear appearing with all of your beautiful flowers. Again, mm. That's actually, is key. Yeah, that's actually one of the inserts. And what Ian's done is used that in the middle of the card rather than using it inside the card. And then just add decoupage the teddy on. He's actually one of the toppers. Okay. So use a topper as an embellishment like I did with the wise men. Beautiful. A few little sparkles there, as you can see. Um, floral romance, absolutely beautiful. And also, if you wanted to do your, um, your stylized cards as well, I mean, have a look at this one here beautiful gorgeous folds in there as well absolutely beautiful um again um larger cards smaller cards you decide how you're wanting to put these together using your dies alongside them as well exactly that's actually one of our concept toppers i call them concept toppers because it's not just a circle or a square it's actually got a design to it and there is a hexagonal one that's also on that sheet as well oh. so you've got different toppers throughout the collections i love it um and then we go on to our whimsical wild and look at the little face on this <laughs> one <laughs> absolutely <laughs> adorable it's so cute. the artwork is so beautiful um, so you've got a mixture of different kind of animals featuring yes. within this collection. Um, this one here, you've got a lovely and uh, horse riding, such a, an amazing hobby mm. for so many young people, isn't it? But then you've got a mixture of the cat and the bird featuring there as well. You've got little dogs featuring in that collection too as well. Beautiful papers, fabulous sentiments, and a nice collection of colours that will kind of transfer over to the other collections too as well. When I look at that sentiment, it certainly wouldn't have, look out of place with the T for two, even though it's come from a different collection, because the colour 
colour palettes are just so beautiful. They kind of meander from one mm -hmm. to the other. Um, and again, they're lovely little phrases with these lovely little sentiments. And the opportunity maybe to make a gift bag or two, which is adorable. I love that. And you've got that little kind of press stud there. So have we got anything in there? <gasps> No. no. Oh, never mind. No. Never That's mind. That's our Wendy. We're, Wendy, we 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 obviously need things in packages. <laughs> we are we are open to brides. <laughs> um, and this is another lovely one. And um, this is using the home for Christmas. So moving on to the home for Christmas again. Beautiful styles, perfect from our house to yours. I think you'll agree with this one, which is adorable. You could add a little bit of faux snow and all sorts, couldn't you, if you wanted yeah, you to? Yeah, you can do. I need some of that faux snow because I had some and it's gone all thick. Oh, we had a good deal the other day on the Crafters Companion Show. Yeah, I don't know if we've still got it around. Um, so beautiful homes. That's almost like a, a Christmas movie style home, isn't mm. it, that one? Beautiful. Then we're going off to the seaside. And this is one you made earlier on, I believe. Uh, no, I didn't make that one. There was It's one similar. Oh, I see. I think fair it's the, the one after the next. Oh, uh, fair enough then. That was with Dave earlier on, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Yeah. Previously. I love his little faces here as well. And I've learned something as well. Okay. This is called a side stepper. Oh, okay. oh because of the little stepper. Yeah, I've only been crafting for very long time <laughs> and I, I don't you see I don't know what card's called every day is a school day I know. Um, and again coming from the deepest delights you've got this beautiful yeah, that's card the one that's, I did earlier. that's a lovely card um, keeping that kind of seaside theme going we're going a little bit deeper into the ocean here with the beautiful mermaid lovelies and this is a beautiful card not only on the outside but also on the inside utilizing one of the inserts which is gorgeous you've got lovely coral colors I and, love and the blues. they work so well it's together kind of like the rainbow colours it is absolutely it they, gorgeous yeah. beautiful um so again absolutely gorgeous just as a, a little folded card but then i've got another one with some fancy folds in um showing that you can get truly creative with these and have loads of fun beauty is because you've got a craft kit you can print it off as often as you like exactly and so then, if you wanted to decoupage like 20 toadstools all on top of each other <laughs> right down to the last dot you can do because we don't set a limit on how many times you can print them out I love it. And we're down to the last card there from Precious Pickles, the last of those 12 collections there as well. Mary, I couldn't agree more. It really is down to those finished samples. It makes our life so much easier. Thanks, Mary. So thank you to all of the design team as well. So there we go. So that gives you kind of like a soupçon, if you will. There's a little bit of each one of those collections, but do check out on social media um, because you'll be able to see all the others um, mm. on there and your Facebook indeed. Live as well. Yes, so indeed. That's not the only collection we're sharing with you today because we've got a little bit of junk journaling going on we have so i'm going to show you the boards to start off with now the junk journal is 74 a4 pages okay and you've got different covers to choose from so different colors color themes throughout so you've got purples you've got the beige you've got this gorgeous it's it's um Dave said it's a bit like a William Morris print Actually, yes, in the is, background. Yeah, You've also got tags that go on that one. You've got your essential papers that match with the colour of the theme and you've got your solid colour as well. You've also got alphabets in each of these colours. Then next, we've got pages. So there's two in each theme. So like these two match together. So you've nice, got a front and a yeah. back. You've also got the tabs on them. I am actually going to do a demo to show you how to put it together. But there are full written instructions which come with this. Perfect. So you'll be able to see for yourself anyway. Oh, Next, geez. we've got duo pages. Now, duo pages, when you print them out, all you need to do is just score down the middle and they fold in. So if you like making star books, yes. these would be fabulous. Yeah, I, that was one thing years and years ago. I just used to make so many of those they're, star books. Yeah, they were just always very and, dramatic. Yeah, I know. I was, I was all forever making those. And you'll see the theme. You've got the, the Nouveau ladies. You've got the poppies. You've got um, some dragonflies and butterflies. So those are your duo pages. Then you've oh, got your wow. patterns. So all of these are your patterned pages. Then you've got some words. You've got like postcard style. You've got words that are in uh, like cartouche and then some that have got straight edges. And then you've also got all of these extra elements. So you've got like your, your distressed edges. Like those. Ooh, then wow, you've these? got envelopes. You've got pockets. You've got page tabs, tags, 
extra little elements there with your, your butterflies and your dragonflies. You've got flowers, you've got the pearls oh, there. Okay. You've also got all of these like little ticket shapes. There is so much to play with. Beautiful. Now, what I tend to do is I'll print out absolutely everything that I think I'm going to need and a couple of extras. Just in case. Just in case, because you never know. Sometimes you might need some more stuff. I Let me it. turn that over so I've got a plain background. Now, how does it all come together? Well, we'll see how it comes mm -hmm. together with the demo, but this will give you an idea. Um, so this has got a beautiful, beautiful cover to it, beautiful incised pages, and then all of the pages are featuring the little pockets and the little inserts yeah. that we've just been looking at. So there's all the ephemera, really, yeah. that you can start to fill up. But you can add your own stuff to it as well, because obviously we're giving you the bones of it so you can pad it out with whatever you want. So if you wanted it, you know, a trip to a museum and you've got tickets and photos and... If you want to make it as an album or if you want to make one and leave it blank oh, and sell it, that's then a good idea you can as well. do as well. But quite often, if you buy a, a paper kit, you, you kind of got to really, really judge what you're going to be using and where because mm. sometimes you can't do double page spreads because you haven't got multiples of pages exactly. and things like that. When you're printing them from a download, then you can print them off as, as much as or as little as you need. And if you suddenly find mm -hmm. halfway through that you need another paper, then you can just go off and print well, another one. That happened to me when I was making mine. I'd actually got enough of the larger size butterflies and dragonflies, but I wanted some smaller ones. So I just printed them at 50%. Yeah. So I've got I little bet. embellishments to go with the larger ones. And then what what Yed has done here is actually made a little book like to a little keep cards in. Set, so, yeah. um, some of the girls have been making cards with these, so not just for making books. Gorgeous. Now, what I did was printed that out at 100%. So this is my book. I've used Distress Ink because, you know, I love Distress Inks. I don't like white edges. I like the, the vintage feel. So this is my book, which we're actually going to go through. Now, when you come to stick it together, always start at the back so you can add to it. If you start okay. at the front, it's more difficult. Fair enough. But that will become apparent when we Good put advice. it together. Okay. But I thought, well, that's at 100%. What if? Because I used to spend my life making star books and little books and stuff like that. So I printed it at 75%. Now, all I've Good. done is just printed the front and the back cover. Okay. So that's at 75%. So you can see already yes hmm. that's you start not thinking bad. about the scope going smaller going exactly. larger if you've got an a3 printer and then oh, i've gone down look. to 50 percent now i think about 30 percent would be the smallest that you'd be able yes. to go to for it to be manageable yeah i think any smaller than that it would be a little bit fiddly if you like doing things like your shadow boxes and things like that you could actually do a small one not necessarily with pages in it but mm -hmm. it looks like a library then exactly so you could actually you could have these is like little books on a shelf yeah. or, or something like that. Now, what I've done, like I said, these are just printed and then stuck together. Okay. What I've done with my actual one that I'm working on is I've printed some of the fancy paper and stuck it inside. Okay. So I've printed out two pages, stuck them together, so I've now got, that was 250 and 200 so it's GSM. Kind of so so it, yeah. it's making it a bit thicker and it's also covering up the join right. in the middle as okay. well. So I've added an extra bit there and then that's the bit on the back. One got of the you. pockets I've put into the front. So it's okay. got all my extra little bits and bobs that I've already prepared. So shall we do a demo? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a demo. Right, I'm going to move those out of the way because I'm going to get inky. Okay. So, and you know what happens, I always end up getting an awful mess. <laughs> There's Half no the such fun. thing as me being a neat crafter. Right then, so let me move that out of the way. Okay, so what I've got, don't forget there are full instructions with this. Absolutely, yeah. I've already got the pages cut out. So this is the, these are the two pages. Okay. And you'll know the pages because they've got these. The duo pages that we've called them are like that so there's no tabs on those no there's nothing on them and you're literally going to score down the middle and then fold it in okay now you could put lots of different duo pages together mm -hmm. and have them opening together or you could do this so what i'm going to do to start off with is just bob around the edge with a little bit of ink lovely just to kind of give it its own little feature yeah because i like i said when i'm making a book i don't want white edges mm -hmm. we've I'm saying we, that's the royal we. Becky has even given you little score lines. Fabulous. So you can score it. So it's a really, really simple, easy way to start making books. If books are something that you've thought, oh, no, it looks a bit difficult, 
actually do this because this is a really easy way to get into making books. Okay. So we've got the score line. I'm going to fold that in on itself, mm -hmm. like so. And then what I want to do is I want that to go into the centre. And then I'm going to fold that over so it's holding onto it. Okay. And then that is going to go over the top and stick down. And that is going to be the bit that goes in the book. So that's the bit that attaches yeah. to the cover. Okay. So do it in stages. Good advice. And always check that you've got it the right way up because I'm forever putting them in upside down. <laughs> now, we have got a wide range of uh, different kind of papers and card. And you refer to, is it 250 GSM? Yes. So for, for bits like this, I'm going to use 250 for the base okay. part. And then if I'm using a strengthener, you could use another 250. But I use 200 because that was what was in the printer at the time. Okay. So I'm going to line that up. Love where it. I want it to go and then if you stand it up and tap it that's going to be in the right position okay. and then that is going to go over the top and I'm just going to hold that in place while that sticks just give it a few moments to grab yeah and then give it a flip press it down like so and then I've got my front cover so what I don't want to do is add glue in the wrong place okay. so I'm going to glue there because I know that I'm not going to over glue it. It's good advice. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, good tip. So we'll just add some more glue to that. And then I'm going to line that up where I want it to go. Tap it down so I know that that's going to be nice and flush. And then press. And then I'm going to flip it over and press through that side as well. And then I'm going to open it up and just make sure that that's nice and stuck okay so that's ready brilliant it's ready that's, to decorate that's so true. even the way you've explained it there it's brilliant it is really easy and then just going to fold that over so i've got a flatter surface to work on then i've got some bits and bobs that i've already prepared so can you see how the, some of these elements yes yeah they work here so this has actually got this edge i've just gone in with my scissors and cut it and then edged it with a bit of distress ink Lovely. And then that's one of my butterflies. These are it's, and then this is the one printed. Oh, the different uh, sizes. Yeah. Then I've got circles. I've got all this, so you can then oh. really start to go to town. Yeah. I, won't, I won't take too much time because I know we're running short. We are running short, and we have got another collection. We've got the teals that we need to chat about. I know. Well. So just to stick, stick in place. This in. Get your glue. Now, I like using a wet glue because it gives me that little bit of wiggle time okay. if I do bob it in the wrong place. But if you prefer to use a red line tape or a double-sided tape, just add little dots of glue on it so you've got a bit of a squidge time for it. Yeah, then I'm going to line that up where I want it to go. Make sure that it's not overlapping that next page. So you don't want it to go beyond the fold, I guess, yeah. to put the next one. And then, once I've got it where I want it, I can fold it back and then press it down. And that is going to stick in there, like that. Then we'll give it another press. And then that's my next page done. That is amazing. And that's why I said work from the back. Yes, yeah, it makes sense <laughs> now, yeah. Because you can line the back up. Yeah. And then everything's lined And up I haven't there. filled every page. What I've done is I've just gone through, I've, I've put pockets on there, added little bits of ephemera, and then so there cute. again, you'll see all of the ephemera that you've got. It's absolutely wonderful. Isn't that dragonfly, cool. how stunning Gorgeous. is that? I mean, the artwork throughout is amazing, so you, mm. you can't fail to I especially love beautiful. this one. I've got to mention this. Can you see? It's, it's, um, it's I think it's something about Norwegian kings and stuff and it okay. says the duke of grim duke of right. grim i call my husband grim because his name's graham so grim. <laughs> grim is his nickname and when i saw that i thought oh i've got to use that I'm like. <laughs> and then of course you can just go in and decorate it and fill it up how you want it That's and all my little extra bits and bobs that i've not used i've got that handy envelope there pop and i can just pop them in and use them again and of course like i said you can actually resize this so if you've got an a3 printer yeah you can go big absolutely <laughs> i mean can you imagine putting your photos in as well absolutely it would be gorgeous, beautiful wouldn't yeah. it 
That's beautiful, Helen. Thank you so much. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of this one as a download, twelve ninety nine is all that you're going to pay, and it's an instant purchase, as we spoke of previously. So you're not going to add it to your basket like uh, you do with your traditional items, things like the paper and card that we've got on the show. Your instant purchase, purchase, you just press once, it'll automatically apply to your account, and you will get um, that notification that it's ready for you to download. Now, because you've got so much content, just give it a little moment to actually add to your computer and your account. Um, and then you can start crafting with it. And if you're not too sure how to do that, then do go back to the beginning of the show um, or speak to our call centre. Everybody's had a train, everybody knows how it works, but it's so, so simple. If you've opened an email and you've opened a form, as I say in the past, that you've had to sign or send off or read, then you have already um, learned how to download those PDFs so you won't have any issue at all with any of the Crafty Witches downloads. So I'm gonna leave those details with you as we go on to the last collection for today, which is a beautiful teal collection, which I know we love our teals. Gorgeous colour. One of the most popular colours, I think, when you I think so, yeah, and it's a proper summer colour as mm. well. It always and it sets the tan off lovely just teal <laughs> just saying i've got a lovely turquoise top that i wear when i'm on holiday because okay. i never look particularly brown being a fair english rose <laughs> turquoise really sets your tan off that's just it i'm so. changing the entire wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> right then so i'm going to start off this one is iris dawn so there are three different colors and each one has got 30 pages so you've got 90 in total wow Starting off with your positives and your negatives. So here are your essential papers. So we've got different size polka dots. You've got large, medium, and then a dot dot. You've got thick stripes, thin stripes. You've got a gingham. And then you've also got your negative gingham and your positive gingham. You've got a checkerboard, which I love. And don't forget, you can resize these. So mm. you could go large. Ooh. You've got a solid color. Then you've got your flowers, your hearts, your stars, and your flourishes. Then loads and loads of sentiments. So with your sentiments, you've got lots and lots of different ways that we call mum, mummy, mom, mama, that kind of thing, grand, Standard grandfather. Yeah. Well, yeah. In positive and negative. So you can add your colours into these if you want to, add ink around the edge. And you've also got all of your greetings. So it's your day, I'm proud of you, get well soon. So you've got your strip sentiments, but you've also got these lovely greetings. Have a happy birthday, love always, just for you, sending lots of love. Perfect for your outside and your inside of your cards. Wonderful. And then you've also got your alphabets. And don't forget, you can snapshot them and enlarge them. And what I did with, I think it might have been the greys that we did, I isolated one of the letters enlarged it to fit and printed it onto fabric and it was the center of a monogram for a pillow oh wow so think about the different mediums that you can print onto really? as well so that is the first one the next one is i can't remember the names more of a greeny tone this one isn't it is it? Yeah. yeah have i missed one it's that like i've got different thicknesses of paper here i don't know whether i'm coming or going there it is oh there you go right so this is slightly darker. That was the middle one. I should have started off with this one. Right, so this is Jade Jewel. Lovely. So you can see, again, exactly the same in this one, same designs, but different colour. And you can see how beautifully it works together. Oh, and then that one ways, yes. is the cloudy sky. So you yeah. can see everything yes. goes perfectly together. So let me beautiful. hold it like that. There we go. That gives you a better representation yeah. of it. And then you've got this lovely greeny one as well. It's like sea glass. That yes, one reminds yeah. me of sea glass. And the beauty is if you, you need any of these uh, colours, like a teal tone, you can just go straight to this download when it's on your, your computer or exactly. whatever, and print off what you need. It's, like, you need it's it. like a little comprehensive library of everything because we've got so many different colours in the Spellbinding Classics now. You can just literally go to them, pick out whatever you need. I like using these, I print them out, and then I die cut them and I use them to make flowers. Yeah. Because I love the fact that I've got all of these different colours. I've got flowers there in a box ready to use with yeah. something else yeah. should I want to. Because if I bring in the, just this one, the junk journal, can you see already that's starting? Yeah, that's going to work with everything, yeah. It's going to work with these. Absolutely, yeah. So if I wanted some dotties to go in here yeah. or some maybe some sentiments they're going to work perfectly so these go with everything that you've already got in your stash 
Brilliant and very, very affordable, £8.99. So, yeah, definitely one to consider. And they are um, downloads that you can collect as well. So maybe you've already got the grey. If you didn't know the grey existed, then I'm sure you'll be able to find that. Um, and all the other colours that um, I'm sure it will have come with those as well. So that is the beauty. You've basically got almost like a craft shop on your computer for you to print off the different components as and when you need it. But you're going to need quality paper. And this is something that's really important because we it always is. think you need a big fancy pants printer. And that well, used to not the case. No. Um, it used to be many years ago when, when digital crafting first started that you needed that higher resolution. Mm. But because we've given you the PDFs, that resolution is already there. Yeah. So that means that what it's now down to is what you're printing on to. And to get a really crisp image, you're going to need something decent to print on to. So we Look have got... That. My goodness. <laughs> We've got, this is uh, the brick. <laughs> I can understand why it's called the brick. It's yeah, very heavy. It's, it's hefty. <laughs> now you've got um, 250 GSM. So this is perfect for doing your, your card bases, I guess. Um, and it also is. you could print straight onto this and use it as your card front, couldn't you, if you wanted to? Yeah, you can do. So two, the 250 GSM, this is the one that I use the most of because I use it to make my card bases. I use it for box making. Any of my pop-up boxes, uh, you can use it in the scan and cut, you know, like electronic cutting machines. Mm -hmm. It die cuts beautifully. You can also use it for alcohol markers okay. because the ink sits on the surface rather than soaking right. in. But you can also use it for distress inks. Oh, okay. So you can ink it and then flick water at it and it doesn't delaminate, Very which a lot of too. super smooth cards will actually start to delaminate, yeah. whereas this one doesn't. Love it. So this is, like I said, this is the one that I use the most of because it's my go-to for Absolutely. practically everything. Um, 250 sheets as well, so £24.99. Yeah. That's an incredible price. And a beautiful bright white, so you know that you're going to get true representation of the yeah. colours with that because you haven't kind of got any kind of grey or creaminess about mm. the, the paper. So that's your 250 GSM. Now we're looking at some others as well, and the only difference is the actual thickness. So the quality that's it, yeah, is the exactly quality the same. Is exactly the, the same throughout the weight of them yeah all that is different is how thick the card is and it's a bit difficult for me to kind of um, show you this through the tv mm. but you will find yourself um, going for all of them over time so i have got here that is the 250 so you can see it's quite a sturdy card so this one's a little flimsier so if i put them side by side you can see it's kind yeah. of a little bit floppier it is yeah so this one would be perfect if you wanted to use it if you were just doing a couple of layers on your card, so it could be your solid card, um, if you're doing decoupage, use that as your first layer right. and then use the 250. But if you're doing decoupage where you use the ball tool and you want it to be curved, oh, like yeah, use the 200 because it stretches beautifully. It doesn't crinkle. And I think over time you will find yourself kind of going for all of them, to be fair. So at this stage, you might just be filling in those gaps, I'm guessing, um, with those as well. Um, so, yeah, um, there's all the other ones are there on the um, available. You've got your 200 GSM, you've got your 160 GSM that's available as well. 160, I'm guessing, is that things like inserts and stuff like that? that you Yeah, see you see, 160, sometimes, if I'm doing a lot of layers on a card, I'll print everything on 160. Okay. Because then it's not too heavy, because a heavy card will fall forward. Yes, yeah. Um, um, and if I'm being a bit of a skinflint and I want to do a lot of cards like batch making, I use 160. Okay. Because then they're thinner, so they get postage. That's a good and point, it's, actually. It's not it? a large letter. Yeah, more economical with your postage <laughs> on those as well. So, yeah, definitely do consider that. So you've got three, three different weights, all exactly the same with regards to the whiteness and the brightness. So do confidently go for all three of those to add into your stash. But then you can start getting different kind of effects, can't mm. you? Because um, we've got other colours that you can go for yes. as well. We've got black, which you can't really print on, but it's brilliant for things like your mats and layers mm. and your different techniques. One of my favourite favorites that I've seen you guys print on is one. this and this is your craft card your it craft is gorgeous color. and you can print direct onto you this can as well. yeah it's got a beautiful smooth surface ink loves it distress inks it's the they absolutely just it's dream to work with also sometimes when you use the when you use, like you scan and cut your electronic cutting machines with craft card it can be a bit rough yes this oh, is it's smooth, lovely yeah. and smooth and it doesn't leave half itself all over your mat. Yes. If your mat's a little bit tacky, and those who know will know. Oh, absolutely. Been there, this is that. nice and smooth, so you're not then cleaning off the little 
paper bunnies trying yes. to get them off your mat. Yeah. And can I say, if you have to print off certificates for any reason, oh, maybe you're part yeah. of a school and it's kind of like end of year graduations for the kids. You know, mm. They do it from like going from nursery, don't they? Then that, that is a lovely base yeah. to work on. Another one, can I make a suggestion, is the cream tone that we've got as well. And this is lovely if you want something more of a vintage look to your prints That's as well. Um, and that is a lovely one. This one's 200 a GSM as well. So this is the cream card. And again, another one to have in your crafty stash mm. as well. Love See, um, I only ever used to use cream card. I never used white card. Okay. And then I started using Linda's white card, and then that was it. That's it. I used more Mentioning white card that. than cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, did we have a message pop up on the screen then? It went to, um, I was busy chatting. I didn't even notice what was said there. Sandra. Sandra, oh, you are more than welcome. Hi. Um, can I just um, say thank you for explaining how to use my iPad to use um, di um, mm -hmm. digital card and other tablet things <laughs> um, with digital downloads. I'm just hoping I remember as I am 75. Wow, you go for it. You Sandra, go for it because you will. You. You'll be yeah, able to do you're, it. You're more than welcome. Sandra, if you're not already, join our Creative Friends group on Facebook because there are loads and loads of videos on there and t hints and tips. But also, if you go on our website, there's how to. Yeah. So how to download, how to use. And if you get stuck, send me a message. Yeah, and the thing is, it's such an affordable way to do it. Once you've actually taken hold of that fear, potentially, to start yeah. with, and you've cracked it, you're like, why? Why was I worried? Why was I worried? Indeed. And for fourteen ninety nine, I think it's definitely worth going for. Even if you're not changing sizes and you're literally just printing it off as mm. it is. As I say, um, digital downloads are no different to printing something else that you need to sign and send off to somebody. So please do not be frightened as well. Mm. Um, and uh, it's just such an economical way to craft, I have to say. You'll love it. It is, yeah. Because and it, it's what you make of it. So if you want to print it out a thousand times, then you can. Absolutely. Um, thanks, Hals. When are you back Thank again? You. Do we know? Um, um, I am, my next shows are on Seven Street on the 22nd. Oh, oh, oh yes, we've got all soft craft. I love it. Um, so make sure you look out for that as well. I will see the other side of the break. I'm here with Kat and a Hunky Dory and brand new little books, which I know you're going to love, and a mask that's going to work with them. Mm, looking forward to seeing that in action. I'll see you the other side of this. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobby Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? or want to watch one back, then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Hobbymaker are on the search for the crafting stars of the future with our Junior Crafter of the Year competition. Winners will appear live on screen in the Hobbymaker studio and also you'll get a goodie bag with about £100 worth of arts and crafts stuff in it too. How good is that? To be in with a chance of winning, simply send us a photo of what you've made and we're giving you full creative control. But you do need to use one item that you bought here at Hobbymaker. There are three age categories to enter up to 9 years, 10 to 13 years, 14 to 16 years. 
Email your entries to marketing at hobbymaker.co.uk by the 7th of October 2024, making sure to include as many photos as you like of your design. A short description of your design, for example, what it is, how you made it and where you got your inspiration. Your name, age, name and contact details of your parent or guardian. Winners and runners-up will be notified by the 21st of October 2024. One winner from each category will have the opportunity to appear live on screen in the Hobbymaker studio and receive £100 worth of art and craft essentials. One runner-up from each category will win £50 worth of art and craft essentials too. So what are you waiting for? Good luck one and all. Hello there and welcome back. Welcome back to an hour that I've been very much looking forward to because we are here with Hunky Dory and we have got some brand new little books. And I've also got Kat here who was here earlier on today. I haven't worked with you in such a long time, my lovely. It's great to be spending an hour with you. Yeah. You too. Oh, bless <laughs> you. And I have to say, well, you've come up to see this one, haven't you? Because we the are. little books are adorable. Brand new, these are. Um, and uh, they've been put together in a little bundle because so many of you collect these little books. But when you see the kind of things that you're going to be able to create with these, these gorgeous cards that we've got, then that you can get involved with these straight away with the details that are on your screen. But that price may change as we have a little chat. Um, and uh, I have to say, I love these because there's two different sizes, isn't it, with the books? So these are the slightly larger ones. Yes, yes. Um, um, which are instant cards in their own right, as you can see. But we've got a little bit of a kind of stencil thing going on here we as well. We have got a brand new element that we are bringing with you with our little books this time. We have got our uh, masks. Now, these are A5 size. We've never done this with them before. And they incorporate kind of two design details for you. Perfect. There's a frame on the outer side that is perfect for sitting your little book page in but we weren't just going to leave you all that blank space in the middle and just give you a frame so we have put lovely christmas uh sentiments in the middle so you can use them with your little books you can use them on their own and i'm sure many other uses as well i love it now i'm just flicking through the first of those books and this one as you can see there's loads of gorgeous artwork in here some quite whimsical very much tangled there as you can <laughs> see um and again very much tangled so i wonder which one this one could be um all of the characters here have got themselves tangled up in Christmas lights. So this is your all tangled up book. And I think we can all resonate with that, can't we, at Christmas time? Oh, definitely. <laughs> now, with these books, you get multiple images with these? Sorry? You get multiple images with these? You, you do, yes. You get six of each. So that gives you... So if you're wanting to do six of the same card, absolutely fine. If you were wanting to fussy cut and decoupage them up, you've also those got those possibilities. Or cut them into quarters or triplicates. There is so many different ways you can use these and get <laughs> immense value. For money the out, artwork is absolutely beautiful, I have to say. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, all on a Christmas theme. Now, if you have shopped with us previously and you've gone down the kind of uh, um, kind of pick and mix route, shall we say, these ones aren't going to be available because they're brand new. So we have got a wonderful bundle for you. We do still have your traditional pick and mix available. But if you are thinking about going down that route to get hold of these, then you won't find them. And I have to say, I think that's my favourite so far. Well, everybody knows I love a cow and he is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Beautiful. But, but there is one at the back of this book that I think might it? be him on cuteness. Oh, let's have a little look. We've oh, got maybe, maybe we've gone past it. And then, <gasps> oh my <laughs> word. Oh. Is that not the most adorable little thing you've ever seen in your that life? It's beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, the artwork is phenomenal. It's so good. <laughs> now, that is your first of your three books. So that one is all tangled up. Then we've got, obviously, it wouldn't be Christmas without Father Christmas, would it? So this one is a book dedicated to images featuring Father Christmas. Now, not necessarily just in your, your kind of what you might think of with the chimney uh, breast sitting on the top of the chimney there. He's getting up to all sorts of different things in this and book. There's so many different styles of Father Christmas in this one, from your extremely traditional, that's the kind of traditional image you think of. We 
we had the one before that kind of reminded me a bit, a bit baby chamfer. Yes, 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 very much. Uh, yeah. We've got this very kind of Scandi feel. Love There's that. so many different, very, oh, very traditional with that one, that. There, isn't it? That's like you're taking a photo of it him, is, isn't it, right? Yes. Isn't it? It's beautiful. Um, but don't forget with these, because you've got your multiples, you could do a little bit of decoupage with these if you wanted to. Oh, oh what a cool dude. <laughs> I love that. He's having the best life there, isn't he? He's so cool. <laughs> and I think you can mix and match across these books. I think you could maybe put the pig with that Santa and build yes. up a scene and stuff. There's so many fun things you can do. Absolutely. I love these. Really good fun. I mean, this one's a, an amazing one because it does look like there's actually lights behind it because the, so the artwork fun. is so amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, you've kind of got the whimsical style with these. You've got the classic style with these. You've got the fun element with these as well. Um, something for everybody. Yeah, definitely. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. So there you go, working our way through there. Again, another maybe more Scandi style with that one, as you yeah. can see. Um, <laughs> it's on his holly bobs. That's, that's kind of like as soon as Boxing Day arrives, that's it. It's like, I've booked a flight, I'm off. <laughs> Although, I mean, if you're sending cards to the other side of the world, that in, is a good like point. in Australia, they're yeah. in the middle of summer, aren't they? So that would be that a perfect so one for true. them. true. Absolutely. Nice one to decoupage that one. And look at that one. Oh, what a cool dude, Santa there. Absolutely amazing. So all of these featuring in there, you've got um, six repeats of each of them. So lots of creativity. And we've got some fabulous ways that you can get creative with it. I love that. If you've got somebody who's into steampunk, then that is a wonderful Christmas project, isn't it? To utilise that one. So yeah, and we've got one at the back there, which I must share with you, because there you go. Very traditional style. So that one is your Father Christmas pad. I've still got another one to share with you yet. We're only two thirds of the way through. This one you're going to love. This is beautiful. And also, as well, the price on your screen is not the price that you've got. In fact, should we do that now? Because I, you keep it, I know you're all just waiting. Some of you have gone for multiples of these already because you know we're going to give you a good deal. So, Alex, where are we going with regards to that price? So, we're looking at $29.99 to start with. So, now we're looking at $19.98. So, that's almost like you, you buy two, get one free. So, you're getting yeah. that one free yeah. that you've not seen yet, basically. Absolutely. Now, this one's called um, a Festive Wonder. It's got a very kind of mythical look to it from it that has, cover. Oh, yeah. <gasps> wow, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, adorable. They do the artwork so well, Hunky Dory, don't they? They do. And there's such a glorious mixture of styles in this one. And I think this one, especially, is going to take you through lots of winter celebrations. Mm. It's going to do your winter birthdays, winter weddings, yes. those kind of occasions as well. It's not just Christmas, this book. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And again, the artwork, absolutely amazing. Now that price has dropped down, so many of you are getting involved with this. You can see lots of you shopping for these ones and going for them in their multiples, which makes sense. Don't forget, you are actually going to get six repeats of those designs in there as well. Some of them are beautiful. That's like an, almost like a mandal look, that yes, one, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Can you imagine that on the top of a gift box or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. That's one that I um, did in the first show. Oh, oh, it is. Yeah. So it is there. Look Before at that. that one in the first show. So if you there. like the look of that one, have a look at what Tim um, cat has got. That is so lovely. Mi so mixing that with one of the stencils that were coming up, adding some gemstones and a bit of parchment. And it just shows how you can transform it from Beautiful. just the book to that absolutely there. Good. Oh, my goodness. Look at these two. This is beautiful. Maybe um, a couple's first Christmas together in their own home. Maybe um, it could be. That's a nice little one that you've got there. Um, oh, Christmas shoes. And Party stunning. shoes. So again, that would be great for a Christmas birthday. Absolutely. Maybe. Yeah. Like if you've got, want to do cards for a Christmas wedding and your bridesmaids and things like that, there's loads and loads of different occasions for this book. I love these as well. Yvette's loving these as well, as you can see. Beautiful little scenes. These are almost like scenes um, taken from Christmas films and things like that. Oh, look, it's like a little gnome there. Little fa uh, kind of uh, living in the forest there. Oh, wow. <gasps> Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful artwork. Snow globe there as well. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. You are going to love these. I can understand why so many of you have gone for multiple sets of these. Makes sense. It really does make sense because you're going to love these. And look, oh, beautiful. It's like an ice princess, isn't yes. she? Beautiful. 
absolutely gorgeous um, you've got whimsical elements in here again you've got classic stars you've kind of got that um, air of mystery almost with some of these that's a clever one as well where you've got them taking um, taking flight there um, just beautiful absolutely beautiful and the quality of each and every one of those pages is phenomenal so that one is festive wonders you're gonna get festive uh, festive wonders alongside your father Christmas and then the last one in the tree is going to be that all tangled up that you're going to have with those as well which is absolutely brilliant you've also got got loads of cards and ideas that you're going to be able to create with these just to give you a little idea but we're going to see so many more of these as it our progresses because we've got a deal to share with you as well so if you like the idea of teaming them up with the frames that we've been speaking of then you certainly need to check out the next deal that we've got for you so as you can see you've got the gorgeous artwork in there with that beautiful frame with the masks yes very clever so you can extend them even further um we have so they're kind of adding it's almost yeah. like a faux matte and layer with these and i know you're going to be demonstrating yes. with these in a few moments but it extends um the, the space that you've got from your books but then it's uh, independently can work on its own as well yeah they can work beautifully on their own and i'll show you an example of that at the end of the show but i like that you've got the two designs in there so you've got that frame and um, so you can use that to kind of highlight and draw you into your central image of your little book but you've also like i said we were just going to give you a big blank space of mylar when we knew we could get something in there that you could use as well and that you um, in my first demonstration i'm going to show how you can use that with your little books um, th there's just so many wonderful things Absolutely. you can do with them. So you've got the masks. Now, there's actually three masks that are available to you. So you've got the first one, as you can see here, saying, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. Um, so you can use that in its own right with all those fabulous stars around the edge there, placing your page from your little books. Because if you imagine, there you go, that would sit in the centre like so um, with any of those pages that you choose. But then you can use it independently or use it in its entirety, as you can see there, if you're wanting to. So that shows you that you can can use them just as they are or you can use them alongside your little books as you can see there with that fabulous little um, <laughs> tangled up unicorn next one that you've got is this beautiful one here which says may your days be merry and bright tying in with it the lights and the baubles which again is going to be perfect with the tangled Absolutely, up characters that whole it? book if you get in that book you need to get this mask Def they're very very much made so. in heaven absolutely and again you could be using the elements in the center there teaming it up alongside your little book so there you go you've got your little book on the side with a sentiment from your mask there or maybe you're going to be using the mask as the outside and then using your book um, as your centerpiece with that one so it shows you how that works now you're actually going to get all three of these masks so the last one there have yourself a merry little christmas love that kind of it's almost like a, um, a barbershop style isn't it that that round the sign of candy yes, cane yeah. um, again use it with the sentiment in the center there use the characters alongside it just gives you the scope that is the beauty of it love it with the red and white absolutely perfect Pops. this is clever because that's been using it and then taking it in the opposite yeah. yeah so if you flip it over and ink it in the other direction you can get that lovely kind of cross arch effect i love it um if you fancy getting very creative with it how about using it like so and again you could use it in different directions so again there you can see they have yourself a merry christmas there i'm um, going i don't know whether the background has been with the stencil or not oh, i'm gonna have to try and figure that one out myself <laughs> um and then again i love this it's almost like knitted paper that you've got there it is Beautiful. i saw that one earlier and i'm still trying to figure out how it's I'm done but it's, it's very clever way and then to the sensor to yeah. the, i don't know they're so clever aren't they the design team so you're going to get all three of those so there you go you're going to get your fabulous have yourself a merry little christmas you're going to have your believe in the magic of christmas and the last one that you've got is that merry and bright featuring all of the different lights around there but the price on your screen is not the price you're going to be paying oh no um you can see they're just 16 pounds and 50 pence if you are shopping for the oh i thought that was a drop down price sorry i was a, i was a bit distracted so i wasn't paying attention sorry 12 pounds and 50 pence that's wow. an even better deal isn't it it's crazy for three masks of that size and these are big stencils because yeah. you yeah. should be paying probably what between 7.99 and 9.99 yeah, for an a5 definitely. stencil yeah. that is brilliant but they work together and that's what we're going to see yes that is what we're going to see lovely so, so let's start um i've just got some a4 uh, white ink me cardstock. Lovely. Place this on here. I am just gonna 
just so it tacks down a bit better. Let's put it in this position and then we can trim it down afterwards. So, um, I'm actually going to use my watercolour pencils with these because I want you to remember, I did some inking through them on the first show and I'll be doing a little bit of inking later on in this demonstration. But I don't want you to be put off by the mask if you think, I don't have inks, I don't stamp, I don't use them. Good point, you can yeah. use them with your, um, your alcohol markers, your pencils, your brush markers and use it like a stencil. So... Uh, that is what I'm going to do with this one. So I've gone into my watercolour pencils and I've picked out some traditional light colours that match the little book page that I'm using, which is this oh, beautiful adorable. one here. So I'm just going to start by colouring in some of my lights. And it, this doesn't take over long. It'll probably 15 minutes or so. Uh, and I like to just lightly colour in and then just darken up and shade as we go around to get that this, effect. It, like you say, some people might shy away from masks because they haven't got all pastes and paints and all that yeah. kind of thing. So, yeah, good good idea to use your pencils. Yeah, and I'm sure even if you've not got our uh, watercolour pencils or our prism markers, you'll have some accessible pencils or pens in your stock and we'll go in with our last one with our green and i'm guessing could you use them with a, a, a die cutting machine and kind of get an embossed effect with these as well you can i did again i've got one on the um i did it on this card here oh, earlier on okay. you get that f effect on the front there i don't know if you can see it Wonderful. where i po popped it through and got that embossed image on the front and then just buffed nice. it back I like it um, you just need to play around with what machine you've got to get the right combination. So you carry that on your colour pattern all the way around. And then I've just gone with that dark green for the top of my lights and the craft wire. Not the craft wire. That's, that's hunky dory. The thing to make the cable. <laughs> yeah. The light wire. And just use that to go all the way around there okay. complete that whole thing mm -hmm. and you should end up with something that looks like oh this. wow gosh now that's effective add the color in that we're picking up on the background of our elf here i've just taken my toasted oat my prism ink pad but again if you've not got the ink pads just do this on some cream cardstock mm, or room um, yeah you could just leave it on the white background. I'm just picking up what we've got there. But just do that last little side. Don't need to go too far in because we know our little elf image is going to do that. So that's that done. And I'm just going to pop that down on. I've cut it so it fits an 8 by 6 piece of uh, gold mirror. Lovely. And we'll pop that on there. And we'll pop that to one side and we are going to come back to our mask and this time we are going to use our inks with it but in a slightly different way i'm going to take my book page and i'm going to center the him on the back here and just secure him in place with a little bit of masking tape just so i know he's going to stay where i want him to go and then i'm going to take I'm going to go, I'm going to use a um, coloured ink pad. I am going to heat emboss this with gold embossing powder, but I'm using a colour so I know I've got it down and it's everywhere rather than using a clear one. Um, but to be fair, this khaki green that I'm using here is really nice, so you could go over and heat emboss it with like a clear embossing powder if you wanted to. Okay. But if you just use your daubers, we can just go all over here and it just keeps it nice and precise. Those are really useful to have, aren't they? Those daubers. Get them right into the nitty gritty. They do. And our prism inks are, are nice and wet, so you, they're absolutely fine for using for this. And we'll just go over. And if you rub it in so you can do your areas quicker, but then just go back and give it an extra dob, just so it's nice, you're not drying it out too much okay. as we go. And I'm not going to do every last bit. I'll just give you an idea. But get all those inner details there. 
I'll take that off. And I'm just going to reach for that spare bit of card I had up here. And remove that. Oh, and you can see lovely. it just leaves you that oh, lovely that's sign on there. Effect. So you could do that in the clear. I am going to do it on the in the gold in this one. So you just pop this on. Ooh, the aircon's strong today. It's blowing, isn't it? <laughs> so we just cover that. It's Tap it off. I'm grateful it's working. That will cover that in <laughs> oh, all God. your powder for you. And then because it's so warm, I'm going to save everybody the torture of bringing a heat gun in. Yes. I've got one that I've done <laughs> earlier. got enough heat as it is. <laughs> and here he oh, is. Oh, look at that. Just heating boss on top of there. And I've just popped that onto a gold mirror mat that I know we've got coming up for we you. We have. Rachel. We've got some fabulous deals with the, the, the gold mirror mats. And I love the fact that they're the perfect size to work with the, the different pages. And I've just popped some foam pads on the back of here. We are going to pop that on there. Then I've got an 8x8 card blank. I've just got a page from our Duo Design paper pads. I believe all these are back in stock, if you have a look on the website. And we're just going to pop that down on there. Then we can layer this over the top. I'm just going to go a little bit off centre because I want to add a little element back to this side here. So we're going to pop that slightly more over to the left. Then I've gone in with the second page. I've fussy cut our elf out because I felt a little bit cruel that we'd covered him up for <laughs> our sentiment. So I thought, let's ha let him have his moment and we can pop him back in. Perfect. Over the top there. Well, you got six of those, haven't you? So yeah, you could, could do a couple of those cards yeah, easily. You could. Yeah, that's fabulous. Oh, I love it. And his cheeky little face as well, adorable. Oh, thank you, Kat. Enjoyed that. You're welcome. Oh, good for, and a great way of showing that you don't have to, to use stencils uh, or should I say mask in the traditional way. You can use them. I've never seen it done with a, a pencil before, I have to say. Um, but of course, we did see um, the uh, little character being used on top, or the page, should I say, being used on top of the mirror mats. Now, this is something that Hunky Dory do, and I think it's such a clever idea. Um, and they bring you these fabulous um, mirror uh, cards. Now, it, they are the only company that can actually call them Miri because uh, they manufacture Miri cards and this is a brilliant bundle because in this bundle you have got 20 colours, you've got three repeats of each of them so it's giving you 60 sheets in total and giving you the opportunity for you to get hold of all of those at a phenomenal price as well. So the price that we've got on your screen, I've just been told it's not the price you're going to be paying, I didn't realise that. So effective. I mean, look at the, the mirror the effect that you've got with these. Three repeats of each of them. You've got some gorgeous kind of silver tones in there. That's a lovely kind of uh, almost like an icy blue in there. I'm thinking if you're going for, now let me just come in with, um, you know, we saw our lovely lady earlier on with, uh, that, well, that any of these to be fair, but I'm just thinking of the one that we had with it, uh, almost like the ice princess. Oh, I can't find her now. Typical, typical. But any of those scenes, you can see that those are going to lend themselves absolutely perfect to that colourway, that icy colour um, tone that you've got in there. Um, repeats of those mean that you've not limited to just a couple of those, but we are rapidly looking at single figures with these. So you can see all those beautiful colours featuring within there. You've got 60 um, mats in total, 20 colours, three of each of them. And the price is coming down from eight ninety nine to well, I'm not sure where it's going. Um, Seven ninety nine, so that's a bargain to be had, isn't it? So do definitely consider going over those. But um, to be honest, they've been very popular. And at weekends, we can't necessarily do what we need to do in order to make sure that everybody gets them. So if you are watching now, um, check your basket out. That's basically the, the, the rule, really. Get them while you can, and then hopefully we'll see more of those in the future. You've also got a lovely set um, of gold, silver, and rainbow. Now, these are slightly different setup because you've got a big wadge of these, as you can see. And with these ones, again, they are the perfect size for you to work with. Always popular. Now, this one is made up of your gold, your silver, and your rainbow. So you're going to get 30 sheets of your gold. You can get 30 show, um, of your silver 
and you're also going to get 40 of your rainbow. So I apologise. That is the, the bumper. Is that the bumper bundle? That's not the, the, the mixture one, is it? I think that's all silver. No, that's all silver. I picked up the wrong thing. So these are the three effects that you're going to get. But you're going to get um, 30 of the gold and silver and 40 of the rainbow. So the rainbow is that one at the front there. But there you can see the gold and silver featuring there as well. So 9 99 um, we're running low with these and this is sometimes the most popular of the bundles for people trying them out. What we tend to do is find people will come back for more of them because once you've seen them then you won't, uh, you, you won't want to miss out on them. And the concept behind these is that they are the perfect size to work with the different character and um, the different pages that you've got. So um, we've got those as a little kind of set of all of them and then we have got your festive assortment. So your festive assortment um, it's exactly that. An assortment of colours which are very, very in keeping with what we've been looking at here. So all these different colours that you've got featuring with this. So you're getting a smaller bundle, but it's a nice try me price, this one. So you've got um, all the different colours featuring there. I think it's four repeats of each of those. And you've got 15 colours in there. So is that 60 sheets? Yes. It is. Bit of quick maths. That is oh, good. A Sunday afternoon and I didn't even have to take my shoes and socks off. Yeah. So there you go, 9.99 if you like to give those a go. And when we look through some of the finished samples, you'll realise just how useful they are to have because they are the perfect size to work with those uh, little book pages. So here you can see one that has been used, but it's been kind of um, trimmed off a little bit, maybe with a die or a punch. Um, you can trim them down if you're wanting to. So if you're wanting to use the characters on a smaller style, then you can do. Um, and and of course the beauty is as well you can use them just as they are layering them up perfectly absolutely beautiful so the finished samples that we've got here are phenomenal i just got to show you a few of these working with those little books because they look amazing so you can see those mirror mats very useful to have in your stash and at 9.99 a very affordable buy so if you like the look of those then pop them into your basket what have you got over there? I've cats. got something else. I'm just showing you just show what I did with the Miri mats before in the early demonstration oh, as well. So you can use them to build up your backgrounds and things as well. So they don't just have to That's be used clever. Um, for that. So just thought I'd show that one off. Oh, we wonderful. are going to use that beautiful ice queen in this next demonstration. So I am pairing her because they are a match made in heaven in that book. That beautiful castle oh, yes. and our ice queen or princess there so Perfect. the first thing we're going to do dead simple we'll take one of our miri mats and let's pop this straight on here they're brilliant time savers aren't they those pre-cut mirror mats they are once you've got them in your kit and you've used them a couple of times you won't be going back because even if you're trying to trim down an a4 sheet you would have some waste you um, would and yeah. also as well you wouldn't necessarily get it as a balanced kind of um Kind of separation between the two, would no. you say? Yeah. I always and cut on the wonk. <laughs> and then I'm taking two more of the sheets and I'm going to do a very slight kind of pyramage effect. And on my first one, I'm going to take off half an inch from each side, all the way around. So let's pretend I've done that all the way around on there. And then on my next one, we're going to take a full inch off in every direction okay which makes you think you're not going to have much left in the middle but i promise it works oh, i'm intrigued so take an inch off in all directions and then just mat and layer them up as well and you will end up with okay. three pieces that look like this lovely and then just add some foam pads line them back up you could use your nesting dies for this if you wanted to but if you've not got them and I don't know why not, because they were on some fantastic deals earlier. Well, we've got some amazing deals, that, as you said, on the show that you were, um, had earlier on. We've also got dies on this show, so I'm intrigued by the little jigsaw puzzle. Because does that fit the pages as well? So it does, yes. So you can turn oh, all those pages wow. into little uh, things. So we're just going to layer that up like that. For my card base, I've got a 7 by 7 card length, and then I've just done a matte and layer of Silver Mirror, and again, this is another page from our Dior Design paper pads that just matches it absolutely perfectly. This is cut to 6 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters, and we will pop that on there. But then we're just going to try and make this a little bit more special with some... Um, what's the word? Snowfall acetate. Oh, okay. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer. 
So I need to cut this so it's the same height as that background that we've just created, which was six and three quarters. And then I'm going to add an inch onto each side so I can create like a box frame. Lovely. So I'm going to take this to eight and three quarters. Have we got this acetate on the show? It's beautiful. It's stunning, isn't it? And then on each side, I'm just going to score at half an inch and an inch. Oh, we're going to... Alex has gone to have a rummage. So is it a hunky-dory acetate? It is, is it? Yeah. Oh, he'll find yeah. it. Oh, it's uh, on a, one of our nice. Christmas on core items. And then I've just folded those sides down, added some tape inside of each of them. And then we are just going to slide this in just to create that little box frame over oh, the top. That's so pretty. Hey, Alex, you found it. Thank you so much. Now, you're going to get 24 of your A4 sheets here. Snowfall acetate, so you can create cards like this one, which really, they're showstoppers, aren't they, these? What you can call mantelpiece pleasers, or what I sometimes call, um, your kind of almost like your, your, um, your, your centerpieces on your, your fireplace. You know, the ones that get the pole position. That's the phrase I was looking for. So, yeah, pole position cards. So, they don't find themselves on the windowsill. They're there on the fireplace. So, yeah, um, that would certainly be the case. And um, 14 99 that's worth it for 24 sheets. That's a lot. And there's so many different things you can do with them. So I'm just using construction glue to pop that onto my car base. We're just leaving that nice, fresh, little white border round the side there. And then this is where I'm going to bring in our Ice Queen. Oh. And you can see I've just fussy cut around her. We'll go in with some of our dotty tape runner. Make sure we've got a nice coverage on that. And then we can just stick her to the outside of our box frame overlooking wow. that beautiful castle. And then I'm just finishing with a little sentiment from our... So that, that'd be a beautiful um, birthday card for anybody that's into a certain, certain film. And I'm sure you know the one that I'm talking about. <laughs> and there we go. And the depth and dimension, I, think, I just think it's so, so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That is beautiful. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and all done using the elements from the, 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 little, um, the little books that we've been chatting about. So three brand new little books. So if you are new to the show, if you've just joined us, the artwork that's just been used in that demonstration has come from just one of the three brand new little books that we're sharing with you. So your Festive Wonders, the one that's sitting neatly in the centre there, that's the one that was just used. We've got All Tangled Up. That was the first demo with a little elf who got himself tangled in the Christmas lights. And of course, we've got Father Christmas feet in those you're actually getting all three of those books pretty much for the price of two um, because originally we were looking at 29 pounds and 97 pence but you're getting all three of them for just 19 pounds and 98 pence and they are crammed full of beautiful artwork where you've actually got three repeats of each of those designs in there giving you lots and lots of scope in all sorts of different styles um, you've got your festive wonders which has got a mystical feel to it then you've got your tangled up which all of the characters are finding themselves tangled in the Christmas lights which we all kind of find ourselves in that situation come December and then the last one being your father Christmas again in lots and lots of different styles of scene including beautiful ones a traditional style but also some fun and funky ones as well so all three of those coming to you paying for two getting three cent to you brilliant value for money but there are a few ways that you can mix them up and play around with them and we have got a couple of dies to share with you which I think, oh, they're both together. Even better. So this is a brilliant die because when you look at it, it is a jigsaw puzzle. So what it's actually doing, if you're wanting to line it up with one of your um, fabulous book pages, you can then turn your book page into a jigsaw. And there is an outer frame with this as well. This is ingenious as well, Kat. I think it's such a clever idea, this little um, jigsaw. It is so much fun. So there's lots of ways that you can use this. I like... Um popping my light little book page onto one of our A4 foam sheets and then you get like really chunky bits of jigsaw yes, that yeah. you can actually use. 
I would definitely advise popping it onto some cardstock first as well because okay. if it's just the papers, it can be a little bit flimsy. Good advice, yeah. But then when I layer it up, if I'm doing it on a card front, I like to put my first piece on a foam pad and then my next piece flat and then my next layer on a foam pad oh, so you so can really people, see that definition people see people when you're too. doing it. I love, because you get multiple pages in your little books, um, you can make your own little jigsaw puzzles to give to people so you can have the finished image Maybe in the front, make your box using your scoreboard and then put your little jigsaw pieces inside for them to make themselves. I think I need this because I think doing Christmas crackers with a little jigsaw puzzle in Absolutely. would be really good fun. Yeah. It's All right. Good. Okay, so you're going to get that one. You're also going to get the second eye, which is your dainty borders. And these are beautiful. You've got um, these gorgeous borders that you can use. These are actually going to cut detail into your card as well. And by the look of it, I'm guessing that you can kind of extend them further if you want into the... Um, to, and your die cutting machine will allow you to do so. I'll show you the board because you've got kind of like a, a design that's left within your card on these. So it's not like a, a border that's going to sit on top. It's actually going to cut into your card so you can imagine these running down the side of maybe a gatefold style card or a stepper card or a side stepper easel card these would make brilliant little stoppers for your easel cards wouldn't they um, and the beauty is you're actually getting that one alongside the jigsaw that we saw just a few moments ago and you've got a little nod to christmas with those i like the stars you'd use that one all year round wouldn't you so you are going to get your two dies so you're going to get your dainty borders and you are going to get your jigsaws and you can get the individually for 19.99 but we're going to give you a little bit of a cheeky discount. So the bundle price on your screen is dropping down because we're going to give you a discounted price to say thank you for buying them together. So you're saving yourself a fiver, bringing them down to £34.98. Now, of course, the little books range is something that we see from Hunky Dory and they've got literally hundreds of different designs and we have got those available as a pick and mix as well. So this is a perfect way for you to fill in gaps if you are collecting them. And also it's one of those ways that you can go and have a little look to see what else they do now the way that these work you are looking at 10.99 for each one of them actually we're looking at 9.99 but if you do shop for three of these then that price is coming down again to 19 pounds and 78 pence there's all sorts of different um, styles and different topics with those um, festive florals has one have been one of the very popular ones that was looking very very vulnerable but you can see here you've got all sorts oh i've got the festive florals here so here you go. So if you like the look of this one, we do not have too many of these available. And the way that you're going to go for your pick and mix, you're going to add any three into your basket and your basket will automatically change the price to £19.78. So if you like the look of that one, get hold of it as soon as you possibly can. I think one of my favourites is this one, though, with the kind of the, the silhouettes in there. It's so different. Isn't that lovely? Isn't as well. And I think that's one when you, if you pair it up with the mask that we've got today, you could create some really stunning effects. Absolutely. Gorgeous scenes in there. So, yeah, go and have a little look at the, um, the pick and mix that's on your screen um, as you can see there and you can see um, in the bottom corner there all the different titles scrolling through but you won't find the brand new ones in there um, because what happens is they are in a little bundle and they're already in that price anyway so yeah definitely worth thinking about right what are we doing next then shall we head back over to cap Shall we do Cap. something just with the mask? Okay. Just to see how you can make a card just using these. So I have uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and I couldn't resist bringing a little bit of craft card in for this one. I love my craft card, um, so we are going to pop this on here. And let's just secure that down. I'm going to try and get it so it's holding my mask and my cardstock on my side at the same time. And to start off with, we are just going to concentrate on the stripes on the outside. I'm going to do two different colours. Okay. So I'm going to go red and green and red and green. So have a little bit of scrap card so you can mask off as you go. So you're not... Because even though I'm going to use my little daubers for this, there's still not that much room. So if you've got a little bit of scrap that yeah. you can use. Good advice. So uh, let's start with my red. And then I can just mask. It doesn't matter if it goes on the sides because I'm going to cut them away afterwards. Okay. But you can just see. So I do that one and then I'm going to bring this up. And as long as I bring this right up to the top here, then I've got plenty of room on this one here without worrying about masking off the bottom. Ah, clever. 
Oh, you could have loads of fun with this, You there. really can. So then it's Miss One, Colour One, Miss One, Colour One. And we'll go and we'll do the bottom of this side for you. So you get that effect. Miss One, Colour One. And then we're going to switch over to our green. And we're just going to use the same technique. Oh, I like this idea. And again, if you place that at the bottom there, you should have enough room to get that in now. And we take those. We are going to come down here, pop this in. So let's go all the way down to the bottom here. And I'll just finish one side for you and then show you what else I do to really, really make this pop. And this is a really economical way of making a card because when, so obviously you've got the investment of the masks um, yeah. and you've got your inks and things, but you're not adding additional bits to them. So if you're making cards maybe for fundraising, for charities or school and things like that, it's a very economical way of keeping your costs down. Oh, look at that. So you get this really, really... So imagine that all the way around. And then what I like to do is get a ruler which I have not got today. So I'm just using a scrap piece of paper and we're just going to use a white gel pen and we're just going to draw in our frame just to really, really make this pop around here. And then the same on the outside. And then again, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I think the end product is worth okay. it. I'm just going to add a little bit of stitch detail to okay. each of these lines. Yeah just to make them pop wait till you see the finished article when it's all done okay cut it out to the edge of your white lines and you are going to end up with a frame that looks oh like wow oh cat yeah you're right isn't it, it is worth so, taking so cool. the time and yeah. think about not just these little books but all the ones that you've yeah. seen before that it's going to work with and this take it away from christmas this will work with your birthday ones just change your colors up yeah they could be lots of different they could that. be purples and pinks and blues and you could use that all year round perfect so we are going to go back to our mask let me just give it a little bit of a clean up. Talk of which, how do we do that? Just a, a little bit of kind of a wet cloth? Yeah, or? I'm just using a baby wipe here, but you yeah. can run them under your sink. I'm just going to use a baby wipe and then a fibre cloth just and to dry it up. the minks are, are water-based, so it's they easy are, enough yeah, just to rinse them You can see off. how quick that's coming Perfect. off there. And then I'm just going to go in with my fibre cloth just so I'm not going to get anything wet onto the next part that I'm going to do and give my mat dry as well. So then we're going to take another piece of card. We are going to pop this back on again and this time we're going to send, concentrate on our centerpiece. So let's tack that down again. So I'm coming back to my red, my green and my white pen. Mm -hmm. So again I'm going to use a bit of my scrap and I'm going to start with my half. And I'm just going to very carefully get in there, try and avoid any of those star or circle details because I've got another plan for them in a okay. bit. So have is going to be green. Christmas is going to be green. Come and get in. And we're just going to get all that done like that. Lovely. Then let's go with our red. And it's just the merry okay. that we're doing with the red. And remember, with your whatever you're using to mask this off, you can move it around as and when you need it. So, like, as it comes to my Y here, I can just pop that in place. Um, we did try to get the daubers um, added into the, the, the show, but sadly, for some reason, we can't. But you may well be able to find them on the website if you're shopping for those. And then I'm going with my white gel pen, and I think this really, really makes it pop. We're going to do yourself. Oh, okay, yeah. Right there. Colour that in again. Spend more time than I am on this. Um, we're going to do you yourself. Place. We're going to do the little with the white gel pen. So you could just trace that round and then colour in as you go. And then all my other details like my stars and my little dots and my circles 
I'm going to colour in as well. Now, you're not going to get a true representation when I do that, but you start oh, no, to see how it's it. come to life. Then I just trim that out to size, and then I've oh, gone round and that. I've put that stitched edge detail all around oh, there it. as well. It's got a proper homely feel, hasn't it, on the craft card? So as you can see, I cut the centre out of that frame before. I've just taken an A4 sheet of um, craft card, folded it in half to make an A5 size card. And we're just going to pop these two back on there now. And this is something that you could be batch making. Like I said, you, you're not limited to how many you can make of these. If what you wanted it, to yeah? make 20, 30 of them, you've got the materials. And it's a lovely, lovely way so. of putting them together, I have to say. I really enjoyed it. Utilising your ink is such a clever, clever technique. Pop Does that, that make there. a lovely photo frame as well, wouldn't it? It would definitely yeah. really would, yeah. You could turn it into a shaker. Yeah. You could add a little bit of... Um... Do, do, do. Because quite often you'll get kind of school photos, won't you, around Christmas time? Yes. They'd, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they go back in September, don't they? And they get the photos done before, before they get themselves into too much of a pickle. <laughs> really isn't. They're there with their, their, their uniforms that are a little bit too big because by the time July comes around, they'll have fitted into it. <laughs> And pop that back in the middle. Oh, that's like beautiful. That, that is and adorable. Oh, I love that. That is a brilliant, brilliant example of how you can create, just using literally inks and a mask, a little bit of craft card. That is beautiful. Thank you, Kat. You're welcome. Was that fabulous? really enjoyed that so you've got your three stencils so these are brand new as well they were originally designed to actually use with the little books but of course as Kat's just shown you you can certainly use them independently so that's why they're proving to be so popular um, well, in my humble opinion anyway you've got all three of them coming to you for 12 pounds and 50 pence which is phenomenal value for money because they're actually kind of a five in size so really good size now when you do get them back you'll get a few serving suggestions of how you can craft with them but if you go off and have a little look on the hunky dory um, website you'll find all sorts of different ideas there's all sorts of videos that are available on there as well yes definitely so yeah. go and have a little look um, and uh, a brilliant way of crafting very economically but of course they have been designed to work with your little books as well so it gives you a lovely area for you to actually start putting your little characters into or your little pages and the beauty is you can use them as a frame if you want to do or use them completely without the little books either way you are going to get some amazing results but I think it's a really clever way for you actually to use them together so there you go the character that you've got there the little unicorn all tangled up from the brand new um, little books and then you've got obviously that gorgeous kind of snowflake frame very clever use of the inner area there being inked up but then fussy cut so as you could use it as a sentiment um, I love this one here with all the different colors um, featuring on this one which is lovely and then again this one's been teamed up with elements from one of the little books a few little kind of elements that have been fussy cut and put together we are getting so busy for these so busy you've got a large sentiment as well which is nice because you can use that in its own right but again gives you the opportunity to kind of do a bit of faux matting and layering and you're going to get really creative with those masks you'll start adding your ink like we just saw maybe doing the alter, uh, alternate colors and getting a fabulous effect with them or maybe just use the centerpiece on top of some lovely papers that you've got in your stash as well very very effective and very very economical way of crafting these for 12.50 phenomenal value and if you notice with this one you've almost got like a tartan effect going on because the stencil has been put or the, should i say the mask has been placed down inked through in one color then turned around or flipped over so as those diagonal lines going in the opposite direction and then it's building up a lovely kind of tartan effect which we all love at christmas anyway but again use the sentiment in the center there use it alongside the characters and get some absolutely amazing results you are loving these lots of you crafting um, crafters getting involved new crafters to the channel but i will warn you um, nearly half the stock has gone and there are many many more of you waiting to check your baskets out so I just hope we've got enough for everybody to get their hands on these um, it's a weekend so yeah sometimes it's difficult for us to do anything about stock but for the time being check your baskets out to guarantee that they are on their way to you and that is the beauty um, you can add it all into your basket at the same time now of course they've come about because of the books and we've got three brand new books to share with you which are adorable 
can't, I can't decide which one's my favourite. They're so different. And this is what I love when we bring you the, these collections of three different little books because they are, they're all standalone pieces. Absolutely. And they're all for very different people in different occasions. And they're going to give you so much variety <laughs> of people that I just love him. Is that brilliant? I, you can make card falls. Isn't it amazing? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Of course, you can use them in their entirety. We've got some lovely finished samples which I haven't, haven't had a chance to this show. This one would be great. If you were making cards for each member of the family, you've got that theme yes. of they're all tangled up. There's something that brings them all together. Yeah. But like I said, you could do the Yeti for the grumpy dad. Yes. You've got the unicorn <laughs> for the little girl. You've got cat for cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love you know, it. You could really do something for everyone, but them all match at the same time. Absolutely. And I think you're right. I think that is a favourite page there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so you're going to get all three of those. You've got your Father Christmas style as well. I'll quickly flick through these because we've got some lovely finished samples that I'd love to share with you. Um, very traditional scenes with these, traditional colours, almost photographic images of these as well. Um, some lovely, lovely bases that you're going to be able to create. And I love that one, fun and funky one there isn't it with the uh, uh, the motorbike it's there so um, then you've got your gorgeous um, kind of mystical scenes that we saw earlier on so absolutely beautiful lovely kind of blues and greens and then a little bit whimsical in there as well so got to have a snow globe at Christmas haven't you but then you can get truly creative with these so these cards the design team have put them together so beautifully I mean I love that one suspended on the acetate there absolutely gorgeous um similar to the one that we saw cat create earlier on i mean that is a gorgeous gorgeous image isn't it beautiful and them two just work so don't beautifully they just together. absolutely yeah. um did show you this one earlier on um clever idea using a little bit of acetate and can you see how the, ma um, the mask has come into use there as well very clever use of it there um things like your stepper cards if you're doing your concept cards absolutely perfect Bit mirror mat going on there so don't forget those mirror mats as well because they are the perfect size to work with your pages you don't have to trim them down they're exactly the right size for you to work alongside those pages so do make sure you add those in and we've got a variety of different styles whether you want your festive colors whether you want your gold your traditional silver as well um, I just I love his little face so cute absolutely um, this is a clever one as well oh we love this one okay Oh, that's so it, clever. Yeah. So the idea of, I think this was done by a member of the design team. It was so Sam, was Sam. Sam, yeah. On the design team. And it's so, so simple to do. If I've got a bit of card, I'll just put the instructions on the back, Bessa. I love it. Oh, if you've got a chance, that'd be so lovely. Well, I can show you a bit of it. It's not like I can make the whole card. Oh, no, no, don't expect you to. Isn't that clever, though? It's but, like a two um, for one. Just for an idea. So you would just go take your piece of basic cardstock and score it depends how thick you want to cut your little pieces i've gone for half an inch here but just score at half an inch across for this one and then you just concertina fold back and forth and then you would just pick two pages from your little book obviously you cut this down to little book size and then on one side, you'd cut each of those pages into your half inch strips. So the same way. And then on one side, you would piece those back here, 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 and going across. And then on the other side, you would piece your other pictures back together. And it, as simple as that, really, it looks so much That's more complicated. Brilliant. But isn't it great? I love it. Absolutely. Thank you for explaining that. Because, I, I mean, that was per perfect absolutely perfect um loads of you going for these uh, and you could be getting that effect with any of these any of these images this is a lovely one because i'm gonna tilt this one you'll be able to see with this one because you've got your six pages you've actually got the opportunity to really really build up depth and diamond uh, dimension and some lovely traditional styles as well look at that Absolutely stunning. That would work perfectly with the mask as well, wouldn't Absolutely, it? Wouldn't it just, yeah. I mean, really, you cannot go far wrong when you are going for these. 
Um, the only thing that you might find yourself um, in a situation of is that those masks might not be available because I've just heard they are flying out. So if you like the idea of getting hold of those masks alongside these, please do not leave it too long. Do not dilly-dally, as I would say. Very quickly going to pop the masks back up on your screen just so as you can kind of see exactly what they are. They've popped up on your screen, as you can see, all three of these coming to you for just £12.99, which is phenomenal value for money. And as we've seen, incredibly useful to have in your crafty stash as well. Kat, do we know when you're back with us again? I do, but it's about a month's time. Oh, that's yeah, I've got way another weekend long. off in the middle. It does seem like a while, doesn't oh, it? But well, we will look forward to after, it. And then after that, I think it's a month as well because oh, I've got no. a gig booked in Dublin. But after that, Ooh. after that. Yeah, you're going to Dublin. I don't blame you, though. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not going to say anything in Dublin. I'll oh. literally go in, queue oh, for a concert, going to the concert and flying home. Oh, I see. But, <laughs> <laughs> but even so, it's a good place to be. Well, it's been a pleasure as it always is work, and we say thank you. We've it's had a lovely, lovely. Uh, lovely show. And thank you. I mean, it's been amazing, hasn't it? Those fabulous demonstrations that she shared with us as well. So oh, thank you. Always love it when Kat's here. So I am going to say goodbye to you for this hour. Um, I am up with a lovely Sharon in the next hour. Very much looking forward to it. It's kind of going to be an hour of education, but the bonus is we have got brand new Versafine Claire colours, which you are going to love. I've fallen in love with them, and I know you will too. I'll see you in a little while. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. at Hobbymaker that on various products we offer split pay. That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So 
Shop your way with Split Pay. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. to say himmy shimmy when i himmy see that shimmy. on the screen himmy shimmy <laughs> now, that was earlier on though wasn't it, it? was because sharon has been here previously but this hour we are both very excited for this hour because if you had kind of gone on that kind of inky journey as we guys have you yes. get very excited when brands like this bring out a new collection that's fine claire i'm sure you will have come across before um but this is something completely different to what we've experienced previously it is we've got much softer colors with these the and I think Versafine Claire for a lot of us are everyday staples yes yeah they are very much your stamping inks that you're going to be using for your sentiments for actually stamping your images you're going to get a really crisp lovely stamp with these and that's what they're known for that's what they're it? known yeah, for yeah. Um, I definitely use them if I'm stamping a sentiment these are the ink pads I use because you get a really solid color and really crisp absolutely now this is a brand new range and we've got the opportunity for you to get hold of all of these so all of this gorgeousness um all of this gorgeousness which i actually got a board to share with you because um, sharon has yes. done this for us because sometimes you've got kind of got like a graphic look haven't you on the actual um the yes kind the of packaging pads. i yeah. think looks brighter than the ink stamps so these are them at Actually these are stamped right. and I picked this butterfly because it's got quite a fine detail yes so you can see just how beautifully they stamp um, which means you know for your detailed images they're going to be perfect perfect lovely and you've got arctic avocado baby pink barley blue grass green featuring in there as well and um, you've also got hawthorn rose lilac bloom portobello um, sand dune spruce strawberry and very perry love that <laughs> yeah I love that very perry um the colours are, if you've got the sort of original colours that came out, these are very much the in-between colours that we were missing. Okay. But overall, I feel like they've got a much more pastel feel to them. Absolutely. They're less um, vivid. Some of the original colours I found a bit bright, and I don't use them that often. Mm -hmm. These, I think, are going to be my everyday. I, I just love the range that we've got. Now, when you look at the price on your screen, that is the price that you would be expecting to pay because they tend to be around kind of six pound a pad, really. Aren't they? It's that's kind of what a, I've that's, paid. That's I bought on. mine at kind of craft shows yeah. and things, and uh, I usually pay about yeah. six, six pound fifty, something, something like, that. like that. So the price on your screen actually equates to five pounds and eighty nine pence, which is what we would expect to pay. So uh, yeah, not a bad price at all. But we um, have got a fabulous. Oh, Liam's thirty before. 30 deal so that means that that price I'm guessing is not going to stick at that price for very very long mm -hmm. so if you're getting involved already which I can see that many of you have done then that price is going to be coming down so details on your screen um, MFP Q91 get it into your basket but watch those chevrons as that price drops down so this is where you can get all of those brand new colors and now you're looking at less than 50 pounds so now that actually means that you are paying just four pounds and seven 17 pence that, that that's music to any craft that's a great years. deal because you know i know yeah. i've bought these at retail shows and i i've paid about six or six pound fifty for them so yeah that is a and you will want them in your life especially when you well, see what sharon um, is going to be doing with these um 49.99 two split two way split as well making it even more affordable on your pocket if you're wanting to go for you're just going to be paying 24.99 along with your post and packing unless you've already shopped with us today and of course that's been taken care of and then the second payment will be in a month's time now hopefully i will ask questions of sharon as the hour progresses and they're crafting questions because i'm a crafter mm -hmm. just like you and hopefully there'll be some of the questions that you would normally ask if i miss out on anything or there's anything else you want to know then do get involved you can message your studio via the website you can get in touch through the email as well but the yeah. first question i want to say is i work with verse fine claire and i think i've got um the black i've got a brown and i've got a gray yep. and i use them all the time yep why do i need colors well 
various reasons, actually. OK. And I, I've got mine here. I'll these, put you on the spot there. These Sorry. are my everyday... I bring here every time. Black, grey and brown, just yeah. as you said. They're go-tos. Um, they, these are my everyday... If I'm stamping anything... And you'll have seen me... You know, these are in my craft bag that I bring to Hobby Maker every time. Because if I'm stamping an image... I'm generally using my Hemi paints or I'm using my Distress watercolours um, to watercolour with. So first fine, it's waterproof. So you do... So that's why we like... Start, right. Yeah. OK. Um, so yes, you're right. The black, grey and brown would be your staples. Mm -hmm. However, there are lots of occasions where you might want a softer look. That is true. Or you might want a particular colour. So if I were stamping... A lovely rose mm -hmm. I might want to stamp that in a pink Got so you. that the lines are less visible yes because if you want a soft look and you've stamped your rose in black those lines are going to be very visible yeah if you want more of a no line sort of coloring yes look, of course you can match your ink to the to the image and that's quite tricky to do otherwise really, it is it? Yeah. and of course because these are waterproof it means you can do that because Perfect. you can use your watercolors if you're stamping a sentiment on a card you quite often might want the colour to match what you're doing. For Christmas cards, I will quite often stamp my sentiment in like a pine green yes, or a red. Yeah. So you're going to want colours for that. So yeah. it's not just about black and brown. I That's know those are our, yeah. our most used. Yeah. Um, but there are lots of times you will want colours. Lovely. And the other time, and this is where this particular collection really comes into play, if you're doing like a vintage background and you've got some... Um, cardstock that you want to look a bit distressed, a bit vintage, and you've got some stamps, like we've got some lovely ones on the show, where you've got all your little script backgrounds and your little postage marks yes, and things yeah. like that. If you go in with black on those and it's meant to be just a background, they're going to really jump out, which right. is not what you want. So some of the colours we've got today are just perfect for that. Love it, um, I'm convinced. <laughs> but yeah, the lighter browns, we've got a really nice, it's called Portobello. Lovely. I, I think it's going to be my replacement. Mm -hmm. Brown. Perfect. Yeah. Um, lots of you getting involved with these. I will warn you, it's the weekend um, and the stock that we've got is it. So um, over 10% of the stock has gone and we haven't even seen these in action or learnt anymore. So I'm going to go a little <laughs> bit quiet now, Sharon, and let you explain because you kind of uh, have broken it down brilliantly because it can be a bit of a minefield when you're looking at ink pads. It, it can and there are so many different brands. You know, pretty much every company that's here on Hobby Maker has got their own brand of ink mm -hmm. pads. We all have our favourites, but I think Versafine is a staple. Yeah. You will see, you know, you'll see me use them all the time. Lots of demonstrators here. This is their kind of go-to for when they want a waterproof ink. Um, we're also all very familiar with Distress Inks. Yes. They are very much a go-to for doing techniques with. Yes. So I thought, I've got a Distress Ink here, so I'm going to explain to you what Versafine Claire actually is in terms of what type of ink it okay. is. Okay. And I'll I'll compare it to a distress because these these I feel are two products we're all quite familiar with. Um, so Verse Fine Claire is a pigment ink. Okay. There are two types of ink, pigment or dye. Your distress inks are dye inks. To further complicate things, your oxides are a blend of dye and pigment actually. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just gonna stick to the normal distress so That's I don't fine. totally confuse <laughs> everyone. So your distress is dye, these are pigment. Now, that means um, these are going to give you that crisp stamping because pigment ink, the pigment is in little particles. You'll notice it when you look at reinkers. It's hard to see on these because the bottles are a bit cloudy. Um, a pigment reinker will look opaque. Okay. It will look quite solid, whereas one for a distress ink will look like clear liquid that's just tinted. Got you. Okay. Is that because it's water-based, I suppose? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, and that means you're going to get an opaque look with a pigment ink. Okay. That's great for us crafters because, say, you want to stamp on craft card, darker card, it's more likely to show. Of course, yes. A dye ink, which you distress, if you think about your distress inks, if I, dis if I stamped this on a darker card, it's quite translucent. You yeah. kind of don't see, see it so, so boldly. Pigment sits on top of the card, which means it takes a bit longer to dry. Your dye ink sinks into your card, so it dries a bit quicker. Now... We instantly think about drying quick in terms of smudging it when you want to yes. move on. But actually, it, the other thing is you can heat emboss. You're, you can't get a great result if you're using your embossing powder to distress no, it because it dries a bit too, too quick, quickly. Yeah. 
This will take a bit longer to dry, so you can heat emboss with it. And if you've got clear embossing powder straight away, yeah. you've got... And you, yeah, you yeah. get a lovely, vibrant colour. Um, a lot of people like to heat emboss with clear powder when they're colouring in an image because it gives uh, you a little barrier. Yes. Makes it easier to colour within the lines if you're using watercolour and things. So you can do that with your verse fine. Perfect. Then the other type, the other sort of property to the ink is it's either solvent alcohol based, water based or oil based. Okay. Solvent is something like your stays on. These yeah. are the inks that are really fast drying and that you would be using on acetate, um, glass, that kind of thing. And you usually have to use a special remover for them. Don't yeah, you? they're quite things. Yeah. They're quite specialist. Yeah. I've got, I think, a couple of stays on ink pads and I very rarely use them. It's only if I want to stamp on acetate, mm -hmm. really. Um, the other properties are water or oil. So your distress inks, we all know, are water-based because that's what allows us to use them as watercolours because mm -hmm. they react with water. You can mix them. You can use lots of different techniques with them. So that's what the distress is. However, the verse fine is oil. This is what makes it waterproof. Okay. So this is why this is brilliant to use when you're colouring in your images because it's not going to bleed. It's not going to smudge with your water. Perfect. Um, now, oil is medium drying. Pigment is slower drying. So you get a kind of good in-between with, with yes, these. You'll yeah. get, um, it'll be relatively fast drying. But if you're using it on, say, like a coated card, you might want to use your heat gun on it just to yeah. make sure it's dry so you don't And that's the nature it. of the, the coated card, isn't it? it yes. It, yeah, it's not quite technique. so yeah, porous. Yeah. It's not quite so stressful either because you're not panicking trying to do everything really quickly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I've done a little board on the Verse Fine Claire. So oil-based pigment, we've kind of covered all of these things. So, and then again, the techniques, anything water-based, it means you're not gonna smudge it. So any of your water-based pens, your shimmer pens, all of those things you can do. And you can use it on both coated and uncoated cards. So it's a really so useful. It, it, it yeah. is an everyday essential. I mean, Versa by name, Versa by nature, yeah. you think about versatile. So yes, yeah, yeah, really is, sense, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Um, oh, thank so that's you for that. kind of a little bit. That of... explains it so well. So, yeah, I mean, you can see why these colours are going to be so beautiful. I mean, straight away, doing your sentiments. I love yes, it. Yes, yeah. Fine detail stamps. Again, you're going to get the properties that we're all familiar with, with your Versafine. Um, and, and that's the, the key thing. I mean, you can use it. And I'm thinking about fabrics as well, stamping onto yeah, fabrics. Yeah, it's quite good. Um, yeah. It's funny, when you look on the um, list of things to use it with, it doesn't list fabric, but I do use this on and fabric. And if you heat set it, I usually iron it I on the give back it quick just to make sure, I give yeah. it a quick blast with my heat tool because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, my iron doesn't get used. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I find it works really well. I'm, um, I quite often use like a sort of calico Sort yes, of cotton yeah. fabric for in journals and things yeah. and I use this on that all the time beautiful. and you can look at the fine detail there I mean every single one of those has been stamped out using that beautiful butterfly and every little attention to detail is there yeah and that's kind of detail that you wouldn't get necessarily if you were working with something like a distressing yeah distressing are great for stamping yeah? yeah they are more for techniques and yeah. you know I I'll go as far as to say if you're a beginner crafter, the things you need are distress inks for techniques mm. and verse fine for you every day. Absolutely. I love it. Um, loads of you going for these. Um, I am a little bit concerned that 15 minutes in, so many of them have gone. Um, it's a brilliant saving. Don't forget, as we mentioned in the past, you will have been familiar with £5.99, £6, maybe yes. £6.50 for a verse fine Claire. Um, we have got a deal for you. Originally, £70 and 27 pence brought them to you at £5 pounds and 89 pence which isn't out of the realms it's a little bit no. of a saving to be fair yes, on what I've paid. it's cheaper than i've bought them yeah. for um, but now you're looking at 49.99 to get the brand new 24 um, col uh, colors there so 2024 colors you're only paying four pounds and 17 pence each for each one now so it makes sense to go for them all because they all were beautifully alongside each other. And of course, the beauty is you can use it. You've got different tones, like the greens. You've got three greens there. So mm. if you're wanting to build up something as well, with yes. three different stamps, maybe foliage style, you've got that kind of you realism. Do. Yeah, you do. Because, um, yeah, as you say, when you're stamping leaves and things, you do quite often want at least a couple of shades of green. Absolutely. And you've got those there. I love it. 
So there we go. Um, can I say thank you as well for that explanation? Because then that was brilliant. Don't you agree? Absolutely brilliant. So yeah. I, I think ink pads are the most confusing thing when mm. you're new to crafting. Yeah. It took. It's taken me a long time to get my head around it. I have to say. It does take a while. <laughs> but but yeah. But you'll be familiar, I'm sure, with Versafine, as I say, with your black and also your, your grey. We use those all the time, so it's kind of extended. And I think well, you'll start using them in more ways than just a sentiment. Yes. Yeah. And I think when you've got some nice other colours to use, you'll start using them instead of just going with brown or black. Because yeah, it's so absolutely. easy to just have your brown or black on your desk. Oh, I'm guilty of it myself. All of us, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Now we've got the bumper bundle, but okay, you might not want to go for them all in one go. So that's why we've got the opportunity for you to get them in kind of uh, individuals, or you can get a pick and mix if you're wanting to. Um, four pounds and seventeen pence per ink pad is the most economical way to go for them, but we appreciate you might not want to go for them all. But if you do want to go for any two of those, then you can do. Um, add them into your basket at five pounds and eighty-five pence. But when you come to complete your order, the price will drop down to eight pounds and eighty-nine p. So you're looking at what four pounds and 45 pence there or thereabouts um the one that's the most um, kind of uh, vulnerable shall i say is arctic we've got relatively healthy stocks of all of the colors to be fair but it's one of those situations that if you're thinking i'm going to go for them maybe half the set now and half the set in another month then do go for the big bundle because you've got your two-way split and we can't guarantee that we will have all of the colors in a month's time and if you want to shop for them individually then obviously you can do that as well but uh, yeah um, get hold of them as you like and don't think to yourself you left high and dry we have actually got the reinkers that are available mm. as well we're not going to be um, really spending a lot of time with them because with these being brand new you might not be thinking about reinkers at this no, stage no. but they are there they're, and they're useful to have and i think for ink pads that you use a lot mm -hmm. i generally will buy a reinker yeah, for yeah. them um and i know i'm here to sell you stuff but i would say don't buy reinkers for every single ink pad no, you buy no, because no. ink pads do last a long time yeah it's only the ones that you're using fairly regularly yeah. that you're going to need to re-ink you look after at them, any yeah. time in the future i mean i i've got i've got reinkers for some of my distress inks not all of them yeah and some of my distress inks I've had 15 years yeah, from when they first yeah. came out and I haven't re-inked some just of them because there on. are colours I've just never used really. Um, so if you're going for re-inkers, I would say Portobello, San June, maybe avocado those yeah. are the ones i'd be getting re okay. for well you can get any two of those if you want we have got a little bit of a pick and mix five pounds and 79 pence each as you can see there or eight pounds and 92 pence if you're going for a couple of them i personally would say if you're looking at thinking well i'm going to go for half of those and i'm going to go for the re-inkers maybe forget about the i shouldn't be saying this should i yes, forget about the re-inkers no. for now and go for the full set yes and get the re-inkers yeah. at a later stage uh, yeah definitely yeah. we'll all have those available for you um so there you go deal is on your screen if you like the look of all of those colors well the board here will show you in the true representation of those colors and they are all absolutely gorgeous we've been chatting for nearly 20 minutes can you believe that talking about ink for 20 minutes um i'd love to see some demonstrations shall we have a little look, look at some of them because we've also got some really nice stamps on the show which are going to show these off beautifully perfect so one thing i mentioned about is if you're doing a background um, and you're using some of these kind of um, lovely vintage bits and bobs where you just want to enhance your background. Now, this is 49 a market cardstock. I had some of this on a show yesterday, actually, and it's perfect. Now, the paper has already got some kind of scripty, texty bits going on, okay. but I want to enhance that. Now, if I came in with black ink, that would be really oh, you'd be too bold, bold it? obvious. Too, too much, yeah. Um, so I'm going to choose some more subtle colours, and I think these are going to be my very much most used. Some of these. Okay. So let's do a little bit of all over some some bits and bobs. So let's go with this one. Now, we have got a variety of different stamps that are on the show as well from Stampers Anonymous. Yes. Um, so as you see them being used, you will be able to find them. Um, Alex is going to change the details around on the screen as we work our way through the demo. Um, start price on this particular one is £38.99, but the price will be dropping down to just £24.99. You're getting a lot of This stamps. is a fabulous set. Again, if you like... Um, it's funny, you know, having just been here with 49er Market and, yes. and doing a similar thing. If you like that kind of vintage feel, 
there's a lot in this set. And I love the fact that you've got such a mix of sizes. You know, you've got this really big yeah. five. You've got some nice big sort of bold, you know, Just quite funny fonts. sayings. Yeah. And then you've got some like this one here that's nice. Um, vertical. Like calendar, yeah, I like that so one. So you've got ones to fit in everywhere. Um, can I very quickly say as well, if everybody checks their baskets out with the stock that's already sold and the stock that's in baskets, over half of the stock of all of the ink pads will go. So, wow. yeah, just bear that in mind if you're hovering and hovering. Right, so I'm starting with sand dune, which is a lovely light brown. And that just blends in beautifully with the background. It's not too bold. And then Portobello, let me just grab a wet wipe so I can clean my stamps as I go. Is that a good habit to get into? Uh, yeah, I think so. Particularly if, as we're doing now, you're going to start mixing your colours about. Okay. Um, sometimes I'm a bit lazy if I'm just using black all the time. But Yeah, because you, it's like, oh, well, I'm going to use black again. I'm going to use it again bother. in a minute. But you're so right. I mean, can you imagine what you've already stamped in black? It would just, it would, it would it would just, just jump out at you, it, wouldn't it? It would drown the paper, wouldn't it? And now... It's quite, when you are doing this sort of background, it's quite good to overlap a little bit. And I'm going to come in with a slightly darker. So the Portobello, this is a lovely grey brown. Nice, yeah. I, like I it, feel yeah. like this is going to replace um, my darker brown, actually, as my sort of go-to. So I can overlap and look how oh, well yes. that works. Yep. Love it's it. just perfect, isn't it? It's that perfect the clarity that you're getting because you're using that yeah, fine clear. They're really crisp. The stamps are of really good quality rubber. So I've got literally the best the best quality things I could be doing for you're this. You're in a very happy place at the moment. I am, you can sure tell, can't you, Hayley? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I've been having a lovely weekend with all the things I've had on. Now, my one of my other favourites, I like this avocado. Okay. I always go for more of a yellowy green, so this is oh, very nice. me. So we'll do this one. I love it. Just stamping like three colours on here he's making. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. It's perfect. They're just subtle enough for this. Um, what I'll do actually is I will stamp. Let's stamp this one again in black, but I'll do it here where I'm going to cover it. And you can see <laughs> just okay. how too oh, much it is. Thank you. Because I'm going to put... A butterfly in the middle and I think here. There's not many crafters out there that won't have this ink pad that uh, you've just used there, the, the black. So if I go in with black. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. It's Especially if all the others were yeah. exactly the same. You just, you wouldn't even notice the background. You, your eye goes there. straight to yeah. that when you look at this. Yeah. So um, having these more subtle colours mm. for this kind of vintage background is just perfect. And as you're working with these, if you'd wanted to give them like a glossiness, you could go in and put... You could go over clear, with clear, clear embossing yeah, powder, clear embossing, you, you could. Now, the other one that's a lovely is Arctic. Oh, now, this is the one that when you're shopping for them individually, you don't have as healthy a stock of. It's a really nice. So let's go in the corner here. So that's a nice... That is lovely. It's That's a, a nice gorgeous blue, isn't it? Um, so you're thinking about like your Christmas projects, putting your sentiments yes, on your Christmas Yes, it's perfect for that. Cards, if you've got that icy blue look. So I think that'll do for my background. Lovely. Now I want this to look vintage. Let's put these back over here. I want this to look vintage, so I'm going to go around the edge with a bit of Distress Ink. And actually I've got my Sizzix... Um, paper distresser okay so I'm gonna scuff the edges a little bit as well lovely and this is gonna be my vintage backdrop and now oh, I'll grab some in together this is very much my uh, my style of if, so if we were to kind of come, come creeping along to your crafty cabin which sounds very creepy you know just saying it that way <laughs> and peer through the window this is the kind this of thing this is the sort of thing I'd be doing yeah yeah It's, it, it was frustrating, actually, because I had those lovely um, stamps yesterday from 49 and Market. You and I really to wanted to use these ink pads, but I thought <laughs> I can't because I'll spoil the you surprise for the today. Oh, no. um, but they would have been they would have been so perfect well, with those stamps. They were very popular so, uh, yesterday. So yeah, yeah, I know lots of you will have got them yeah. yesterday. So you might want to grab these because they're gonna they would work really well with them. I just love that kind of collection of colours there. It's perfect, isn't yeah. it? That that Portobello. I, I, I want to say to all of you, you need that one. Yeah, and you can see, I mean, there you've got the, the other side of the paper. Yeah. Any of those um, the inks that you've used there would work perfectly. They would, the side, yeah. yeah, yeah, they really would. 
it's just that lovely vintage. <laughs> Alex is peering through your window. Alex is peeping in my window. There's my little, <laughs> there's my little shed. <laughs> I have to say, and this is from first-hand experience, if you have got a, a craft room that you were looking at, whether it's a spare bedroom or whether you've got a crafty <laughs> cabin or a garage or whatever, do check out this. This is um, on your YouTube yeah, page, Yeah, it's on my it? YouTube. I did a little tour of my craft room. Yeah. Um, that's where all my distress inks are. <laughs> it's very, very, very useful. Very, definitely. But I looked at it a couple of years ago when I was getting my cabin ready. So yes, because yeah. you've got a cabin, yeah. haven't you, like Mine's me? It's not as neat as large as that one. <laughs> you wouldn't get me shooting that, a guided tour in mine. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, well, I need to cover that big, bold black because that's that's definitely too much. It's like the elephant in the room, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It just stands <laughs> out too much. So we've also got on the show this lovely set called Label Frames. Okay. And what I did is I got some light green cardstock and I stamped one of those on there. And then I went in with a craft knife and just cut the inside out. Lovely. And I think I used, was it Arctic? No, it was uh, Barley Blue. Nice. And because I've used it over green, it's kind of got that lovely like sort of turquoise tint to it. So I'm going to have a frame there and we're going to pop in it this lovely butterfly. Ooh, okay. This is another set that I use a lot. We've got this one as well, Botanic Collage. It goes so well with those sort of background yeah. vintage stamps because you've got the sort of botanical journal type text and then the, you've got two butterflies, two florals. This is one of my most used stamp sets. So what I'm going to do is stamp this twice. I'm going to stamp it on a piece to go inside the frame mm -hmm. or behind yeah. so that it covers up my big black text there. Perfect. So if I stamp it on there, I'm going to get the text. And then what I'm going to do is stamp it again so that I can fussy cut the butterfly ah, in okay. a colour. Yeah. So for the background piece, let's grab a bigger block. And there's a lot of detail in here. I mean, all a that lot. tiny text. Yes. You really want a good crisp ink for, for this sort of stamp where you've got you know that detail because not only is it fine detail but it's got a distressed look to it so yeah. it's kind of imperfect and yeah you could stamp it with any ink but the problem is that when you actually take that stamp and place it on your cardstock it can look like you've not stamped it very well yes and it's not that you've stamped it any any worse than the next person it's what you've it's actually just used the, yeah it's yeah. the quality of the ink yeah absolutely so this is going to be so i want to be quite central on here it doesn't matter that the butterfly is going off the edge because i'm going to stick one on top okay so there we go, oh, and that's the portobello nice. I've used, which I'm that telling I'm telling everyone to get. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> that is gorgeous. It's a must-have that colour. And again, because it's oh, a slightly slow, and I know I sound like I'm repeating things over and over again, but sometimes we, the, the, you shared the knowledge with us. Sometimes we kind of need to hear it over and over. Yeah, remember. It's you a do. slower drying ink, so if you it wanted is. to come in with your clear or your sparkly embossing powders, not that you would in this scenario, but you, but you, you can. can do. Yeah, you can. So I'm going to pop the frame on that, just with a bit of glue. And I've cut, the, well, this will fit perfectly. I've cut it just to fit. So that's going to cover that, like so. It's interesting what Alex has just said. I don't know whether I'm meant to share this with you or not, but he, he just said it's interesting that everybody that's shopped for these have gone for the big bundle. Nobody's done I mixes. Yeah, I, I think you've got such a good mix of colours in here, actually. I think I, I'd find it hard to choose. And I think, you know, I've shown you with that background, you're kind of, I think you're going to use all of these colours. Yeah. It's not like quite often when you buy set yeah you know so I, I said earlier with some of my distress inks there are some colors I just don't use yeah um, or very rarely use I know I'm going to use all of these mm. now this very peri very peri I love the name color anyway because Let's it's very much board. it's uh, very much a sort of lilac like a bluebell color this is one of those clever colors that kind of morphs depending on what you're yes. using with it so it depends on the yes. background next to the the kind of the the lilac one that we've got there it looks quite purpley yeah I imagine that if you put it with more of a blue tone or a gray yes. tone paper it would look more of a blue it would pick out more yeah. blue yeah it, it's almost a, like a denim it's a color isn't it it's gorgeous. yeah it's a very versatile color so I'm going to just stamp this on a piece of 
white smooth cardstock. This is Personal Impressions um, smooth cardstock. Okay. Oh, wow. And that's given me my butterfly. Can I just, Dan, sorry, I'm not, I'm directing again from the floor. Can we get in and show the detail? From this, because this is the not on the, the, on the vein, I yeah. don't know if they're called veins, but the, the actual kind of veins and the detail. The Chris, I mean, this is obviously it's an amazing stamp to start with, but look at that. That's what you want. Is Maybe that? not out of focus, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get in that. Close, Everyone's a critic, eh? <laughs> but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can see there's a little bit of brown on the on the left hand side where I hadn't that's cleaned right. my stamp properly. That's but it okay, shows you the worry. detail, doesn't it? That yeah, it, it's, that is beautiful. It's a really Dan, crisp. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. So to Amazing. save time, I've done one and I've cut it out okay. already. And then what I'm going to do, you could go in with foam pads. So I'm just going to go in with a bit of PVA glue. And I'm going to pop that over the top, line it up with that one. You didn't cut out the antenna? No, because I've got them there in brown. <laughs> I thought I could get away with that. <laughs> Life's definitely too short oh, for gosh, that. No. So that can pop over the top. And then I've got a really that. nice sort of vintage feel card. It's beautiful. And if you look at the, the stamping I did in the background, none of that is jumping out at no, you. No, that looks amazing. But then if you wanted to come in and add watercolour to it or anything, yes, you can do. You can do, yeah, and that's the, the other ink. thing. How many times, and I know I've done it myself, I've done stamping like that with Distress Ink, then I've decided to go in with a spritz or yes. a spray, yeah. and I've, I've wiped out all my stamping because it just dissolves but in the water. You don't always know what you're going to be doing when you no. start a project, do you? So no. it's, it's good to know that you mm. kind of, uh, the ink that you've got allows you to kind of adapt the design as you go. Um, and we're looking at these beautiful ink pads. If you have just joined us, my goodness, thank goodness you've come at least, well, halfway through the show, but we have got the ability for you to get hold of these still. Um, they are flying out, um, and when everybody completes their, their order, uh, then we could potentially find that we're going to miss out on these. It's part of Liam's birthday celebration, 30 before 30, um, and he's bringing us some amazing deals. And these are brand new releases. So to be honest, we don't need to drop the price with these. They are worth every single no. penny of that £5.89 original price, which was over £70. Um, but what you, you will find, I mean, that eight, five, as I say, £5.89 uh, is less than you'd normally pay. Normally it'd be £5.99, £6.50 um, quite easily. You could be paying for each one of these but what we've got is a discounted bundle which now means that you are only paying four pounds and 17 pence per ink pad now you do have the ability to do a pick and mix if you want to it gives you a price of four pounds and 45 pence i think it was um, but to be honest you're all going for the bumper bad um, pack because it's the most affordable way to work with these now sharon was kind enough to impart some of her inky knowledge if you will at the beginning of the show which you can go back and watch at your leisure where she was explaining the benefits of working with these beautiful inks because these are slower drying so they are these capabilities they're pigment inks which means they dry a bit slower and the ink sits on the surface of the cardstock that means it's going to give you an opaque finish and that's why you get this lovely crisp detailed stamp so they're great for sentiments um, but they're oil based which means they're waterproof Perfect. so they are they are ideal for all of your stamping where you want to colour in your image. They're great for your sentiments because you get that crispness. Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of sentiment stamps are very detailed, aren't they, and very fine. Mm. So they're perfect for that. Um, and again, if you wanted to add things like your clear embossing powder, your sparkly embossing powders, then you can do so. That doesn't mean that you have to have a whole myriad of uh, embossing powders either, does no, it? No, no. Clear embossing powder and you've got you colour. Go, yeah. um, and I think if you're not great at heat embossing, Clear is much more forgiving oh, than yes. going in with a coloured embossing Absolutely. powder. Yeah, because you have the flecks. And yeah, the, yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about all those flecks of you know. Especially if you don't use um, a little static. static powder. I always yeah. forget. So as I'm putting the embossing powder on top, I suddenly think I didn't oh, I use have a done static, static powder. powder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, clear powder is very forgiving. So if if you do it this way round and use coloured ink and clear powder. 
it, it's it's oh, much more, more now, full -proof. We are talking full-size ink pads with these as well. So we're not looking at mini ink pads or anything like that. You get in the complete range for only paying £4.17 per ink pad. And these are the brand new colours, which I know you are going to love. Brand new for 2024. Um, I love that kind of sa that sand dune. It's almost like a peachy tone. It's I love lovely, it. It's lovely soft. Yeah. yeah it's, it's great for no-line colouring, that one, because it is very... Um, kind of neutral at the bottom. yeah it's that one it's a very neutral one and it is the ideal shade for no line coloring because you mm. can see it quite clearly yes yeah but by the time you've colored with it you won't see it so well yeah absolutely beautiful i love it so what's next then well should we do some heat embossing oh, yeah, and let's do um it. show off the opaqueness and the um the ability to heat emboss so lovely i've got a piece of craft card that's just going to fit nicely on my card front and I thought we'll do a background on here with one of the leaves. This set is called Sketchy Leaves. It's another okay. one we've got on the show. And I'm going to use this little leaf here. Okay. We're going to do this one as our focal point. But for my background, I'm going to go in with this smaller one. So I'm going to basically create my own background. And let's go, I think avocado is my favourite green. So we'll go in with this. Now you can see as I'm inking this up quite how juicy these are. Beautiful. And look at that detail. And They're that really lovely. So I'm coming kind of off the edge so that it looks oh wow, like a patterned paper in the background. And I'm just going to turn my stamp, kind of go different ways as I go around. It's lovely because you're still getting that true green on it. It's you are, yes, because if I, if I were using um, like a distress ink, it would it it wouldn't be green. They look a bit muddy, don't they? Especially they like lose the colour, color. don't they? No. Yeah. Uh, let's do one right in the middle. Let's go around that way. Nice. This is a lovely green colour. This avocado. Oh, this is this is avocado. Nice. Yeah, it's got that little kind of touch of yellow in with it. Hasn't yeah, it? it's really pretty. And could you, if you wanted to, you know, that we do ombre effects and things like that. Could you do that on a stamp if you wanted to? Could yes. Stamp up different colours in different areas. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could. And I have to say, these are quite a good size for that because they're mm. not too big. Yeah. They're nice to hold actually as well. There we go. So that's a nice background. I like it. And the green shows up nicely, and that's because it's a pigment ink. The colours sitting on top of the card rather than sinking into the card. Perfect. Love that, so. just in its own right. Mm, it's lovely, isn't it? And those colours really do pop because, as I say, craft card can quite can kind of like be draining almost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just get a very vague hint of what the colour is meant to, to be. You tend to stamp on white card and then matte and layer it on craft yes. card, don't you? Or yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Okay. So that's a lovely background, and I think that green goes so well with craft. Lovely. I know we're saying it's slower drying, but you can see you, you haven't needed to take your heat gun no, or anything like no. that. No, it's um, because craft card as well is quite um, porous. It, I haven't got to sort of get my heat tool out okay. to dry it. If but you're if using glossy, coated, yeah, yeah, if it was a glossy card, I would give it a quick blast okay. with my heat tool just to make sure I'm not going to smudge it. Let's get that ink off my mat because I'll put everything straight in that otherwise. <laughs> So that's a fabulous background. Now I've gone a bit quiet because I was letting Sharon do all her all her education because it's interesting, interesting and important to know. Um, but sorry, Alex, what was that update? I've missed a couple of updates. So you know, I said like if everybody <laughs> checks out their basket, half the stock has gone. We're actually looking at the situation where seventy percent of the stock has gone. I do apologise, but yeah, I've just kind of been hanging on every <laughs> word. Really, so, well, not Alex's words, Sharon's words, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm going to do a lovely big focal point and I'm going to bring in the red. Oh, wow. Strawberry. Okay. Oh, look at that. This is lovely. Now on the craft card, it does look a bit more like a darker red, actually. Okay. Than, um, than it looks on the swatch. Um, it's a quite a pinky. It. Yeah. yeah, it's quite a pinky red, actually. Mm. It's kind of what I would call a true red, really. Mm. Um, it's a lovely that. red. But on the craft, it obviously darkens it a little bit. So I'm going to stamp that. Isn't that beautiful. <gasps> wow. Now, while that's wet, I'm going to bring in my clear embossing powder. Okay. Because this will look beautiful if it's a bit shiny. So this is going to take long enough to dry 
that I can go in with my clear powder all over. So that's nice. Oh, and there covered. we are. You see, that's covered. And you it weren't kind of speedy, speedy, quick, panicky. No, it wasn't kind of <laughs> rushing quick, get the powder on before yeah. it dries. You do get, you know, a few minutes. You get long enough. In the past, it might be that you've had to take the lid off your embossing powder before you. Yes, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm standing on your camera. do that every time. <laughs> um, now, when you're heat embossing, a top tip put your gun on but don't put it near your cards okay. until it's hot because so many of us turn this on put it on there and it's not even hot yet yeah you're going to blow some of the powder off oh, your, your card's going to yeah. walk wait till it's good and hot then bring it in and then Let it do look at thing. that oh look at that i mean it's magical isn't it i never get bored of this so what you're doing now is protecting that. So if you wanted to do like yes. a wash over the top of it or something yes, like that. Yes, you, you could come in over. So that's all melted and it's got that lovely shine now. Really that pretty. That is gorgeous. I've got one I did before. Lovely. If you don't want to watch me fussy cutting, that's a bit boring. <laughs> so I did one before. This is a lovely autumnal card, isn't it? I love it. It'd be great for a nice October birthday or something. And as Hayley said, if I'd wanted to, I could have gone in with like a yellow, mm. a red and a green all in yeah. one on there because there's enough space on this stamp to have gone in with a few colours. So I'm just going to pop some foam pads on the back of this. I think you're going to find yourself using Verse Fine Clay way more than you used to use. I I if, think if you so. like me, because yeah, I'm just my, my mind's going into overdrive now. Because I'm really thinking about the black. I used the black for for, a, for ages, years and years. I used the black, and then I invested in almost. A, I can't remember what the colour was now. It's like the kind of a, a, like a, a coffee colour, um, and then it was a case of the grey as well. Was it espresso? Is that the, was that one of the colours? Yes, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think it was something like that. Um, but so, yeah, beautiful. Sorry, <laughs> 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 that's what we wanted to say. Beautiful. The colours are gorgeous, lovely, aren't they? Isn't it? And of course, you've got that lovely kind of glossiness yeah, that you've the got shine from, the, from the embossing. From the embossing there as well. But you haven't lost any of the detail. No, no. It's still got that sketchiness. It's still got that crisp, really crisp stamping. And, and you know, when you look at those leaves, it. they've got all the little veins. That, there's a lot of detail so, to those. So, I mean, you, you haven't done yourself any favours. Craft card, one of the most porous cards that you can work with. If you were to try to stamp that out, maybe with one of your distress inks, you wouldn't. You just, you just powder using wouldn't it for stick. a background. The yeah, powder wouldn't would, stick it would either. Be yeah, too dry. Yeah. Would, yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah. But there you go. Try out those different techniques. And, and yeah, this is the key thing. Learn from the, um, what your ink pads can do and you will really, really extend your skills. Um, but of course, this is a brand new set that we're sharing with you. The 2024 release from Verse Fine Claire. Um, beautiful colours, as you can see. Softer tones than uh, the, the ones that we're used to with regards to the, the main ink pads that we've used in the past. But I think this will make you start using them even more. So. I in think the past, so. we've just used them for sentiments, and you can still use them for your sentiments, but you've got a sentiment that the same colour then of the background paper that you're using, or um, the, um, the background that you've created, maybe using some of your distress inks, things are going to be so kind of tuned in. I think so, and I have to say, I'm going to keep these on my desk now. Yes. Because I quite often do little bits and bobs in the backgrounds, yeah. because I like the vintage look. So... Um, I'm definitely going to keep these on my desk. Very exciting having them. Very exciting. And as I said in the past, um, quite easily, if you've gone for the black, the espresso, the uh, storm grey, I think is one of the ones I've mm. got as well. Um, it is a case of that you would have paid probably 5 99 if you were fortunate, maybe as much as 6 50 yeah. for each of those individual colours. And the bundle that we've got, when we started the show, we bought your price of just over £70, which equates to £5.89 each, which is a good price to start with, to be fair. But then what we've done is we've got a fabulous deal because Liam's 30th is bringing all sorts of wonderful deals and this is one of the 30 deals that he's bringing before his 30th birthday dropping them down to 49 pounds and 99p means that you are paying just four pounds and 17 pence now per ink pad now we have got the ability for you to do a pick and mix if you're wanting to but that brings them down to about four pounds and 45p so you will collect these as time goes on um, so the most economical way is to get them as the bundle and you've got split pay as well which makes it a little bit more affordable um, on the uh, um, when you're using it, going for it. So, ink, um, inks, yeah, inks, try stamps. again, stamps. 
Um, these are the ones that Shan was using within her demonstration, and the price has already dropped down on your screen, as you can see. Um, red rubber stamps Red as well. rubber, Stampers Anonymous. Stampers Anonymous, Tim Holtz has worked with Stampers Anonymous for years. Red rubber is kind of the highest quality of stamp you can get. We're all used to the clear stamps, and they are fabulous as well. The beauty of red rubber is, um, you know, you saw on that leaf, you get really crisp detail. Yeah, yeah. Also, if you want to do certain techniques like stamping into hot embossing powder, yes, things like yeah. that, you can't do that with the clear. No. You need the red rubber. The red rubber is kind of more durable. Um, Tim has always had his stamps in red rubber. The other thing I love about Stampers Anonymous is they never retire sets. Mm -hmm. So you can always go back and get a set if you see it. They're all numbered. They all come on their own storage. Well, if you, if you look at the, that. Yeah, yes, yeah, they do. The, they? Um, yeah. There are holes in here. You can put these in a ring binder if you want to. So you don't have to buy separate storage to put these in. The stamps cling to the plastic and you can literally put them in a ring binder. If you are, like me, a bit of a collector of them, they're all numbered, so you can file them sort of in number order, flip through them, find what you want. And if people are used to using a stamp platform and they've used their clear stamps in the past, can we still use You um, can. Those? Generally, um, with a stamp platform, you've got a foam insert. You take the foam insert out when you're using these because these have already got like a, a cling on them. They're a bit right. thicker than a clear stamp. So, yeah, if you're using something like a Misty, say the brand name, yeah. uh, there's a foam insert. If you're using the Sizzix stamp platform, which we had back in stock yeah. yesterday. And we had a conversation about this. Yes, so. with the Sizzix platform, because it's so long, you just need to be towards the bottom half of it. So the bit that's closest to yeah, you. Yeah, because it gives you more, it's further away from the hinge, you've got more the ability for the so thicker. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, if they are new to you, um, the red rubber stamps, then yeah, don't, don't worry about it. You're gonna be able to use them in the same way. This is a set that's really useful. It's really useful. It's great for just framing anything on your card front. Lovely for tags. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you've, I, like the Tim Holtz, um, the lovely cream color uh, tags yeah. that, that we quite often have on. They're great for sort of adding on to those for detail. And um, they've got a bit of a distressed look to them as well, which I like. Absolutely. And of course, you were using the butterflies and the script. Yes, I consider a must-have. This is absolutely one of my favourites. I mean, I, I know I bore everyone to death saying that I love the sort of <laughs> botanical feel, the vintage feel. But this is so up my street. Love it. Loads of uh, detail, as you can see in there. And as we saw with the, the card that you made, incredible amount of detail. And wouldn't that one go beautifully with all the 49er market stuff that yes. we had yesterday? It's, yeah. it's along the same sort of yeah. style. Absolutely. Um, again, they're still red rubber. And again, they are still on that um, kind of uh, cling sheet that you're going to be able to use for your storage capacity. Um, and then, of course, we've just seen um, a oh, um, that one's coming down to 24.99 as well. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Um, the next one that we've got with the leaves that you worked with as well. I like the mix of sizes here as well because I used that smaller one um, for the background, but then this is a great big bowl. It's gorgeous. Yeah, really um, lovely. Again, um, dropping that price from 31 99 down to 24 99 So definitely do do look at those. The stamps that you've got at home, you're going to be looking at in finer detail. I know I'm supposed to be selling you these stamps, but it will open up all sorts of possibilities mm. now when you've got the ability to stamp yes, such beautiful with crisp, crisp images. Detail, yeah. 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 But these are brilliant ones. These are going to be brilliant if you're using that kind of like the paler tone, like the sand dune, to do Very watercolour much to painting. give that sort of yeah. no line colouring. Um, I used one of these on the Himmy show earlier, actually. Oh, OK. They're lovely to colour in, and it was Gorgeous. just perfect to yeah. do a bit of watercolouring with. Like so, it. yes, absolutely nice perfect. Areas. Yeah. Um, 24 99 that price has dropped down. And then one last set. We're going large, we're going bold. This is big <laughs> and bold. And I love the brush stroke sort of look to this. It's got a very distressed vintage feel to it because you've got the sort of mist bits where you can see like the brush marks. Yes, yeah. Do like that one. 24 99 again. They are individual. Are they individual stamps on those ones? Yes, they yes, are. Yes, they yeah. are. I wasn't too yeah. sure for me. They're, they're, they're that neat. Oh, yeah. You can see they, them yeah. You have to pop them out. I actually take away the excess. Oh, um, okay. There are good idea. There yeah. are two different types of crafters. Those that keep the whole red rubber sheet on so they can pop these back in. I find that slows me down. <laughs> so I take away the rubber and just have these on here because they stick really well to this. Yeah, so. love it. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Sharon. Now, we've got probably about eight minutes or so left. Have you got Well, I else? thought what we'd do is use this, actually, to show you the colours. Oh, OK, yeah. Because um, 
we could work our way through the colours because I know particularly if you're doing a pick and mix, you probably want a really good look at the colours in action. That's a good point. Um, while you're looking at the demonstration, can I say, you might want to speed up checking out your baskets because 80% of the stock has gone. Um, I haven't been banging on and giving you updates and things. I know potentially I should have uh, been, but sometimes it can be a bit of a rotation, I know. Um, but when we've only got 20% of the original stock left, you really do need to bear in mind that the next 10 minutes of the show could be the, the, the time that you check your basket out. Because what will happen is, when we get to the end of the hour... Um, and the break between the two shows, most of you will be checking out your baskets at that stage. And as you probably know, um, if you've got 500 people with these in the baskets and we've only got, I don't know, 10 opportunities left, just because it's in your basket doesn't mean it is guaranteed to be yours. It will be the first 10 people to check out those um, baskets. So that's the way it works here. It's fair. Yes. Right. So let's start with baby pink. Lovely. And these, because these are such big, bold numbers, it's a good... It's a good way to get a look at the colours. So we'll start here. If there's anything I can do to help, just Ooh. say. Oh, I'm going to swap to my bigger block, actually, so I don't do that. That not that lovely? You then. <laughs> it's the perfect um, kind of pale pink, but it's not too pale. It's like a rose, yeah, rose pink, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, sometimes I'm looking at it thinking it's very flamingo, but then I'm thinking it's mm, very could be. Yeah, and, yeah, it has got a bluish tinge mm. to it. Then we've got Hawthorne Rose. Now, this I love because I do like a sort of dusky pink, um, like a purpley pink. Mm -hmm. So this is Hawthorne Rose. Oh, nice. Lovely, isn't it? I would like a lipstick in that colour. Yeah, that's the kind of <laughs> lipstick colour I go for, yeah, actually. it's nice. A bit of a, like a mauvey, yeah. mauvey pink. So... Number three. Three. Going this is the strawberry. Wonderful. I love the way that you've arranged them in colours now as well. Yes, I'm going to have a word with Jimmy because he should have put those on the display in rainbow oh, order. He wouldn't have <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'll put it in sort of families so you can see. See, this is a fabulous background in its own right. It is, it? isn't yeah. it? Wouldn't this be a great yeah. background for a nice modern fresh card? So that was strawberry. Then we've got... Lilac bloom. Mm. Now, if you have got a bit of a colour residue on there, is it anything that you need to worry about? No, not at all. No, not so at all. So it's not going to be reactivated when you come back in with another ink pad or anything like that? No. Okay. No. No. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely, kind of a mm, bluish, bluish lilac. Mm, yeah. And then the next one, very peri is even more kind of... Um, I love these stamps as well. I mean, these would be fabulous. They're great, aren't like they? A, a yearbook for somebody's special birthday or something yes. like that. Yes. They're nice, big, bold letters. Yeah. Great, uh, letters, numbers. Great, yeah, great for a big birthday or yeah. something like that. But yeah, some colours you will find, you will see the colour still on your stamp when you clean it. But mm -hmm. yeah, you've actually cleaned the ink off, so... It's fine. And that's the nature of it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. nice. I like it's a lovely that. blue, as you say, a bit, a bit like a denim it's sort of. Mine's periwinkle or something like that. that yeah, I yeah. think that's what the peri, very peri. It is that bluey, mm. bluey purple, which I like. And then we've got barley blue. Now, this one confused me because barley, I was thinking about barley that grows in a field. Oh, like barley, yellow barley, yeah. Yeah, we can take, <laughs> take the girl out of Redditch, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not barley as in um, the holiday destination. Yes, and this is a lovely tropical... <laughs> See, that, that's, that ain't um, Ara Valley Lake, is it, that? <laughs> no, that is a lovely turquoise sea, oh, isn't it? yes. So, that's barley. Then we've got Arctic. Oh, OK. Where are we up to? Number seven. I'll have to go back to one when we get to nine, because we've got 12, haven't we? Oh, gosh, yeah, I might have to squeeze them in. I'll just get back to one rather than doing That's double figures, yeah. double digits. Well, we're running out of time. We're running out yeah. of stock as well, to be we're fair. Running so stock, we're running out stock of time. could go before you get to number 11, to be fair. <laughs> Arctic, I think that is a very nice, um, yeah. crisp, light mm. blue. Does make me feel, I mean, Arctic is the perfect name because it, it has got that cool blue feel to I it. I think that's one that you'll find yourself doing your sentiments in if you're doing kind of like a blue theme Christmas Yes, project. it does make me think mm. of snowflakes yeah. and Christmas and 
yeah, if you were stamping snowflakes in the background. Yeah. And if you've got one of those kind of like what I call reverse stamps, you know, the ones where maybe it's a, a full background, but you've almost got the snowflakes yes. out of it. You, you'd need the crispness of this one. Oh, now I like that. Now that's oh, avocado. That the avocado. That's, that's really my favourite of the yeah. greens. Then we've got grass. This is a what I would call a proper proper grass green. A little bit of clover in there. Yes. Yeah. And you can see how juicy these are. They stamp beautifully, yeah. don't they? All so of it. See, when you look at the strawberry um, and the grass green alongside it, that's Christmas, yeah, that, isn't it? Yeah, that absolutely is your Christmas colours. And actually, the next one's Christmas too because we've got um, spruce. Spruce. So this is very Christmas too. This is your this is your Christmas tree green. Like the evergreen, isn't it, this one? Yeah, yeah dark pine, green. Pine green. lovely isn't yeah. it and it's kind of got a teal to, teal tone to it i love that it's nice isn't it i've just noticed as well you've got um two because quite often when you get a set the, the the number six and the number nine tend to be the same stamp you just yes like to it round, you've got you? both in this yeah. set which i like so we'll go back to one now we've got our neutrals so the lighter one is the sand dune this is a really pretty color i think this is this is your no no line coloring color yeah. this is very subtle. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? It's nice like a one talk if you've got sort of colour. Stamps as well, I, I guess, with that one, if you wanted a pale as Yeah, tone, I would like say, um, like the Tracy Hay stamps, this mm. would be a perfect one for stamping yeah. little bunnies and yeah. things like that. And then finally, Portobello. This is the one that I'm telling everyone you have to have. <laughs> this is your new brown. Well, everybody's going for all of them. So, yeah, <laughs> they'll have this one I don't too. think I'd be able to choose. Actually, I'd have to go for all of them. Yeah, it makes sense to go for them all. Oh, yeah. That's, That's your new brown. Fabulous. They've hit, really hit the nail on the head with that kind They're of range. They're beautiful colours, aren't they? they? Yeah. Really beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, those are all 12 of your colours. Um, so you've got everything that we spoke of before. You've got your baby pink, you've got your hawthorn rose, strawberry, avocado, grass green. This isn't the order that um, they've been stamped out in. Um, spruce, arctic, barley blue, very peri, lilac bloom, sand dune and portobello as well. Um, and you'll use them all. You will. I think you will find yourself using more. Um, when you look at these and you look at the crispness that you've got with the actual stamped out images. Yes. And again, the brush strokes are the ones that you've just used. Yeah, yeah. They're really versatile, aren't they? Really fabulous. And for anybody that's just joined us, we've only got a few moments left. I don't mind if we run into the next hour, to be honest, because I'm on my own. But the stock means that we probably won't be able to run over. Um, what are the main properties that we need to consider with the Versifying Claire? So the Versifying Claire is very much your everyday ink because it's a pigment ink you're going to get nice crisp stamping it's opaque the ink sits on top of the card rather than sinks in so that's what gives us this really vivid color you know you can see the colors on here are very true um quite often when you stamp with a dye ink it looks blotchy yes you quite often have yeah. to double stamp with a with a dye ink yes because it kind of sinks into the cardstock looks a bit blotchy then it tends to smooth out as it dries these go on straight away true color perfect bright color as it as it's meant to be um the other thing that's key really for most of us is that they're waterproof yes they're yeah. oil based so that means you can go in with all of your watercolors you can use your distress inks with them you can use your sprays your spritzes and you're not going to affect your stamping. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And they are great for detail. Absolutely. You get that crisp, well, you fine can see detail. There. Absolutely incredible. And I love that little butterfly as well. Um, we are now in the situation, well, we're quite close to the situation, that if everybody checks their baskets out, they will have sold out. So there's lots of people that are out and about today. It's been a lovely day, beautifully warm, um, popping back maybe from your Sunday lunch. I know I said that yesterday. You said that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my days mixed up. Um, so people will be coming back and revisiting the show because this is one of those shows that people will have made a note of. Definitely. Um, wanting to tune in. So, yeah, you are watching us live. So you've got the added advantage that you can check your basket out get first dibs on those opportunities if you will um, so please while we've got the break do check out your baskets make sure that they are on your way to you and then do a little kind of yes 
I got them because you're always saying that when you have got hold of them. Sean, yeah. thank you so much. When are you thank back you. with us again? I'm back next Sunday. Oh, so you've got a bit of a week to yourself. And I've got something really exciting from Sizzix next Sunday. Love it. Something new. Love it when Sharon comes. She always brings lots of goodness with us. <laughs> so, yeah, um, do make sure you're checking your baskets out. Well done to everybody that took advantage of those. I will see you after the break. And if you fancy taking advantage of some amazing deals, you will definitely want to stay tuned. I'll see you the other side of this. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobbymaker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Hobbymaker are on the search for the crafting stars of the future with our Junior Crafter of the Year competition. Winners will appear live on screen in the Hobbymaker studio and also you'll get a goodie bag with about £100 worth of arts and craft stuff in it too. How good is that? To be in with a chance of winning, simply send us a photo of what you've made and we're giving you full creative control. But you do need to use one item that you bought here at Hobbymaker. There are three age categories to enter up to 9 years, 10 to 13 years, 14 to 16 years. Email your entries to marketing at hobbymaker.co.uk by the 7th of October 2024, making sure to include as many photos as you like of your design, a short description of your design, for example, what it is, how you made it and where you got your inspiration, your name, age, name and contact details of your parent or guardian, Winners and runners-up will be notified by the 21st of October 2024. One winner from each category will have the opportunity to appear live on screen in the Hobbymaker studio and receive £100 worth of art and craft essentials. One runner-up from each category will win £50 worth of art and craft essentials too. So what are you waiting for? Good luck one and all. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Did you know at Hobbymaker that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So, shop your way with split pay. Hello there and welcome. Welcome to Haley's Happy Hour. I am happy all day though, just not just for one hour. So please don't, uh, please don't think that I'm miserable for the rest of the day. I'm not. I'm a very happy person. But what it means is, you can see that clock has already been activated. We only have an hour at the prices that we are going to be bringing to you. So everything has been activated already. It's all on the website. 
in the, the arrows quite often we're familiar with the kind of the price dropping down the chevrons appearing it's already happened behind the scenes so the price that is on your screen is the price that you're going to be paying so when you're looking at some of these elements there um, you can see the prices drop down we've got the little handle there 2.99 we've got the fabulous um, sequins there those have dropped down to 3.99 we've got an amazing bundle of craft tools from hunky dory dropped down to 34.99 so you'll get the idea of what i'm talking about the prices are uh, that one pound price, that one pound price for the we are um, a a kind of metallic um, board that you can be able to use your quill with, you're looking at a pound for that. You've got six pieces in there, um, and if you've got a quill already, you've probably got that. But have you seen that glass mat? on the website already 24.99 now you might look at it and you think okay yeah it's a nice little uh, nice little uh, kind of work area it's huge it is huge got the details up on the screen i've got it in front of me here so it's a glass mat so straight away we know the benefits of having those but shall i just bring in an a4 sheet so as you can see the size of it hello this is brilliant brilliant now you've got your inches you've got your centimeters you've got your grid work on this as well we've also got a nice open area here which it's because being an american brand i'm guessing that that's more of a letter width size very very slightly um, shallower than an a4 but that's the difference between letter size and a4 but you've got that open area there with that white area so if you're mixing your inks and things like that using it as a palette you've got that area there you've got your area over here so when your cardstock is going down you might be taping it down with your your masking tape and things like that you've got a huge area not just for your cardstock but to bring that ink in as we often do you don't want it to be a seven um kind of like an a4 size should i say you need it to be oversized to be able to bring those inks in and that's exactly what you've got with this the overall size of this is it's a whopping great 22 inches across as you can see there and it's 16 inches in height so if you want that in metric you're looking at going from one cent centimeter there right the way down to 40 centimeters and then on the width you're going at 56 um, centimeters slightly oversized because obviously you've got the edges in but there you go look at this you've got your area that you're going to be able to work with your um, as in your palette but then you've got your work area where you can actually lay down everything that you're needing to work with it's a glass cutting mat so you can use it for all of those scenarios where you're going to include heat so heat embossing things like that maybe you're going to be cutting as well you're going to be able to use it with that so if you do fancy getting hold of it um, then obviously the benefits of this is phenomenal comes boxed as well so if it is a case that you're thinking of giving it as a gift then you can do using things like your heat gun it's going to protect your not your heat gun your hot glue gun should i say it's going to protect your surface if you're using things like your metal ruler and your craft knife Often you will get a much crisper cut when you're cutting into glass rather than um, a, a kind of um, match, you know, the, like the, the self-heal mats. You'll get a much crisper um, cut, so that's perfect for that. Mixing your inks, as you can see, with regards to this. You've got your grid work there, so perfect with regards to your, your measurements. Using your acrylic inks, your watercolour inks, your ink pads, all of these are areas that you can be able to use. You could even mix, you know, when you've got things like your mediums that you might be using your gel mediums your pastes adding your colors you've got a huge area there that you can use as that palette all there ready for you to work with it's a brilliant area and i can't get over the price that we've got with this now after this out it will go up to its full price again um, of which was 44 pounds and 99p i think it was so don't miss out on it it's a happy hour so that means the prices that we've got for you are just for this hour and as you can see it's skid free it's metric and imperial you've got a large work area you've got a mixing area and the thing that i forgot to mention it's easy to clean and that is one of the biggies isn't it as a crafter take advantage of that deal well you've got the opportunity though folks because when the stock has gone the stock has gone and you only have an hour to get it at that particular price as well and just to reiterate if you're working with a4 cardstock you can see See you've got a huge amount of area around it as you can see there so a brilliant mat covering up your work area definitely worth going for especially at 24 pounds and 99 pence so why are you adding that into your basket shall i show you this bumper bundle that we've got here because this bumper bundle that we've got from hunky dory i saw it was a good bundle i saw there was a lot of elements to it 
didn't realize just how big the bundle was. So you're going to get all of the elements here. You're also going to get a self-heal mat, which um, we did touch on a few moments ago. But you're going to get all of this goodness with it as well. So price on your screen, $34.99. The price has already been dropped down. But when we get to 9 o'clock this evening, it will go back up in price, which means you're going to be paying that higher price after the hour. So check out um, before we, we, we say hello to 9 o'clock, if you will. So you have got a, a price point that usually is uh, just over £80, £80 and 91 pence, I believe. You've got a 12 by 12 cutting mat. You've got a precision craft knife. You've got your metal edge ruler, which is key when you're using a craft knife. You've got your rainbow scissor set, which are amazing because the blades have got that gorgeous kind of holographic look, which look fabulous. A three-in-one dye brush. We see people using those all the time here um, at um, Hobby Maker. Um, and you've got your, um, your embossing and shaping tool, so it gives you the opportunity to shape um, your petals and things. You've actually got a pack of three of those. You've got a corner rounder, maxi and mini. So if you're wanting to round off the corner of your cardstock, you can do. Um, and then you've got your inverted corner rounder, which is almost like your photo corner. It comes in rather than goes out, if that makes sense. So brilliant to work alongside um, the glass mat because having a, a metal edge and a blade, you can use it obviously with the, your, your, your self-healing mat if you want. But if you're in your craft room, I would potentially be using the glass mat and maybe taking this one um, on your travels. It has got some nice sizes on there, though, because it's talking about things like your, um, your, your card sizes, 5x7, A5, 7x7. They're all detailed on there. Um, and also on the flip side, you have got your um, metric as well. So they're all on there. Neatly packaged, so if you don't need it, give it as a gift to somebody. Um, but all part of that $34.99. So you've got that to start with. The scissors... These have got this almost, it's almost like a mermaid effect, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful kind of finish. Large scissors, as you can see, medium size, and then the very, very tight um, precision ones that you've got in here as well. So eight and a half inch blades, seven inch blades, and five and a half inch blades as well for your finer detail projects. In addition to that, you've got your craft knife, so you can get right into the nitty gritty as well with that. That is something that is key to use alongside your metal edged ruler because they kind of go um, hand in hand, tandem if you will, because it is something that you shouldn't be using um, a metal edge. Um, uh, or, or, to be honest, you shouldn't be using an acrylic ruler, should I say, with a, um, a craft knife. Having that met metallic edge or the metal edge, should I may, uh, say, means that you're not going to cut into the ruler itself. Um, and it's a brilliant one because it's got metric as well as um, imperial. Can I pop it down? Hold on. No, I've got some cardstock. There we go. Let's do that. Because that shows you that you've got your imperial as well as your um, metric, so your centimetres and inches. But look at the grid work. It's not often you get that on a ruler, is it? means that you can be able to line up perfection. So if you try and do an edge and you're wanting to, to kind of line it up, you can literally take it. I'm doing it in a very kind of cag-handed way. I can line up the edge. So I've got the edge lined up there, and I know that it's perfectly straight then because of the, the, the kind of grid work that you've got on there. Obviously, from Hunky Door, we know it's quality. So, um, And I think it might have a grippy bit in the middle as well. There's a black line there. Not entirely sure. What else have we got? Punches. So you've got your um, corner punches, and these are going to give you um, two rounded corners, as you can see with these. So you've got a, a smaller one and a larger one, depending on how uh, kind of curved you want that corner to, do, to be. Mini one and a mega one, and I think you can take the covers off those if you wanted to. So this larger one is 8 millimeter in the radius, and the smaller one is 5.5, and you can use them on cardstock up to 250 GSM. So you simply pop your card into that little kind of corner piece there, and it lines up perfectly, it means you give, uh, get a really precise uh, corner. You will find that you'll use it on all your cardstock, though, because you'll suddenly won't want square, those kind of harsh edges. You'll want them curved. So, yeah, you've got those in there as well. And I think you've got an inverted one as well, haven't you? I haven't got the inverted one here, so not quite sure where that is. But, uh, but it is on the image. You can see it there. Now, when it comes to shaping, we've spoken about um, kind of shaping the corners of our mats and layers. This is the perfect way for you to actually shape your petals and your leaves and things like that. Now, you've got double-ended tools. 
You're going from two millimetre right the way through to 12 millimetre. You've got a six, well, they double up, so you've got a two and a six, you've got a three and an eight, and then you've got an eight and a, um, a 12. So it's nice if you're wanting to kind of flip it rather than trying to find the right ball tool, you just flip them over. And of course, you can use them in loads and loads of different ways. And that larger one, the 12 millimetre one, that is going to be one that you'll be using for things like your shaping of your petals because uh, it gives you a good area for you to actually get that shaping, that precision shaping. So all of those in there. And then the last thing that I need to share with you is your three-in-one dye brush. Oh, we love a dye brush. And it has got everything in there. You've got your brush, you've got your spatula, and you have got your little kind of pokey tool with this one, I think, as well. I call it a needle. A needle sounds more professional than a pokey tool, doesn't it? <laughs> but they're all neatly in that one tool, so it means that you literally just use whichever piece it is that you need. And the way that it works is you've kind of got like a little slider on the side. So if I turn it around to the side there, you'll see that you've got a little slider there. And by sliding that out, what it means is it will slide out at the bottom there, whether it's the spatula or whether it is your needle tool or your pokey tool, but they're all neatly out the way so you're not going to hurt yourself. And, of course, you've got your dye brush there as well. So all of that goodness, all that crafty goodness, coming together for just £34.99. I can't hold it all up together, I don't think. But you can see on the overhead camera, there is a lot of crafting goodness there, especially if you are a new crafter. But the price will go up to in excess of £80 when we get to the top of the um, hour at 9 o'clock. And we're already 15 minutes in. Already 15 minutes in. I've only shown you a couple of items with those as well. Now... I've got to show you this for a pound, my goodness. Now, this is beveled board. Now, it's brought to us by We Are Makers. You're actually going to get um, six sheets because somebody's run off with the, the extra gold one. <laughs> Not quite sure where it's gone, but it's gone somewhere. Now, what you've got is a lovely board. So you can see the solid board. Now, this is something that you're going to be using potentially in your um, electronic die cutting machines, maybe. Um, or if you're wanting to use the We Are um, Keepers quill tool, you can use it direct to this. Um, in fact, potentially you could use a variety of other tools as well, but it's just a, a really nice board that you can be using as well. So if you've got the quill tool, I'm sure you will have come across it before. And you've got that gorgeous kind of rose gold in there. You've also got your traditional gold and you've got your silver in there as well. So two pieces of each one of those um, for you to be um, crafting with, with your quill tool. And of course, you can go freehand with that or you could actually use your SVG cutting files Attach your quilling tool to whichever machine it is you've got and it will actually trace out that line. And if you do go to the We Are Keepers um, uh, website or their, their YouTube channel, you'll find loads of tutorials to, to get the most out of that. It's only a pound. Ten ninety nine elsewhere. So stock up on it. Even if you just use it for your mats and layers or making boxes, it's quite weighty to be fair. So I don't know what GSM it is, but there you go. Shopping for it elsewhere, ten ninety nine. Wow. Wow. I, my, my gast has been flubbered. <laughs> so there we go. Can I bring these in as well, purely from a selfish need? Because these um, Derwent Intense pencils, they actually came into a conversation that I was having with some um, people who were over from Sweden, from Husqvarna Viking, um, because uh, they came over for Festival of Quilts, had a fabulous time, and we were talking about adding colour to fabric. And this is a fabulous set of pencils that will allow you to do that. Because if you do like adding colour to um, fabrics, paper, cardstock, Intense pencils are brilliant. Now, they're a permanent watercolour, which sounds a bit like a kind of contradiction in terms. But what you can actually do is use them as a watercolour pencil if you need to. But then when they're actually kind of set, then they become permanent. So talking of setting maybe with an iron if you're using them on um, fabrics, but you get a little kind of insight into how you can work with them. And there's a magical QR code there for you to go up and get even more tuition. So, yeah. Brilliant set, um, very pigmented, um, and they're just brilliant for you to use if you want a permanent kind of bond with whatever it is that you are working with. Beautiful thing is as well, you can layer these up as well. So nice if you're wanting to use them on your darker cardstock, if you want to use them on things like your, um, um, uh, your craft card. Absolutely brilliant, and it's a real treat, I have to say, to use these. Don't leave these out so the kids can use them. I bought some for Phoebe one Christmas and she absolutely adores them. So, yeah, 
you like the idea, then please do so. Come in a fabulous tin, so you can keep them all together there. Um, and we've got a lovely review as well. So the Derwent um, Inktense Permanent Water Polar Pencils in a tin of 24 are a good value for money and a pleasure to use. So thank you, whoever left that review. And as I say, it will give you all of those different colours there. You've got your darker tones, your lighter tones. So brilliant. But do check out the QR code on those as well. Um, as I say, wonderful if you're wanting to use them with your fabrics. Just heat set. I think it will mention on, uh, on here as well. Um, I usually iron it on the reverse so as I don't move any of the colours. But then you should be okay for like a cool wash. I, I tend to just do hand washing when I've used these, to be fair. Um, but yeah, they're, they're just perfect. And as you can say, do not wash out. And you can see, can you imagine creating that kind of scene on, on the fabric? Maybe coming in with, um, we were talking about Verse Fine um, Claire in the last hour, stamping an image maybe and adding your colour with these. Oh, we have a lovely time. Um, busy with those as well. So if you like the look of those for this hour, um, you're looking at £55.99. and p Split pay on that as well. So there you go. If you like the idea of that. Shall I show you something sparkly? Let's go. Oh, Jimmy's gone. Ooh, I heard a little ooh from Jimmy. Jimmy does like something with a bit of sparkle. I've seen him on a Saturday night. Um, so you have got a lovely collection of different sequins here. You're actually getting 10 packs here. And you've got some really quite unusual colours. You've almost got like a holographic um, kind of like um, amber tone with that. That's a good description, Alex. Thank you. Um, lovely gold tones with these as well, with that holographic finish. Um, and again, the green, different sizes with these. Some of them have kind of got that cupped feel to them, so they kind of add the, the, the light from different um, direction. Beautiful kind of cobalt blue in there as well. And that gorgeous chocolate box purple. We're in the right part of the country for decent chocolate, aren't we, here in the Midlands? Um, and then that beautiful black. Now, the black in there, it's almost got, I don't know whether you can pick it up because of it being in the packet, but it has almost got a bit of a, a kind of holographic look to it as well as there. So I don't know whether you'll be able to pick it up. Should we get Jimmy working on it? Let's see what we can do, see if we can get it. So you have got, there you go, look at that. You deserve a high five for that, Jimmy, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Oh, he's coming for a high five. There you go. Yes. Again. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Since we're at that point, shall I show you all the others close up as well? Because you've got that gorgeous purple, which is beautiful. You've then got the most incredible cobalt blue. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Then after that, we've got that lovely green. Oh, we've got two tones of green. Sorry, let me jump in the gun there. So think about those shaker cards you're going to be making that you want to add something a little bit different, a little bit of a kind of coloured sequin, a little bit of glitter in there as well. Incidentally, these deals that we're bringing you, they're going to go up in price at nine o'clock, but you're not limited to one per customer. So $12.99, these are going to be when we get to nine o'clock this evening, but not for this hour. And you could go for one set, two sets, half a dozen sets. We're not stopping you with regards to these. So just make sure that you get as many as you can at that, or you can afford to get, should I say, at that price. Look at that, it's like little ruby, ruby red slippers almost. That isn't it gorgeous, like that. Beautiful. The la oh no, the last one, last but one. That gorgeous, almost looks like you've got fuchsia in there as well and a deeper purple. Beautiful. And then the last one we've got is that lovely soft pink. But then you've got those little accents of kind of blues and greens and purples in there as well and silver. Beautiful. And the gorgeous thing is you don't have to choose because you're going to get all of those for just £3.99. So that works out at 40p a pack practically, doesn't it? 40 pence each. <gasps> shocking. Shocking. Now, talking about shocking, have you seen this little tool? This is ingenious. The first time I saw this, I thought, I don't know, what is it? I didn't say it quite as, Alex has just gone, what is it? I wasn't quite as brummy as that. <laughs> what is it? Um, and it is a brilliant, brilliant, it's one of those kind of things that you don't realise that you need until you've got it and then you don't want to give it back to anybody. So you've got a little silicon handle. Now, it was designed to actually go on the back of your ink pad. So you know when, um, and this is from personal experience, when you get an ink pad, and you, you've got your stamp, and you'll hold your stamp, and you'll go inky, 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 inky. 
You end up with ink on your fingers. You end on it all over your hand quite often um, on the, the, the edges of the acrylic block and things like that. Well, the idea behind this is it's a little kind of silicon area here. Now, if it gets kind of um, dusty, maybe glitters, embossing powders, you might have to give it a little rinse under the tap. But what you've actually got is the ability to take that and you'll place it down on the back of your ink pad. So you take it down just with a firm kind of push and then that will allow you to actually hold your ink pad. So now that means that when it comes to inking up, you haven't got to worry about your fingers going around the edge. Now, I would say to you, this one's got kind of like a paper wrapper on the back. So I might put a little bit of acetate, glue that on there or take that sticker off. But if you, it's only because it's paper on there. Um, that will hold it in place and then you can literally ink up your, your, your pads um, like so. So it does work. Um, I'm going to do it on the other side on the because this, this hasn't got any paper on there. So just to show you, so you just place it down like that and there you go. You can see that we'd be able to pick that up and use it. So it's only the fact that it's got paper on there. And also Dan, director Dan, oh, good tip. Oh, that's your release, by the way. So you just take that to, just to release the seal. But those little um, acrylic blocks for your sentiments, you've got a good point there, Dan. That would be perfect. Perfect. Um, and literally, it will just go onto your acrylic. I know we've got a little mat here, but... No! That mat is... Where am I? It's over half a, half a metre um, wide and 40 centimetres. I didn't do it again. <laughs> we could have two and pick it up. Or I could go, okay, if you need your patio windows fixing, I could come round with a new pane of glass. Can you lift me? I don't know if I can lift you, Jimmy. <laughs> Are you non-porous? <laughs> Maybe if you're non-porous. Um, if it does get a little bit kind of mucky with embossing powders and glitters, just give it a little rinse. But you know, at two ninety nine, I'd be getting several of these to actually put on my acrylic blocks. Um, has he gone? <gasps> we had reasonable quantities of those as well. Oh, well done. Keep your eye open, though, um, just in case we happen to get them back again. Oh, that's a shame. I thought we got quite a few of those, but apparently not. But there you go. Well done if you did manage to get hold of those. I'm just going to take a walk. Now, I'm not going to run because we're not allowed to run in the studio, but I'm going to go and grab that and then I'm going to come back again. There you go. No accident book needed filling in either, which is good. Um, now, this is brilliant. Again, 2 dollars 2 dollars brilliant. Now, this, let me just tease that out. Look at this. This is brilliant. It's brilliant because obviously it's designed to be used as a, a watercolour palette. To be fair, you could put any, any inks in there that if you wanted to. Um, you could use it for beads. That's a good point. You could use it for things like separating up anything that's small and when it used to go in a little kind of recess. Um, it could be die cut elements. Maybe you're using it for, you're making flowers and you've got your petals, you've got your leaves, you've got your stamen. You're putting them all in there and then if the cat or the dog comes in, you don't have to worry because you've got a good depth to that and they are protected. But it is designed as a watercolour palette. Now it does actually come with, oh there they are, they're in there. Comes with some little pipettes as well. I forgot those were in there. Um, so it's going to come with three little pipettes and you just literally will squash down the ed end of that and it's almost like a little spring, draws the water up um, and it allows you to actually kind of add water to your, your watercolour paints. And obviously I'm sure you'll be aware, but maybe you won't, so I'll say it anyway. If you put your watercolour paints in here and they dry out, then you don't have to worry. You can revitalise them with either little spritz of water or just a couple of little drops of water using your pipette and then you can reactivate them so there's no waste. And it's just a really nice size palette. Stackable as well. So you can see you've got your recesses there. So if you go for several of these, you could stack them up. So you might have your earth tones in one palette, your, your floral tones in another, your monochromatics in another. So you can stack them up. And at 2 dollars I would certainly be going for several of these. Um, while you've got the opportunity, while stock permits you to do so, but also while you're only paying 2 dollars for them, because you've only got a little over half an hour to take advantage of those deals so please do not leave it too long um, so yeah take advantage of the discounted price with any of these goodies that we're bringing to you and it's beautifully packaged so if it's going in your crafty bottom drawer for your christmas gifts secret santa 
Somebody would think that you paid at least a tenner for that. So as a secret Santa gift, that's a brilliant one to go for. So do take advantage of that. Now, I'm going to get the um, silicon shaper tools. And I'm going to grab the stamps while I'm down there as well. It's all beautifully arranged. It's all just like a big pile now. <laughs> so these are brilliant. Now, um, who, it was Tilly Victor yesterday, wasn't it? Oh, her name has popped out in my head. Jess. Jess, thank you for that. Um, so Jess was here and apparently she referenced um, silicon tools with regards to her quilling. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is a lovely little set. Again, one ninety nine. How can we be making any money on this hour? It's because my fee's so low. <laughs> now, look at these. You have got these lovely wooden handles with these and you've kind of got that, that uh, I don't know what metal it's made out of, but um, it's holding the silicon um, end here. So these are brilliant. I mean, silicon's brilliant when you're working with anything where there's heat being applied. So things like your heat embossing, maybe you need to hold um, your piece in place or you could do that quite easily, couldn't you, that, with that as well. Shrink plastic as well, that's a good one, Alex. Yeah, very true. Um, but also as well, when you're wanting to shape um, as well. So if you've got things like your clay, your paper clay, uh, if you're working with not too sure about the the food grade of these so um, if it's something that you're going to be eating maybe you're using them to shape and um, petals of made out of icing if it's just for decorative purposes then don't worry but if somebody's going to eat them um, then I don't not eat these eat the flowers um, but then yeah um, I don't know about the, the kind of food safe quality but these are brilliant I mean for shaping um, all sorts of different bits and also as well you can use them with regards to kind of inks and things if you want to move in your colours around so you've got a really nice um nice tool it sits beautifully in the hand I have to say because sometimes tools have got a really long handle haven't they and they kind of go you're almost like waving a baton or something but that it just sits really nice feels comfortable um, and you've got all of those all five of those in a little pack for 1.99 brilliant value absolutely brilliant and you're loving them haven't got huge quantities of those left i'm just looking on the screen there so they, they are going very very quickly so we might not have those at the end of the hour but if they do they'll be going up in price now what about sentiments well we've got a lovely set of stamps here so this one is lovely um trace over stamped words oh okay oh that's clever i just thought they were stamped sentiments but they're not there to help you with your calligraphy that is clever. Look at this. The idea is that you're learning to actually do that kind of scripted font. So you've got a series of words and you're going to um, use them, stamp them down and just trace over them. So maybe put a piece of vellum or something like that or, or um, photocopy paper or something. So then you can practice your posh handwriting for your sentiments and your phrases. What a lovely idea. I have to say at 2 99 they're brilliant just for putting your phrases and your sentiments in place. So it's the new bouncy lettering for use to, um, with a small brush tip pen. They just make lovely sentiments anyway. You've got thinking of you, make a wish, happy birthday, love you, hello, thanks, celebrate, thank you and welcome home. It's like crafting a, crafting a box, that is, <laughs> those are some of the most used phrases. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Now, if you're wanting to get hold of these, and you, you maybe want to go for a couple of sets of these, because you could actually um, use these to create backgrounds as well, if you wanted to. You might want to have multiples of them, because it could be that you're laying down the design and using it almost like a multi-stamp design to do a background, and you might want to have two at the same time, two different colorways, things like that. Just a lovely, lovely scripted font. Two ninety nine is your prize for that one, and it's Kelly Creates. Kelly Creates, and we, we have had shows before with um, Kelly's designs on there, and she is very much into kind of uh, your brush tips. We who did have to have a show with now, and there was all sorts of different paper pads. We had them on the website where you kind of got like vellum sheets, and oh, I can't think who it was who did the show now. Um, but teaching you how to do your beautiful kind of. Uh, scripted writing so there you go brilliant value for money proving to be a very very popular set i think they look lovely just to sentiments even without doing any uh, calligraphy work with them but we've got another set for you as well 
And this set features congratulations, all the best, missing you. And I love the way the exclamation mark is separate. So you could use that on any of those, couldn't you as well? Two ninety nine again. It's not often you can say I love you and only spend two ninety nine. <laughs> you got congrats, thinking of you. You've got the word holidays. So if you do want to make up the phrase um, happy holidays, you could do. Lovely, lovely scripted font. Beautiful, beautiful set there as well. Um, I think you've got your happy birthday down at the bottom. Now, I don't know if it's the same size happy birthday on both of them. Not sure, not sure. But um, they're two ninety nine. Sorry, I was having a bit of a selfish moment then. Because <laughs> as a crafter, that is brilliant value for me. I mean, two, if you think about it, I mean, that's six pounds worth of stamps, all of those. You'd be looking at probably, what, twelve ninety nine in a, a regular show. So do have a look on the website as well. Um, it was that one, wasn't it, we were looking at? That's right. Um, the website, all the prices have dropped down as well. These are flying out, so I don't, uh, don't blame you. Go for both sets. At two ninety nine. go for both sets. We've got embossing folders as well. The little um, pennants there are really cute. That's an embossing folder as well, but then you can fussy cut the little flags out. Um, the little ink pad handle, sadly, that has sold out now, but thank you to everybody that took advantage. Got a starter bundle there as well um, for the Cricut Joy. So if you have been thinking about getting hold of the Cricut Joy, then maybe today's a good day uh, for you to, to get hold of that as as well so yeah do go and have a little look at those other deals that um, we've got because uh, there's a lot that we potentially won't get to because we don't have all of the products available here um, and within arm's reach so let me show you these now these are fabulous so these are from um, Unky Dory again and usually you would be looking at um, in excess of 80 pounds for these now they're all dies individual dies and you've got that lovely dotty detail with these, as you can see. So you've got your A, you've got your B, you've got your C. Whoops. Oh, I picked up D at the same time there. I'm trying to arrange these as I'm chatting to you. You've got D, you've got E, you've got F. You can be spelling out all sorts of things with these. You've got G. You, you could literally spell anything. And any other words in between if you wanted to. Um, so nice size. They're all the same size as well. So if you're wanting to put them on banners, if you want to put them on bunting, you could do that very easily with these. Um, you've got lovely detail with them as well. And they're calling them mini, but to be fair, I don't think they are. They're a good size. I think they're a good size. So you've got all of them. You've got the Q there. You've got P, R, S, T, U, V, whoops, W, X, Y, oh, <laughs> and Z. And you've got an ampersand. So what should we spell out? Well, we've got Alex. We've got Alex who is in the gallery. So we've got an A and an L. We've got an E and we've got the X. Of course, you could be doing like hugs and kisses, couldn't you, with the O and the X if you wanted to. So you've got Alex there. Um, or we could almost do like a crossword. So we've got Alex and then we could have D, A, N. There we go. So that's nice. I mean, if we, if we had a very happy occasion and, and Alex has already spoken for it, as is Dan, but if in, in a different world, in a twilight a parallel universe, if we were looking at a wedding situation here, well, there you go. What a gift. Pop that into a fabulous um, picture frame and you, you've got that fun there. You could literally do uh, um, all sorts of different names, couldn't you? So um, it could be that you've got, oh, I don't know what else we've got here. What have we got? Um, it could be um, Ted. You might need to use a D again for Ted or Tess, maybe. So you could almost do this with a, like a, a family, um, a whole family, couldn't you, with those? Oh, I love these. And the beauty is they have all the same height. So if you are wanting to put them onto flags or anything like that, then you could do it very, very easily. Um, and the kids could have loads of fun with these. You could be making little kind of cards up, couldn't you, that they're, they're doing all sorts. And no, I'm not going to do any rude words. I'm going to put them away till we're off air. 
No, I'm going to be careful. That's probably why they were in alphabetical order, so we didn't accidentally have any rude words in there. Not that we would make rude words with them, but sometimes the way that they just kind of come together, don't they? Um, if you've noticed the area that I've been displaying all the different products on, this is one of the, the deals that we've got for you in this hour as well. Um, so this is a fabulous glass cutting mat. Um, and oh, is there another stamp? Oh, I'm sorry. So there is, it was face down. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have showed you this one as well. So just to reiterate, we've shown you those two, but we've got a third set. Oh, this is nice. You're awesome. You're awesome. Beautiful day. Thinking of you. Welcome home. Baby girl, boy, thank you. Thanks. What have we got on the bottom there as well? I don't know what the last one is. There's another one underneath. You are loved. Oh. So now, oh, I'm getting creative now. I haven't got a die cutting machine, but let's have a little look. So we've got a... L, E, X, Alex. And then we could add to that, you are loved. You are as well, Dan. And Bobby as well. <laughs> Everybody's loved. All the love in the studio. That's a lovely set. So mix up. I mean, it's easy enough to do, isn't it? You've also got these in different phrases. So you could have, um, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. That'd be a good song, that, wouldn't it? If only somebody thought of it. Um, thinking of you, again, um, and you've kind of got different... So that one is more of a, a capital letter on thinking of you. On that one, it's a lowercase on that one. So there are variations when you actually look at the different phrases as well. Um, so you are loved. You could say you, um, celebrate you. There's, there's all sorts of different phrases. If you've gone for all three sets, you're, you're going to be paying less than a tenner. So that is that one. So the one that we've got on the screen at the moment is your um, sentiments. They are designed by Kelly Create. So the idea is that you're going to use them um, to, to kind of practice your calligraphy and, and your kind of your swirly letters. So the idea is that you, you would place your stamp on an acrylic block and stamp your image, then maybe on a bit of photocopy paper or something like that, or cardstock. Um, and then you would cover the stamp with some tracing paper. And in her books, she does provide tracing paper, but it could be a bit of vellum or um, a, a lighter weight, 60 gram paper or something like that. And the idea is that you would take your, um, your brush pens, many of us have got those in loads of different colours, and then just practice kind of raising and lowering that brush to actually create the, those letters. But to be honest, you don't have to do that at all. You don't have to worry about doing that at all because all you, you need to do, if you want to, is use them as absolutely beautiful stamps. So this one here, Thinking of You, let's have a quick look what we've got with this one. So Thinking of You, you've got, so let's move that one over, but this one you've got, um, Thinking of You, Make a Wish, Happy Birthday, Love You, Hello, Thanks, Celebrate, Thank You, Welcome Home. And earlier on, I said you're paying less than a tenner. You're actually paying less than nine pounds. Alex, you were right. Yeah. There's no wonder these are flying out. Now, I will warn you, we don't have equal quantities of all of these because they're, they're, that's why they're not in a bundle. But they are all heading towards the um, sellout, basically. So the last set that we've got, so slide those ones over there. That's the last set. Congratulations. All the best. Missing you. Welcome home. I love you. Congratulations. Um, congrats, should I say. Thinking of you holidays and happy birthday so if you're on a budget and you've got a crafty itch that needs scratching i mean look at that so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty four the individuals no, I think they're not. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 44 stamps, I think, anyway. I think, yeah, some of them might even be separated up. Some of them are joined together. So, yeah, let's say over 40. You could snip into those. That's quite right, Alex, you could do. You could be making backgrounds with these, multi-stamping things like baby girl, baby boy. Welcome home, making gift wrapping. 
but each one of these sets have got a different item number on your screen. So the item number that we've got on the screen, which is that the happy birth, that one there. So let's just reiterate. I mean, on the website, you'll have pictures of them, but because we're just calling them small stamp um, bouncy sentiments, that's the one that's on your screen. EK4639. Get that in your basket now. And I'll change it so as you can see the other ones. That, these are flying out. We're not going to have enough to see us right the way through the next 15 minutes or so. So that is the one that is on your screen at the moment. Next one that we're going to bring in is the one that starts thinking of you. So if you're wanting to go for this set, it's got thinking of you, make a wish, happy birthday, loads of celebratory words. Um, right the way through to welcome home, two ninety nine again. For this one, um, we've only got about ten opportunities left, and lots of you are adding this to your basket. Um, IB four six two nine, if you want in that one, but be quick. That's the one that I think is the most vulnerable of all three of them. The last one that you've got, so here, this one, if you're wanting this one, you're awesome. Beautiful day, thinking of you. Um, welcome home. None of them have we got huge quantities of. That's a bit, that sounded like, sounded like Yoda then. <laughs> we haven't got many quantities of any of these. Um, 2 dollars 2.99, 2.99, 2.99, 2.99. Brilliant, brilliant value for money. So, sorry, I got a bit, a bit sidetracked because I was going to tell you about the glass mat, wasn't I? Pop those there, ready for tidying up. They're going to sell out. Um, now, something that I do not want you to miss out on is the opportunity to get a huge glass mat at the price that we've got on the screen. And so many have taken advantage of this. That, that really makes me happy because for the price of $24.99, you could quite often get a mat maybe, maybe that size, glass mat, 18 inches square, maybe something like that. I don't know. But you don't get one this size. We don't often see them this size, to be fair. And it's a We Are Keepers one. Um, brilliant size because it's got your centimetres going all the way from, and it is bigger than, obviously, the, the measurement there, but it's going right the way up to 56 centimetres. We're kind of discounting the, the corners because you wouldn't usually go right the way up to the corner, would you? Um, so you've got um, 56 centimetres, which equates to 22 inches. Um, and you've got them coming down the side here to 40 centimetres, which equates to 15. You've got your grid work in there as well. So that's coming in line with your um, imperial measurements. So that's on there. It's a glass mat. Um, it's on little, um, kind of like a little grippy feet. So it's not going anywhere. So that's gripping really, really well. You've got a nice white area to the side here, and that's useful when you start mixing your colours. Getting your palette created, getting a true representation of the different colours that you're working with, because that is the thing. You need to know that those colours are really showing up properly before you apply them to your bright white cardstock. Now, because of it being a glass cutting mat, there's certain properties that you wouldn't get with maybe like a self-healing cutting mat. Um, because you can use heat with this. So if you've got a heat embossing tool, maybe you've got a foiling pen, maybe it's a case if you've got a glue gun, all of these are tools that you can use alongside a glass cutting mat. You can't do it on a, a self-healing one because it will start warping and it won't give you a flat surface. The only thing I would say to you that um, I wouldn't potentially use it for if you're cutting fabric. So don't think of a glass cutting mat with a rotary blade because you need that grippiness because it could scoot off and that could be dangerous. But if you're using things like a craft knife, perfect. If you've gone for the hunky dory set with the craft knife in there, absolutely spot on. But you've got this huge area. So um, to summarize, you've got your metric and your imperial featuring on here. It's skid free, as I showed you. It's got the little rubber feet on there, so it's not going anywhere. You've got a mixing area. So a mixing area, not only for your watercolor paints, it could be your acrylic paints that you're putting in there. You could be mixing up your gel mediums, your pastes. You've just got a really nice large area there that you're going to be utilising um, for all sorts of different areas of crafting. And just to show you, an A4 sheet, that's how an A4 sheet sits on it. You've got all this lovely area around the outside. So if you're wanting to ink up, you, if you, this is me inking up. <laughs> so yeah, bringing your inks in, maybe moving them over the edges or, or placing your colours down and then working with them. You can see you've got a huge amount of area there. Um, and it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing to have. Such a brilliant price. £24.99.
Now, we have gone shopping for this one, um, and it be no surprise, we haven't found it at the price that we've got for you. Got it closer to the price that it will go to when it goes up in price, but for this next 11 minutes, that's all that you've got. So don't, don't be listening to me. Go off and place your order. £53.11, and pence, uh, sorry, 17 pence. That's what you're paying for this usually. And indeed, our price will go up to something quite close to that. So yeah, oh, 44 99 is still a good price. But I could still find something else to spend the £20 on that I'm saving. £20, that's a big saving. That's a big saving for, for, this, for the sake of 10 minutes. If you wait, I don't know, 12 minutes, 15 minutes to place your order for this, it's going to cost you £20. Wow. And it's one of those situations that um, you can pop this into your basket and if you suddenly think, you know what? I don't know if I want it. If you cancel your order and then think, no, I wish I'd gone for it, it's going to be the higher price. So get it in your basket, £24.99. It comes boxed as well. Not that you would want to store it because it's going to be out in your, your permanent craft area. If you maybe use your dining room table as your craft area, then you might want to put it away and you could actually put it into the box. And then when you come to your craft area in your, your dining room, in the kitchen, you can actually bring this out and that turns your work area into, um, into kind of like your, your craft room in effect. It's flying out, um, lots of you taking advantage of it. It's, and also it's very, very weighty. So yeah, um, please bear that in mind. I mean, getting it on its way to you um, for the post and packing deal that we bring to you is phenomenal for that. So yeah, brilliant. Do take advantage of that. Top, top buy for the hour, that one, I think. Besides the stamps as well. So we've got a series of different embossing folders to share with you as well. Spoke about the little pennant flags, and these are really cute. Because what you've actually got with these is you, it will emboss. And it will emboss these little flags, but it will also emboss the, um, the kind of pole that they come with as well. Now, choices with this, you could fussy cut the whole thing out. Or what I potentially would do is just fussy cut the flag. Maybe extend that cut line a little bit further and then wrap it around, I don't know, a cocktail stick or a um, skewer or something like that. You could also use them that way around as little um, bunting flags if you wanted to as well. So, yeah, nice little embossing folder. Very affordable, as you can see there, for um, £2.99. So definitely want to consider. So the next one that I've got to share with you is this beautiful one here. At first, I'm not going to like first sight. I thought it was a washing line, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. I think they're like little, they're little kind of um, little bell flowers. It does look like a washing line though, doesn't it? Um, but you've got that lovely curve and the, the beautiful like kind of bell flowers that are hanging down from that one. So this one, if you like the look of this one, they're actually tassels. Sorry, they're not flowers. They're tassels. But you could ink them up and make them look like, I'm thinking like fuchsia flowers. What does it look like the other way around? Hmm. Trees on a hill. They could look like trees on a hill, couldn't they? From the side as well. Yeah, mix it up. Um, in addition to um, our gorgeous tassels, we've got snowmen or snow people. Oh, no, they're not. They're pineapples. <laughs> but they could be. They could be quite easily. They could be um, snow people with uh, spiky hair, but they're not, they're pineapples. So very tropical feel. And at 2 99 good fun as well. Maybe you've got stamps that are kind of cocktails and things like that, party, party elements. Well, you can't go far wrong with a pineapple, can you? Fabulous. 2 99 brilliant value for money. Another one to share with you, if we're talking hot, we're talking cacti. So this one, again, nice one if you're doing a themed card. So maybe you're doing something that's kind of a, um, a Western theme. Yeah, a little cowboy maybe, if you've got stamps and things like that. Or well, anything that kind of relates to the desert, I suppose, wouldn't it? 2 99 again for that one. And they're all the same. They, they're kind of hinged. Pop your cardstock in, pop them through your die-cutting machine and get that embossed finish on your cardstock. Two ninety nine for that one. And then the last embossing folder, and I think that kind of covers everything um, that we've got in the studio to share with you. Yay! We love a happy hour. Yay! We love a deal. Yay! 
We love it when it's getting close to nine o'clock because it means we can go home. <laughs> But the good thing is, we won't be here at nine o'clock because obviously we have our little break, but you will have six minutes, which will take you right the way up to nine o'clock for you to take advantage of any of those deals. Now, if you've been watching and you've got access to the internet, do go and have another little look because there are some elements on there that we haven't had a chance to, to kind of bring to you. Um, some of the hot products for this hour, though, do not miss out on those two ninety nine stamps. These are flying out. So we've got things like congratulations, thinking of you, you're awesome. $2.99, they're all up on the website. And if you do go to um, speak to our call operators and you're not sure which set, just tell them that you want all three sets, because you will. And then that way you're not missing out. Oh, we've got a couple of opportunities now for this. So let's come back. Ah. There you go. This is brilliant because this is something that you'll use. Technically, it's for going on your ink pad, so it's to keep kind of inky fingers or fingers away from being inked up. So you would take that. Now, this one's got a bit of a paper wrapper on it, so I would put a little bit of kind of um, acetate on there or maybe peel that off. So it doesn't quite stick perfectly because it's silicon and it is kind of needs to be... Um, uh, non-porous but if you have got so there you go I did it on the lid didn't I so if I did it on the lid there you go so you could whoops imagine that's the inky bit so then you would take your stamp to your ink pad and your fingers are well away from it um, but also as well the thing that I've and you've got like a little pulley on there so you, you pull that and it will break the seal and it means that it lifts away but the thing that astounded me was that we came along and we put it let's put it in the middle this time okay not going to do it now is it i'm going to put it down because i'm getting a bit nervous now and that is heavy <laughs> that is very heavy but that shows you the quality of that so brilliant as well i think i'd be using that maybe on acrylic blocks as well because if you've got maybe dexterity issues maybe um you you kind of your joints are a little bit tricky to work with when you're holding those smaller um, elements even things like if you're wanting to hold a ruler in place so if you've got something like an acrylic ruler and you struggle, pop it onto your acrylic ruler and there you go, you could be using it that way as well. So there we go. Anything in your basket that has got a discounted price, check your basket out in the next three and a half minutes and then take a little look at what we've got coming up tomorrow. We've got a lovely day ahead of us tomorrow. We're celebrating 20 years of visible image. Oh, Mark doesn't look old enough, does he? And then we've got Crafters Companion, brand new a launch, looking forward to that. And Pearly Winks are here, Simon will be here um, and uh, yeah, bringing us some fabulous goodies. Then we've got returning favourites from Crafters Companion before we go back and join Mark again for another hour of exclusive birthday deals more mdf kits from um, pearly winks and a last hour dedicated to crafters companion i will see you on wednesday so mind how you go and i'll see you next week <laughs>